And so you give it a little three, two, one, go. Okay, it froze for a concerningly long time there, but that's okay. My progress has been saved. Well, that's good. All right, I don't even care about these parsnips. I'm going to sell them, like, because money is... <laughs> Grandpa, your farm. Woof. I was going to sell those because I don't need them. And I think we get straight into, like, trying to forage shit. I think we get straight into trying to forage shit. Like, clear a path so that I can get to the rest of the area here. And then, I think as soon as, um, maybe I should even skip until I can mine. Because, like I said, you want to save a lot of, um, I mean, I'll absolutely grab food and stuff as well. You'll want to uh, do most of your foraging in summertime, because that's the best time for foraging. So, how many days is it before um, you unlock the mines? It's like three in-game days, right? Do any forage spots, any of those little worms, even spawn on the first day? Because I'm not seeing any. Day five, the mines unlock. Okay, so I might skip until day five. It's worth grabbing some food if I'm going to be in the mines early, because I'm going to be tired. Let's just do like a lap around town and see if we see any forageables. They can spawn first day. Well, they're obviously not. But that's okay. Also, different, I'm sure most of you know this, but of course, different artifacts, those little worm things, the things that you get from worms, spawn in different areas. So, for example, something that spawns in town uh, could spawn, like, here by the community center. Something that spawns on the beach is obviously the beach. The backwoods is that path behind your farm that I just took as soon as I left my farm. But there's also the quarry things spawn. The fucking... I don't want to talk to him. I don't like him. Also, I should check the trash. I think you can get things from the trash as well. Daffodils at Harvey's? Yeah, but I don't think those give energy, right? No. You just... You just like chuck them. It's not gonna do nothing, though. Ew, Shane. Yeah, it is ew, right? Um, okay, yeah, they do spawn. Alright. So on the beach, I think there's a good chance of getting, like, glass shards. What? Wait a minute! That thing, if I remember, strange doll, all green. 0.08%. I think that was a 0.08% to get that. So much time wasted because he's so flabbergasted. What's my blood waffling about, dude? It's gonna be like a 30-hour speed run. You think a few seconds are gonna matter? Alright. Well, I got a strange doll, which I was actually... I, I wrote down specifically in my notebook that... You're better off just waiting until you get that secret note. You know the one, secret note number 18, where it tells you to dig somewhere specifically to get this guy? I said, oh, wait for that. Because that'll be the easiest way to get the Strange Doll, instead of relying on the 0.08% chance of getting it naturally, like I just did. Not a single piece in the entire clip. This guy sucks. This guy sucks. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. I don't even know you. I wonder, um... I'll probably do this naturally. But, um, hmm, I got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating to any artifacts or minerals that you find? Absolutely. Make a groundbreaking discovery together. Yeah, with his white gloves. I love his white gloves. Think about it, will you? Yeah, I'll think about it. Nah, don't diss my man Gunther. No, I kind of like Gunther. Gunther's all right. Thanks Amwams and Shadow Princess for the subscriptions as well, by the way. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. And uh, I was going to say something, but I forgot. I forgot. Oh, well. I'm sure it'll come to me. I always screenshot areas to check for forage and artifact spots so I don't waste time in-game searching everywhere. 
you know what? And this is uh, something that I'm not surprised you might not know. Not you specifically, but just someone in chat. Anyone? There's actually a perk that you can get that specifically points out where forageables are on the map. You get it when you get level 10 foraging, which with all the foraging that I'm going to be doing, I wouldn't be surprised if I do actually get to level 10 foraging. Oh, and also take money, of course. Your first prismatic goes straight to him since you don't care. Yeah, and then I don't have to deal with like, oh, do I use my first prismatic on getting the galaxy sword? Do I donate it to Gunther? Do I... What is the other use for it? I know there's a third one that I always... That I'm always like, oh man, should I use it for that? Yeah, so you don't have to worry about that. Penny, my beloved? You know what's cool about Penny is that most artifacts are actually a light gift by Penny and no one else. Maybe the dwarf. But no one else. Her ass loves artifacts for some reason. For enchanting? Yeah, but usually I don't worry. I don't even have enchanting unlocked by the time I get my first prismatic shard. So I'm trying to think. There must be something else that I get excited about. That's not worth it. Botanist is better because you can get all iridium quality forage. Dude. It doesn't matter. I don't really like... It's not a... I don't really... Not really fussed about getting iridium quality forages. I just want to... I just want to get the fucking... I just want to get my... I just want to do the speedrun. I'm not worried about that. It's a full It's a full museum speedrun. Why would I worry about, like, iridium quality forages? So, no romance? Nah, dude, this guy's a straight batch. He's gonna be the weird guy. This guy's gonna be the weird guy that just collects, like, various knickknacks and stuff. He doesn't interact with anyone. He just, like, collects his, like, Funko Pops and shit. He's gonna be the weird farmer. I'm gonna try to talk to as few NPCs as possible, for that matter. You give your pers first prismatic shard to Haley. Yeah, that'd actually be a good idea. Because she hates that, right? Yeah, exactly. I'm married to the grind. Yeah, exactly. Like, normally I would do botanist, but, like, it doesn't matter. I'm not here for that, you know? Any worms? You know what I should maybe do is I maybe should clear out the farm so that I can get um, more spaces for the, the worms to spawn, the artifact worms. I'm wondering, is your, like, is the layout of all this fiber and stones and trees and shit the same every time you make a new farm? More space, more worms. Yeah, exactly. I gotta worm it up here. Like, imagine this whole, like, thing is gonna be taken over by, like, trees and shit. And I don't want that. So, like, maybe I should actually work on clearing out the farm a little bit here. No? That makes sense. I mean, these give good energy, so, like, keep those, get rid of fiber, and then, I guess, just use the rest of the day, unless there's anywhere else I need to forage that I can think of, but I don't think so, right? What's up, General Leaf Gale? Thanks for the two months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, you know what you could do? Well, no, because it's not unlocked yet, the train station. The train station's not unlocked yet. I got tickets for 1975 today. Like a time machine? What are you talking about? Oh, I do need to up the counter. You're right. Yeah. Thank you. I forgot that I had a counter. Yeah, train station unlocks in summertime. Yeah. The band dag. There's a band called 1975. Well, they thought surely they would think that that would like not age well, right? That's like calling your band 2023. It's not going to be relevant in a few years. They're like the Arctic Monkeys. I don't think they... I don't think monkeys are down there. Help. I don't think monkeys exist down there. They're assholes. Alright. Will you do this multiple times or just once? I don't know. If I'm pleased with my first attempt, I don't really see a reason as to do another one. So I will clear out the farm until I run out of energy, just so I have more worm spots available to me. Can there be worms at the bus stop? Yes, there can be worms at the bus stop, and actually some things... And you know, that's actually a good point. I should check if there's worms there. Um, some things are... Okay, so if something spawns at the bus stop or at your farm, for example, 
it's entirely possible to have that thing have a higher chance of spawning at the bus stop. Like, let's say something has a something can have a two percent chance of spawning at the bus stop, and then a one percent chance of spawning at your house or your farm, rather. That can happen. So, some things might even be most optimally gathered at the bus stop. Little fun fact: I gotta rearrange this shit. This is obnoxious. What the hell? Um, I will want a sword. Like, that, here, this, yeah, there we go. What did everyone marry in Stardew? The fucking grind, dude. Do I need wood? Will I need wood for anything? I don't think so. It will be worth maybe getting my inventory expanded. I don't think I'm gonna need any materials. I think we just go balls to the wall. Making a chest? Yeah, but if I get something, I'm just gonna donate it, like, straight away. Not really gonna chest much. Maybe it'd be worth making one, though, just to, like, help clear out my inventory occasionally. Maybe it would make be worth making maybe just, like, one or two. <laughs> like, a few. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Chests to store useless things. Well, I'd put half my chat in it, then. You own a chest. I'm gonna chest your ass. I feel like Leah is easy to get stuff since she forages most stuff. You think that, but actually Penny likes artifacts. Like dwarf gadgets and like the uh, fucking like strange doll and the rusty spore, it's, it's spur or some shit like that. Like she likes that shit. Leah don't like that shit. There's a Penny. Alright, how do you need to make a chest anyway? Just a shit ton of wood? You like stone or something? Hang on. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Was that just enough wood as well? Holy shit, I'm amazing. 50 wood for a chest. Oh, look at that. Harvey, I love him. If Harvey has 10,000 fans, I'm one of them. If Harvey has 100 fans, I'm one of them. If Harvey has one fan, I am that fan. If Harvey has no fans left, then I'm dead. Like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. I'm exhausted. Wait, that's that's kind of bad, actually. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of not good. I chronically forget Harvey exists. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to get at. Is that... Very forgettable guy. Alright, I'm going to bed. Fuck this. I'm going to bed. I did nothing today. This is what I do, man. I do nothing, and then I go to bed, and then I feel bad about doing nothing. Turn the lights off. Hey, I already got level 1 foraging. Alright. Cool. That's probably the only skill. No, no, not true. I'll probably get fishing leveled up as well. Maybe. Because you can actually get a lot of artifacts through fishing. The treasure chests. Treasure chests in fishing can give you a lot of donatable things as well. Oh, I got a bug. I keep kind of finding cool stuff. I actually probably will want to buy that backpack. And I probably do want to see Willy. Hey, Rusty Spur. Number two. That's a pretty common one, though. Like, Rusty Spur on the farm is 10%. So every 10 dig spots will give you a Rusty Spur. So, I mean, decently lucky, but, you know. You drop your spurs? Yeah, they can't be worth much. You, like, I was like, oh, why don't you sell it? But, like, probably not even worth that much, right? Alright, I probably should go see Wet William, though. Go see what he has to say. So I might want to fish at some point if I'm, like, really struggling to get some artifacts. And I'm like, well, fucking fishing for it is even better. Like, I don't know. Everyone's the least favorite character. Whoever your favorite character is is my least favorite character. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's check the bus stop real quick for forageables, but I'm going to take the backwoods into town. Because I think that, that place has more forageables, generally. Also, damn daffodils do not give energy, but I guess I can sell them. Shane sucks! It's true, dude. Clint is horrible. Pierre sucks. A lot of problematic men in this game, now that I think about it, you know? You ever think about that? What did Concerned Ape mean by that? A lot of problematic men in this. I hate Lewis. Yeah, fuck Lewis, too. Where are all the characters I hate the most? Men. Yeah. 
Sebastian is mid and overrated. Alright, look. You said it. I just read it. I don't want to anger the Sebastian crowd. Alex is a tool. Alex, he's so basic. Just started playing Elliot this year. Elliot is my main thang. What do you mean your main thang? Non-problematic... Non L eyes are boring as fuck? What do you mean? You talking about like the, all the toxic men are like the only interesting characters in this game? I don't know. I respectfully disagree. Haley is mean, but Shane is just an asshole. I'm gonna look through the trash. Honestly, I'll pride myself in getting caught by someone looking through the trash. I'll pride myself in that. Not the emo in the basement. Alright, we don't need to see it, but, you know, it's there. This is the problem with Stardew, man, is that it gives you so many goddamn tools here. I'm gonna get the sword when I unlock the caves, and I got, like, no room for any of this shit, man. At least to start. And, like, the first backpack was, what, 2,500, I think it was? That's not a small amount to start, you know? That's not a small amount. That's not insignificant. 5k, even worse. You're not farming- That's true! Wait, if I'm not even farming, I don't even need it. Or, like, I don't even really need half these tools, right? You're right. Can you chest a tool, though? I feel like the game doesn't allow you to do that. Because, I don't know. I feel like you could easily, like, let it despawn or whatever. I don't know. I'm fairly sure it's 2k. Oh, in that case, I'm almost there. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. It definitely allows you to do that? LOL? Oh, look, man. Alright, I'm just, I'm playing the video game. Then we gotta goof my ass. Alright, I gotta donate this spur, I forgot. Remember when Dag timed me out because they said I hadn't played Stardew? That deserves to be timed out, what are you getting mad at? You deserve to be timed out for that. You should put away the fishing rod for now. I guess also true, huh? Why does the player character have such a goofy walk slash jump? Dude, he's a toe walker, man. Are you guys toe walkers? You guys like... Creeping around on your toes and shit, but that's just like how you walk? And then somebody points it out one day and they're like, Dude, why do you walk weird? And you're like, holy shit, I do walk weird. How many years have I been walking like this? Has people... Have people for... Like, 27 years, been wondering why I walk weird. And it just creates a wave of insecurity for the rest of your life. Dude, maybe he's just a toe walker. Maybe he has flat feet. In which case, I sympathize with that. Toe walking is bad for your feet? Yeah, but it's great for my calves, dude. So... There's something about the... Talk to the booty, because the hands off duty or something. Ooh, what's the most important question? How will you be organizing the museum? I won't be organizing the museum, because I don't believe in organizing the museum. I want it to look like shit. I want it to look like total dog shit. I want to make... I fucking put the prismatic shard next to, like, the rusty spur, dude. Because I don't fucking care. And I'm a bad dude. I'm a bad dude, I don't give a shit. I'm not making it look good. Maybe if I'm in the mood, I'll organize it at the end. After I've done it all, but... No. My ass is not organizing that shit. Even it's going to drive you guys in bonkers, man. But I don't care. I don't care. Not organizing the museum is a crime. Well, you know what else is a crime? Murder. So don't, you know. Like, whatever. I can name crimes too, man. Oh, I got a geode. That's actually something I just thought about as well, is that, um... It costs money to pay for cracking geodes, right? And another scam of this society is that you have to pay Clint. First of all, he should be paying me for the absolute disprivilege of having to see his ass. But I gotta go crack that open, I guess. Yeah, it's 25G. Yeah, but like, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but you're like, you know... I'm kind of gonna be struggling for money here, because I'm not exactly playing the game in a way that's gonna allow myself to make a lot of money. You know what I mean? 
So like that's not a that's not a little amount, but let's go get it cracked anyway. What's up, Blue Sweetheart? Thanks for the 16 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks. Friendly reminder, over-exhausting causes you to wake up half energy the next day? Well, I had full energy when I woke up today, I guess because I went to sleep so goddamn early. I don't know. What's up, Abigail? I feel like this farmer is only friends with, like, Abigail because only Abigail understands, like, having, like, uh, ADHD interests in, like, collecting artifacts and shit like that. I feel like she'd be like, oh, cool, yeah. Haley fucking hates my ass. Copper? Anyone ever tell this guy to go fuck himself? Does she eat rocks? Yeah, but like, you know, we've all eaten rocks. We've all been there. You all know Clint IRL and are- You all know a Clint IRL and are probably related to them. Alright, do I know a Clint IRL? No, absolutely I do. Or at least I have. Am I related to them? No. No, I'm not. I've eaten Tate before and I'm still alive? Dude, I was a big paste eater as a kid. Wait, let's check the forest down here. Forest has, as you'd imagine, various things that are optimal to get at. I've never met a Clint. Well, consider yourself lucky then. Because Clint is a bastard. I hate Clint. Is there really any good places to spawn forageables here other than like this big area over here? I think that's like, honestly, it's only just worth checking that and then like go back to your farm. I wonder what Dagnall didn't eat as a kid. Not, not a lot, man. I mean, vegetables, but I'd eat like rocks. I ate flowers. I ate like paste. There wasn't a lot I didn't eat, to be honest with you. I ate like a lot of shit, dude. And I'm still here. And, dude, I'm healthier than most people. I don't think I've been sick this entire, like, year. I don't think I've been sick this entire year. So, like, if you're gonna come at me for all these weird things I ate as a kid... Well, I don't know, man. What is this, pole? Have you ever ate rocks? Yeah, can somebody vote yes for me, please? Hey, Shadow Princess, thanks for the five gift subs. I appreciate that. Enjoy everyone who got a gift sub, your emotes, and your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Thanks. Glunk, glunk. Now, the real question is, do you guys choose bats for fruit, or do you choose mushrooms? I got COVID yesterday. Yeah, old COVID's back, isn't it? Don't say it. Don't say it. I know you're gonna say- someone's gonna say it. Someone's gonna say it. Someone's gonna say it. I know that they're gonna say it. I eat rocks semi-frequently. Yeah, I think we all, like, you know, have or do still eat rocks, right? Bats for real? What are you guys so wrong? What are you guys so wrong? Mushrooms are so much better. Mushrooms are so much better. Like, from a purely money-making standpoint, mushrooms are so much better. Like, the fruits, if you don't plan your, like, uh, museum, if you don't plan your bundles very correctly, then you're, yeah, you might want the fruit from the bats to make up for the fact that your ass didn't plant, like, an apricot tree early enough. But other than that, dude, like... You just, I don't know. I kind of feel like if you choose bats, you're kind of acknowledging that you didn't plan your your community center very well. And that's kind of your fault. I don't know. I play at my own pace? Well, fuck you. How about you play at my pace, all right? You got to optimize the game from day one. Otherwise, you're not playing it right. Come on. You got to use your heads, folks. If you're not optimizing the game from day one, then why are you even playing the game? Oh, I'll play at my own pace. I plant parsnips instead of starfruit. Well, go to hell. Come on, play the game right. Seriously. I don't want you to have fun. I want you to fucking get a million Gs before the end of year one. 
I want you to have the Homesteader achievement. Come on. What's up, Darth Fluffy Face? I'm on my lunch break right now. I hope your lunch is fantastic. Anyone ever get their lunch stolen at work? You ever steal anyone's lunch at work? I'm going to bed. Alright, hopefully I have 2,000. Mm -mm, not quite. Is Dagnall the Gary V of Stardew? What the fuck does that mean? Am I the Gary V of Stardew? Get out of here! Ew! Why? Oh, why? Because I collected coal? Right, and then he comes over to tell me, oh, you can use that to, like, put it in a furnace. Gross. Shoo! Skat! Get out of here! Get off my property! I would put a restraining order on him. If a concerned ape added a restraining order in this game, I would put it on Clint. I'd put it on a few people. George, Pierre, Clint, Alex. All the men, really. <laughs> all the men. Except for Willie. Willie's good. He's an entrepreneur influencer who talks about the grind at all costs. Oh, wait, you're saying that that's me. I thought you were talking about Clint. I'm like, how is that Clint? Okay, yeah, Linus too, I guess. But also, I don't feel like he would follow a restraining order because he doesn't believe in him. There's a good amount of area cleared out just to start. I'm giving, like, the worms a good amount of space to spawn. Yeah, old Clint. I talked to George if he's a quest. That's it. That's kind of like the only good reason, right? Or to try to schmoozy up the old Evelyn a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Need a little schmoozing. I like Linus, Lewis, however. Yeah, old Linus tech tips. Ooh, he's problematic now, isn't he? What happened to old Linus tech tips? I just heard a bunch of... I'm, I'm out of the loop completely on what he did. All I know is he's a uh, bad guy, right? Line of sex tips? I like Linus. He also digs through trash. Well, I dig through trash. It's kind of base to dig through trash, right? Thanks for the hydrate. Is someone tell the people who are having a good time outside of my apartment to stop and be more miserable, please, so that they're quieter? I'd really appreciate it. Alright, now let's look for forageables. Linus is a sweetheart. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Space Trash, thanks for the gift sub to Dreaming Demrog. Appreciate it. And then Mushroom Live, thanks for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, Forgeables. Oh, there's one. You know you can get the dinosaur egg. It's very rare, but you can get the dinosaur egg here instead of having to get it from fucking Pepper Rex in the Skull Cavern mines. Okay, so that's not... Right, it's day five that that gets opened. So what's the goal right now? To get to the mines? What are we doing? Well, I'm clearing out the farm so that the farm has plenty of space to spawn forageables that spawn on the farm. And then, yeah, wait until day five to get to the mines. And then probably do the mines until... Like, try to get to the bottom of the mines by... Hopefully by summertime, and then summertime is when forageables are at their peak, so once summertime comes, then we'll kind of go hard on forageables, like those little worms and shit that stick out of the ground. The children yearn for the mines. Yeah, I saw a post that was, oh, cookies! I saw a post that was like, how we banned children working in the mines back in like a hundred years ago. And now how kids love Minecraft now. And it says something like, children yearn for the mines or some shit like that. It's pretty funny. Winter is full of worm spots. Yeah, but they're all the snow yams and the winter roots. And they're not forage and they're not like artifacts. Have you ever heard of Doom? Yes, of what? Yes, of course I've heard of Doom. I've never played it, but... It's one of the most, like, iconic video games of all time. Yes, of course. Yeah, like, have you ever heard of... I don't know, you ever heard of Minecraft? 
Winter worms have the highest probability of giving artifacts. Uh, can you, like, give me a source for that? I feel like that's, like, a classic, like... I feel like that's, like, you might think... You might feel like that's true, but, like, you don't know that. Like, I would love to see a source on that. I feel like you're, like, in L.A. Noir. Like, yeah, what's your evidence for that? And you, like, go to your little evidence book, and you can't find nothing. You're like, ah, I'm just, you know... Shaking you loose just to see what falls out or some shit like that. I've heard it from great experts. Yeah, okay. You'd sell the community center to Joja Mart. Well, how much money is that? That's not a whole lot of money, right? I could do that, actually. And also, I can do it on a playthrough where I don't feel bad about doing it because I don't care about getting the community center done. So, like, honestly, I don't really care, right? It don't matter. Nothing matters, really. Do you actually want- Yes, I want the source. When I asked for the source, I said I want the source. Yes, please. Yes, source, I made it up. That's what I'm thinking. Winter is the best time for getting artifacts from the little forageable spots in the ground. Yes, I would love to see a source on that. Because I was told that summer is best for them in the Stardew Valley wiki. Which, you know, anyone can edit the wiki, but... Yeah, that's exactly the thing that I looked at, Shadow Princess. That's exactly where I pulled that you need summer. All right, let's go over it together, though. Let's go over it together. If 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 we're gonna like, if we're gonna talk about it here, let's go over it together, because this is exactly what I wrote, what I read as well. Oh no. There we go. Because this is exactly what I read as well. All right. Dagnon deforestation is back on the rise. Yeah, that's the wrong thing. All right, here we go. All right, listen up, everyone. Here we go. I'm going to read this shit. We're going to go over this together, and we can all interpret what this means, all right? All right, here we go. Artifact spots, also known as worms, stems, or twigs. Right, the things that you can dig up with a hoe. Right, and then I remember down here that... Spawning, of course, in winter, for all locations, the limit is relaxed. But in winter, of course, it spawns more snow yams and those um, winter roots. So we know that. If a player doesn't dig up a, a dig spot, there's a 15% chance of it despawning de overnight. Okay. I don't know how to read. Can you help me? Yeah, that's like what I'm doing. I'm like reading it here. Because you can get stuff. Let's go to the artifacts page here. And then let's go to like uh, something that you can get. Like a dinosaur egg here. Or maybe something that... Um... Here we go. Let me pull up my little notes here. Let me pull out my little notes. Like a prehistoric skull. Is a prehistoric skull on here? There we go. Prehistoric skull. Right, so artifact spots. The mountain. Now you see where it says here? Well, no, you don't because it's not on the page here. All right, you see how right here it says the mountain. Base chance 0.6%, plus 3 to 6%. And then it has a little footnote down here. That footnote down here is. The chances of finding extra items in artifact spots is season dependent. The maximum chance is in summer. And fall. In winter, the chance is 50% less. In spring, 6% less. Where is the source for that? Dude! When I asked you for a source, this is the fucking page that you pulled up. What do you mean, what's the source? This was your source. This was your source was the fucking starter wiki, man. And now you're asking me what the source of this place that you sourced is? What do you mean? You can't, you can't do that. What's the source? You. Your ass. I'm gonna play the video game. 
I'm asking where's the source of that sentence? I don't know. Does it have a source that links to it? Generally, that information is pretty true to the game. I'm not saying, like, that you do this, but you can't... You kind of got to, like, run on, like, a trust-based system sometimes when it comes to community-based things. You just said it can be edited by anyone? All right, don't start doing the thing that your teacher did back in, like, the sixth grade where she's like, you can't source Wikipedia because anyone could edit it. Because, of course, anyone could edit it. But most people maintain these game wikis in good faith because the community that they enjoy uses them as well, all right? And you can't turn that around on me, all right? You said it first? Yeah, I said it as a joke. Now you're using it seriously because your information was wrong and I just proved it wrong. All right? So just take it easy. Let me play the video game, all right? It is not... All right. I'm not going... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not. I'm not. All right. Open up the code yourself, please. If, if the code itself says it's wrong, then I would love for you to go into that Wikipedia page and change it to reflect that. I seriously need you to comment on those tags. What is going on? I don't know. What are the tags of the stream, you mean? I don't know. What are the tags? What does it say? I always thought Stardew was a nice, wholesome, relaxing game. Love to see that those stereotypes are being smashed. I'm relaxed. What are you talking about? I'm having a good time. Normal tags for a normal stream? Like, what are the tags? Like, normal? Like, normal guy? Normal booty and stuff like that? Because that's it. That's me. Hairline check. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Alright. And one more day after this. Craft a furnace? I'm not doing that. Can I send links in chat? No. You gotta fucking send like... There's gotta be like fucking Pornhub.com or some shit like that. I don't want that. I don't want that. No. <clears throat> we don't really do that around here. Thanks to Nicole Bell for the 25 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. That's a great idea. I can move my bed now. I can make this house ugly as sin. Let's go apologize. No. What does she want me to do? Find her axe? Is that that quest? No forageables. The guy in the community rapping in a... The guy in community rapping in a peanut butter in a peanut bar costume. Why would I want to see that? What relevance does that have? Someone tell me how the speed run works. Yes, sir. I'm gonna complete the museum as fast as possible. Okay. Got it? We all on the same page? If you want more worms to spawn on your farm, you can clear out all the grass. The scythe doesn't use energy. Thanks. Inventory? Oh yeah, you know what? I was gonna do that. Exactly. I was gonna go to Pierre's shop. But it's not gonna be open yet, so I guess I'll just look around for forageables until then. Yeah, that's what I'll do. We ever speed run the community center when the speed run is done? Yeah, because actually the community center has like a well-established like guide on how to speed run it, right? The museum doesn't, as far as I'm aware, really have that. At least I'm not following any sort of guide. I just wrote down everything and how to collect it and I'm just going to do it. Is how I'm doing it, so. What's up, Maru? Hey, Miko Miyachi. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Thank you. Because, like, yeah, the community center actually has, like, I think that's, like, one of the most popular categories for this game, right? That and, like, completing the mines or something. 
Linus? My, where was Linus? I didn't see his ass. I saw his tent. Give Linus fruit right now? I'm not giving him shit. I need this fruit. My ass is going to get exhausted in the mines. I need this fruit. This fruit's critical. Thanks for the hydrate. <clears throat> what speedruns did you did? I've never done a speed, uh, Stardew Valley speedrun before. You have a hard time beating my museum run? It was a speedy 144 hours? Oh, wait. That long? There we go. We made it 144 hours. We made it 100 and... What? RNG? Well, yeah, no doubt. But, like, what specifically gave you the most trouble? Like, what item specifically? Oh, their casual playthrough. Oh, yeah, maybe that's what you meant. Because I'm not the best... Well, no, I'm not the best at the game either. I mean, yeah, and if you're not trying for it specifically, like, if you're just, um... I don't know, playing the game cat... I've never completed the museum casually, so I guess you already have me beat. Alright, so here's the source here. <laughs> Alright, man. So, you're clowning on me for my source, and I'm not gonna, like, make a point out of it, alright? But I'm just saying, before you come at me for saying that my source is Wikipedia that anyone can edit, Yours is a forum from seven years and five months ago. A forum. Alright. But just, it's no big deal, alright? It's no big deal. I'm on year eight in my game, in my original game, and I still don't have perfection. I've never even come close. What is all perfection entails like a lot though, right? Stardew Wiki the official one or am I mistaken? Yeah, it's like the fandom one, right? But I don't like fandom. I don't like any of the fandom wikis. I kind of hate how it is the official one, but I wish that I don't know, maybe concerned ape could like head an effort to like make a more official one cuz I don't like fandom wikis. Like, the Minecraft one is fandom, I think the Terraria one's fandom, the Animal Crossing one. There's a fandom for Animal Crossing, but luckily most people use Nookopedia, I think. But, I don't know. I think fandom wikis are, like, total ass. I got another Geode. Wait, why did it give me a cutscene for that when I've already gotten one? Have you enjoyed your water lately? Smiley face. Is that? It sounds like a threat. What are you putting a smiley face on after that? That sounds like a threat. Like, hey, have you been sleep? Have you been sleeping well lately? That's like, I don't know. Adding like a a smiley face after that makes it very. Oh, I got another geode. Yeah, it's probably, like, what I should do then. Crack all the rocks here. Throw the water out? Yeah, I might have to now. I might have to now. I don't know if I can trust it. Trying to be nice here? Well, you know, I'm just making an observation, really. Just making an observation. There's ants in your water. They used to be, but not anymore. I moved out of California, where the ants run wild. Now I'm in Pennsylvania, where the spotted lanternflies w run wild. You guys live in, like, a, like the mid-Atlantic United States, and you're told to, like, look out for spotted lanternflies? And, like, kill them because they're, like, invasive or something? Ants can't swim here. Yeah, exactly. They just float. Ever tried Italian boba? I haven't even tried any boba. People have been trying to get me to try it, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I woke up to a wasp in my house. Oh. Yeah, there's site all over the state of, like, West Virginia. Yeah, they're, like, and they're, like, uh, 
they're expanding as well. It used to be like, I don't know where they were introduced, but like they're kind of going crazy because they're like from, they're native to like Vietnam or something like that. And we don't have the natural predators to take care of them naturally. I haven't seen any spotted lanternflies here in New York, but I did see that people suck them up with a water bottle. With a water bottle. Is there an East Virginia? No. There is regular Virginia, but there's no East Virginia, nor North and South Virginia. There's North and South Carolina, but no East or West Carolina. No East or West Dakota either. Sadly. I really think in that, like, it's been like, what, 70 years since we've added a state to the Union? I think we're due, honestly. I think we're due. Let's make, like, East Virginia or something like that. Man, America is sad. Why is it sad? I mean, yeah, but, like, what specifically? Puerto Rico? I guess that would be the next one, most likely, right? But I don't know. I've been hearing for years that we're going to make Puerto Rico a state, but we haven't yet. So I don't know when that's happening, if it ever does happen. But 50 is nice and rounded number. Why ruin it? I don't know. Because manifest destiny, brother. All right, I gotta go... Oh, shit. When does Clunt close? Five? Oh, man. I don't have the railroad, so I'm totally not making it in time. Whatever. I'll hang on to him, though. I'll hang on to him. And then we'll rest, and then the caves are going to be unlocked today, right? There we go. All right. Like, passive money is alright. Clint closes at 4. Okay, so definitely no way. Thanks, Meg Lynn, for the prime. I appreciate that. Hey! It's the boy. Does this always happen on day 5 as well? I feel like this is really early. Enjoy your emotes anyway, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Holy shit, listen to him. Alright, so I had a special request to, um... Oh, and Gamer Flakes, thanks for the Prime as well. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. I had a special... I'm not naming it Bitch, alright? I had a special request for my good buddy Axnu, user Axnu, um, to name it Axnu. So there we go. Is Axnu the dog? Whenever you get 1k in earnings... Oh, wow. I feel like I did that really fast this time compared to normal playthroughs. Hmm. Alright, so that just means the boulder's cleared. And now we can go mining. So, that's fun. Yeah, I think now we just say screw forageables until the summertime and go mining. What happens if you say no to adopting the dog? Uh, you probably don't adopt the dog if I had to guess. Why would you ever do that, though? I don't know why you would ever say no to that. Hey, he's taking a... He's taking a whiz! He's taking a... He's taking a whiz, dude! He's going behind the bush! I know what a guy does when he goes behind the bush, dude. I know what a fella is doing when he goes behind the bush. He has to! Hey, I'm not saying nothing. Don't watch him... We don't need to see this. So we get a rusty sword. Alright. We're gonna get a lot of things pretty quickly here. Oh, my luck. We're gonna get a lot of things pretty quickly mining. Like quartz, that's a thing that you can donate right there, so we'll add that. Um, Every, like, gem, every mineral. You can get a lot of things, like enemies drop a lot of things that you can donate. So we're going to get a lot of, like, yeah, we're going to get a bunch of geodes, which when themselves will be certain things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now it's going to be coming in hot. Now it's going to be coming in hot and steamy. Oh, these bugs can also drop things on a rare occasion. I think they can drop dwarf scrolls. And it's nice. We don't even need to worry about, like, copper and shit. Like, normally you go down here for, like, mineral, like, copper and iron and shit. But I don't even need to worry about that. So, like, I see copper, like, I don't care. Move on. Bugs? Yeah, that's true. Bugs drop the ancient seed as well. I remember writing that down. 
Bugs drop ancient seeds. These guys drop bombs, which would be nice. And other things, but... Bombs, probably most likely. Yeah, like that. Alright, and then hit it with a little... Ah! You can't do that. Yeah, and now he's just... Oh, it's so sad when you blow off their little shells. They're so sad. Oh. Those guys, those, these, these things don't blow up the big rocks, do they? Yeah, he's Nene. They're naked. Ah! Why is it like everything fucking crabs in here? Oh, crab itself as well. Sneaky fella. There's a whole shit ton of them in here. What's going on? I need a ladder, man. I gotta get out of here. Open up. Someone tell his ass to open up, please. I want to mine him. Yeah, that's right. I want to get him. Is that new? I feel like they didn't do that. I don't think they ever did that, right? Where they, like, cower and then, like, you can knock their shell off with your pickaxe. Yeah, you can mine them, I guess. i never seen that before. I don't think I ever saw that before. They've always done that? I guess my ass is stupid. Or you know what, most likely, is I've killed them fast enough to where I've never even, like, noticed. Because I had, like, a better sword than I do now. That is unfortunately something that they've always been able to do. It's not unfortunate, it's funny. It's fucking hilarious. Are you excited for SDV 1.6? What's SDV? SD... S. Give me a minute. S. D. V. Oh, Stardew Valley. Yeah, what was the question? Are you excited for 1.6? Yeah! Yeah. I don't know what's coming in 1.6. I actually have no idea. I have no idea what's coming in 1.6. I'm getting a bunch of geodes. Nothing else, really. You can get earth crystals down here as well. Maybe not this low down, though. You might need to go a little lower. Great job, Dag. Stuff? Well, that's not very interesting at all. Maybe I'm not excited about it. it seems kind of boring, to be honest with you. More dialogue, new events. I can't remember what else he hinted at. Those both sound good. I can't wait to talk to Carolyn and have her say, Today I'm going to relax and think positively for like the 18th time in the same day. Maybe it'll help with some of that. Not that that's like a big issue, but you know... You know, this game is good when, like, you take issue with very, like, not big, not, stuff that's not a big deal like that. And it's not even, like, a big issue. Should I get down to, should I go to Klunts, do you guys think? I did used to get a checkpoint for level 5, right? So, yeah, let's go to Klunts. Let's go to crack these geodes here. I hope that in 1.6, I agree with you. I hope that in 1.6, they add the ability to divorce Pierre and Carolyn so that I can marry Carolyn. I want to be able to marry Carolyn. I was so mad when I found out that not only can you not marry Carolyn in the base game, but it didn't seem like there was any mods that made it so that you could divorce Pierre and Carolyn. At least I didn't find any. All the, like, Carolyn mods were, like... And, I mean, this is true for, like, every female character. It's not like someone's got something for Carolyn specifically, but, like, they were, like... Carolyn Big Boobs mod and some shit like that. Anime Carolyn characters. There's a lot of big titty mods in this game, dude. It's kind of a little embarrassing. I'm embarrassed on behalf of, like, people who, you know, don't play this game from the outside looking in, you know? Alright, I got eight geodes. Hey, that's something we can donate. Petrified slime. Coal? No. 
Uh, I already got an Earth Crystal, which I don't know. Did I count an Earth Crystal? I might not have. Okay, that's something we can donate. You don't have enough room. Oh, so I, so I don't. Clint Big Boobs mod. Well, I want him to just remove his ass. I want him to make like a an event where you can like execute Clint. That'd be kind of fun. I just think that would be like a nice bit of like wholesome family fun, really. All right, so that's wait, that's six things donated. Yeah, okay, and I'm at six. All right, good. What's my reward? Cauliflower seeds. Those are going straight to the box. Hot blacksmith. Yeah, replace Clunt with a hot blacksmith babe. Yeah. A hot chick. Another petrified slime. You need to sell directly to this guy, can't you? Unlucky for you, I'm still here. Well, thanks, Gino of Jalapeno, for the uh, 13 months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. There you go, clunt. I'm actually almost out of energy as well, so it's probably good that I wrapped it up there. Pam Rehab DLC. Dude, I don't know, man. Because, like, beer is such a convenient gift for her. And it's so easy to get Pam to 10 stars, or 10 hearts, because you can just fucking keep buying her beer at the bar. If they if they made her go to rehab, it would make it so that like, it's so much harder to befriend her. I don't know. I'd marry Pam. Come here, sweet cheeks. Let me buy you a shot. I'll put wood, that, that, that. You don't need bug meat. Wait, I can't put cauliflower seeds in there? Why not? My kind of woman. Why can't I put cauliflower seeds in the box? I don't want them. Can I sell them to Pierre? You know that's her voice? Oh, I have no doubt about it. The everyone is Pam mod. I know which one you're talking about. The everyone is Pam mod. Yeah. Does Pam smoke 10 packs a day? Yeah, fucking probably. Have you seen her? Buy my cauliflower seeds. There you go. Thanks, buddy guy. What's the next backpack? 10,000? God, I love a woman who's an alcoholic mess. I could fix her. Fun Stardew trivia. Emily and Shane were originally not romanceable. There was a vote to make them romanceable, but Pam almost won that vote over Emily. I did know that first fact about how there was an update that made it so that Shane and Emily are romanceable now. Um, I didn't know that Pam was the one who almost beat out Emily. But it would have been a real shame because Emily is usually my go-to marriage candidate. That's kind of a shame, actually. Although, I don't know, for the memes, maybe Pam would have been better. I don't know. Wait a second, do you make her worse in-game? No, dude, you, like, build her a house and shit. You make her better. You kind of do fix Pam in this game, you know? That's kind of fucked up. You kind of do fix Pam. You kind of fix her. I like Emily because she has a bird. Yeah, she does have a bird. I like her for that cutscene when you get, like, two, two hearts with her. I keep calling it two stars. Like, it's GTA. Stardew on stream. Been, like, a thousand days since the last appearance. Olge. It's not that old. It has not been a thousand days. Have I ever been streaming for a thousand days? That's, like, not quite three years. There's no way. Yeah, okay. It probably has been a thousand days since I've started streaming. So you could romance Pam and Penny in this alternative universe where Pam was romanceable. Yeah! You could date, theoretically, Pam and Penny at the same time. I'd like to think that they, like, go home to the trailer, and Penny's like, Oh, tell me what my boyfriend did today? And then Pam's like, Yeah, let me tell you what my honey buns did today. And they're both talking about the same guy. It's like a Seinfeld episode. The drama, yeah. It's kind of fucked up, right? Um, I'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, good. One, one, uh, energy. I mean, fuck it, dude. All these things are burning a hole in your pocket. Might as well eat them. Pal Patty and Selma coded. No, Patty and Selma are both Pams. One's not Penny and one's not Pam. They're both Pam. 
What about a Kill George Mary Evelyn mod? I think you should take up programming. You be the change you want to see in the world. I think you gotta take up programming, dude. I don't know if anyone's gonna make that for you. You might have to do it yourself. You might be the only fucking sick, twisted person to want to do that other than me. And I don't know how to program. A stiff wind will take George out? Dude, people are in like year 100 of their farms and George is- his ass is still there. Obviously not. The dude takes his vitamins or something. His ass is still there. That is a mod? To kill George and marry Evelyn is a mod? That is a mod. Some other- there's a third, at least, sick, twisted individual that decided to make that a mod because he wanted it so bad. What do you kill him with? Like, a gun? Or do you, like, scythe him? You, like, scythe his neck from his body. How do you kill him? I'm very curious now. I think Evelyn kills- oh, no! He's so sick of his ass, he just kills him. Hello? Hi. It's pretty intense. You know what else is intense? Camping. The romance you got with her? Me? No, no, man. I'm normal. I romance normal people in this game. Like Emily. I like them normal in this game. Evelyn shoots him, and you- Wait, 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 wait. Evelyn shoots him, and you push him off the summit. Wait, so you tag-team his ass. So you tag-team him. You, uh, you, like, plot with- I need to install this. Holy fucking shit, I need to install this. What the fuck, dude? I need to install that. So, you and Evelyn both, like, plan on it. She shoots him, and then you push him- I gotta play that. It's a joke mod. It was made to prank a Stardew YouTuber. I want to play it serious. I want it to be canon mod. I want it to be canon. I want it to be how it is. I don't want it to joke. I'm not joking. I'm very serious about it. I don't like him. I don't like George. Was pushing him off of his wheelchair not enough? That'd be kind of funny, but I feel like all he would do is, if you pushed him off his wheelchair, is, like, crawl around like a bug. And, like, slither, maybe. Do a little slithering. Uh, 14... 12... You know, there's, like, a glitch that you can do. Where you, like, swing your axe, but you don't do any stamina. I should have learned that. Oh, no, I'm exhausted. Rat! Oh, no, I'm out of, like, no energy. I push him and well, you know what I can do is just sleep again. Fuck it. Why not? Not in a rush. The walk of shame? Oh no, I swung my pickaxe again because I tabbed out and tabbed back in. Hang on, I gotta get this. This is bugging me that there's one piece of wood here that I need to get rid of. You'll be fine if you level up overnight. Oh, I didn't know that. If you level up overnight, it doesn't penalize you for being exhausted. Thanks to the hydrate. Go in the house, please. Hey, the dog! He's seeping. There you go, buddy. Alright, please level up. Ooh. <laughs> level one mining. Cool. Not in a rush. This is a speed run. Yeah, but like... Speed run, you know? If a true Stardew Valley speedrunner came in here, they'd be like... What's he speedrunning? Wiping his ass? I don't know. Ten slimes? You'll have earned your way into the guild. Oh, fuck. The guild. Alright. Alright. Um, check for forageables and then go to the mines. E. You, ew, you picked the dog? Oh, ew, you picked your nose. What's wrong with the dog, dude? The dog's good. Just say that you're not a dog person. His ass is gonna starve, though. Or, rather... What's the... De-thirst yourself? What's that called? Oh, rice shoot. See, that's why it's not optimal in spring, either, because you get rice shoots. 
instead of potential artifacts. I also gotta sell some of this shit here. Yeah, dehydrate. He's gonna dehydrate because I don't I don't have his watering can anymore. Oh, there's a lake on the farm. Yeah, just take a sip down here. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, what am I talking about? He's got a whole pond down there. He'll be just fine. Right, boy? Yeah, he said yeah. The rain will help him out? Yeah, but you, you got the pond. It's fine. Just water the dog himself? That's what I end up doing? Just water the dog? <laughs> don't you get friendship points, though, for, like, filling his bowl, though? I don't think you'll gain much friendship if you're pouring water on the dog. No forageables. Standard farm looks so barren. Glad I picked the forest farm. Yeah, does anyone really pick the standard farm? I usually go either beach farm or... No, I think mostly beach farm. Lately, at least. At least ever since it's been added. Big beach farm guy. How do you do, fellow slimes? Oh, ooh, ooh! Oh, no, they got me. Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Oh, no. Get out of there. Four corners. Ah, oh, that's right, four corners. That's a great one for co-op, though. I don't know if I'd pick four corners by myself. That's a good co-op map. Dude, get the hell out of Slime Central. I think I'd probably do four corners for a co-op map. I'd do... Either River Farm, because I like fishing, or Beach Farm in a single player. Can you fuck off? Dude, one of the worst things in this game is when you get like... Oh, Topaz. Nice. One of the worst things in this game is when you get surrounded by slimes and they all just like nuke your speed. And you just can't escape them. So annoying. Anything else here? Alright, so we got Topaz. We still got a bunch of Geodes that I didn't process. So we'll do that. Also, one of these floors, I, I'll, I'll, I'll know it when I see it, is really good for farming, like, dwarf scrolls. Because there's a lot of, like, for forageable dirt areas. Check the bugs, because they're a one-shot. Oh, Dougies can drop some stuff as well. Dougies have a decent chance of dropping, dropping dwarf scrolls. Also, bombs as well, which would be useful. Ah... Alright, leather boots. I forgot that you're supposed to get these every 10 levels. I thought it was like the skull caverns where it's like a chance of getting these. Alright. This farm would actually... This floor would actually be decent for farming the dwarf scroll. Maybe I should try that. No, let's see. Let's just try to get through the mines and see how many dwarf scrolls we get just naturally getting through the mines before we worry about farming it. I think that'd be smarter. More duggies. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think maybe the barrels would be worth checking. I think the bar- well, barrels can just outright give you things that you can donate, but also geodes as well, I think. Oh, and then- well, no, I already got an earth crystal, but I guess they're good for selling, so why not? Do you like fish ponds or nah? Um, they're kind of annoying. TBH. They're quite, a, quite annoying when you get like- well, yeah, as well. They're annoying to maintain because they're always asking for, like, ridiculous shit. And then the quote-unquote best fish pond in the game, I think, is the sturgeon, right? Because that gives you sturgeon, bro, which makes caviar. But caviar doesn't sell for, like, shit. It's supposed to be, like, this luxury item. This is the floor where you want to farm dwarf scrolls. This is the good floor for the, all this dirt. And then, like, the caviar doesn't even sell for shit. Like, what's the point? Why is that like the why is that like the good fish farm, but then it gives you something that is not even worth an ass? It sells for 1k, but by the time you get fish farms, like that's pretty not that much. Lava eels are better? What does lava eels give you? I mean lava eel row and then what? Also blobfish pond. Well, while hilarious, what does that give you? Is that actually better? They have the highest selling aged row. Oh, okay. So caviar isn't even the best selling row. Okay, well, that seems silly then. I don't know. 
I think they should make sturgeons rarer, but then make caviar better, if you ask me. Blobfish give pearls occasionally. Well, they all give, like, something fairly decent, right? Like, on a random chance, I thought at least. They give you spicy eel. Oh, yeah, spicy eel. That's pretty good. You get those a lot from serpents in the skull caverns, which is always nice, because I hate those guys, and I want to kill them. Be gone, vile bug. I just got to over level 100 in the mines. You think I can get to level 100? You think I can get to the bottom of the mines in one spring? I'm at, I'm, I'm at like a... I don't know. Today I'm going to knock out like 10 levels in one day. And it's not even like half the day's over. I think I can do it. Yeah, that's doable? I think so. Because getting to the bottom of the mines will... <laughs> no, you know, you know what you get for going to the bottom of the mines? You get fucking Junimo Kart, which I actually do really like. I love Junimo Kart. Maybe I'll take like a little intermittent break to play some Junimo Kart from the speedrun. Like turn the timer off or whatever. Because I fucking love Junimo Kart. Don't tell no one. I'm kind of like... I'm not insane like the greatest to ever do it at Junimo Kart, but... I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Pretty much, pretty good Junimo card. All right, can I get the Clunts before four? I don't know. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight. The other game sucks. You're talking about Journey of the Prairie King. It's also really good. It's gonna be very tight. Uh, Abigail's on my ideal line. Oh no, we can totally do it. We can totally do it. Dag, stop. What do you mean? What do you mean? What am I doing? I can't stop, dude. I'm gonna, like... I need to, like, move to get to Clunts. Alright, I'm gonna get there at 350. Alright. Alright, cool. Process geodes. Okay, I think I already donated that, right? Yeah. That I do need. Eight. That is a repeat. Of what I just got. That is a repeat of something I've already gotten. And that is a repeat of something that I've already gotten. Alright, cool. Prairie King is... It, it is hard. I like Prairie King, but it is hard. I think that's why I like it. Move. Alright. And that's it, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep. Alright, we're good. Fuck off! What's up, Nova? How are you doing? I have zero patience for either arcade game. The fucking iPad kid. It's because it's, it's not Subway Surfers, right? Because it's not Subway Surfers or Temple Run or fucking. It's, it's stop that! Yuck! I'm gonna do it again. Get the hard. No, no, no! I will never get that fucking Prairie King achievement where you beat it without even dying once. No. I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. I, I will never... Is, is that part of, like, the 100% speedrun for this game? What do you mean just cheese it? How, how do you cheese it? How do you cheese it? I'd, like, kind of love to know how to cheese it just to, like, get it. And never have to worry about it ever again. Alright, let's see here. No, thankfully not. I think like, that would, like, put so many people off from ever even running... Or even trying to, like, get 100% in this game. Abigail hates me because I can't beat Prairie King. Well, I don't know. Your boy over here has got, like, a thousand hours in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, so... I think I got Prairie King on lock. You play a level per day. If you die, restart the game and try again until you finish the game. You play a level per day oh so if you die you just quit out the machine and try again tomorrow oh wait that's kind of smart unless i'm misinterpreting that oh okay yeah because that's right it saves your progress right yeah i forgot that it does that no, no, if you die, you restart the day, like, quit to the main menu. 
Oh, like, okay. Well, no, that doesn't seem... I mean, that's, like, that's still really hard, though, right? Because you still have to not die, which is kind of, you know, pretty hard to do. Alright, I'm going to fucking bed. This is an early night for me. 6, 10 p.m., I'm going to bed. We've all been there. Breaks the arcade machine out of rage. Because what I thought you meant was clear a floor without getting hit, and then save and quit your progress, go back again another day, beat a floor without saving, or beat a floor without dying, and if you do die, then just quit the game. Like, like you said, restart the day, and then just keep doing that. I don't know. Yeah, that. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, like, it's still, like, got difficulty to it, because it's still kind of tough, but I don't know. That's exactly it. Big brain. Yeah, that's kind of smart. That's kind of smart. I only played the arcade machine a handful of times. Well, it's, they're fun. You should give them a try. Especially Junimo Kart, because it's the better of the two. By, like, a mile. It's way easier than doing the whole game in one sitting without dying. Not to mention, in multiplayer, can you even beat, like, Journey of the Prairie King in multiplayer? Because you don't have enough time in the day, right? You don't have enough time in the day. Alright, let me go back to the mines. I yearn for the mines. You can, but it's hard. Well, it's not even like... A, it's not even skill that'll... Is it really like a skill thing? Because it's on a timer. The game goes at a certain pace, no matter how well you do, though, right? So, like, I feel like it's not possible. No one don't know how car Stardew Co-op works. Do you got no friends? You don't got no friends? What do you mean you don't know how co-op Stardew works? You never play this with your boys? What? No friends to play Stardew? No friends? I've actually never played co-op? You guys have never played co-op with your boys? Sorry, I don't have friends. I mean, you know... I'm with you, really. Hey, I turned my light on. I'm not bullying, I'm goofing. I'm not bullying, I'm goofing. Learn the difference. Some of us are stinky. Is that why you don't have friends? Well, dude, just do what I did in high school and just take a thing of Axe body spray and... You smell like a daisy. Fresh as a daisy. Works every time. Oh, God, ew? What do you mean, ew? Dude, I smelled great. All the ladies always complimented me on how well I smell. Fuck off, bug. Oh no, Axe is awful? Well, dude, if it was awful, wouldn't you think that the commercials wouldn't have some, like, lady rubbing up against a guy? And the guy is always, like, super attractive? Wouldn't you think it'd be, like, I don't know, some ugly dude? He's, like, all ugly and shit, and he's, like, using Axe, and it says, like, ah, Axe, it's fucking awful, or some shit like that. Wouldn't you think that it would have that, instead of, like, hot dude? I'm allergic to axe? Damn. Your ass is stinky. Hey, somebody subbed. Thanks, Ghosty Toasty, for the four months. Enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I like your wall decorations. Thanks. This is only half of them, really. I got more that are off-camera. Another geode. I think I have shit luck today because that was a long time to find a ladder. Ew! So many bugs. Be gone, bugs. There you go. <laughs> That's a noise. That is a nasty noise. I wish you could find the holes, like in the skull caverns in here.
At least until you get to like level 120. That'd be nice. I hate... Anyone else just like hate the noise these things make? It's literally like such an... If somebody told me like make the most obnoxious noise possible, I think this is what I would come up with. It's, it's just like obnoxious and it's grating and I don't like it. It's the worst enemy in the game for the noise. Yeah, kind of agree. Bad noises are, you know, it's another bad noise is the serpents going like, wow, or whatever, however they go. Like, yeah, I can't do it. Like, wow, or some shit. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't like that. I don't like that one either. And I also just don't like serpents in general, to be honest with you. They're very annoying. You, you know what noise I'm talking about. Don't question mark my asshole. All right. You know what noise I'm talking about. Where they go like, Hur! or something like that. It sounds so, damn, I'm already goddamn starving, dude. I need to get some energy. I need a star drop. Star drop my ass. Damn. Oh, well. At least I got a couple geodes. You can eat, no, you can't eat bug. Maybe you can craft it into something that you can eat. As like a last resort. Is that like a fuchs? Not really. I'm too scared to even go near the skull caverns because of the serpents. Yeah, I get it. You have to get back to work. It was nice chilling with you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your day at work. Bug steak is delicious. Is that what it is? Bug steak? Hey, do I have that? No, I don't think so. I don't got no bug steak. I do have wild seeds, though, or field snacks. Hmm. Oh, well. I guess we can spend the rest of the day looking for forageables. Yeah, the earliest star drop... Well, I mean, it depends on what you prioritize. There's no earliest star drop. But generally, the one that I get first is, yeah, getting to level 100 in the mines. You can also... Like, what are some other... You can get one from the Fall Festival, right? If you have a, um... Or no, not if you win the thing. If you... If you save up enough points, you can buy one, right? By doing the stupid wheel game. That's rigged as shit, but in your favor. Yeah, you can do that one and get let's save up, like, what? 4,000 points to get a star drop? I don't know. If you don't like mining, that's probably the first one that you get. The museum one, yeah, but, like, that's not gonna be the first one you get, right? Probably not. I've never gotten the one for completing the museum, actually. Okay, that's new. Despite not being worth anything, it's new, and, I mean, that might be worth something. The secret woods one. Oh, for getting the sweet gem buried to the statue. Yeah. I guess you could do that one fairly... Well, no, you have to do that one in fall, because sweet gem berries only do... Only are harvestable in fall. So that one would take until fall. And then you'd have to have a sweet gem berry, which... Or a rare seed, rather. Which, you can get those pretty early. Yeah, I guess. You can definitely get that one year one, though. Ooh. I had a Joji Coley. That's so disgusting. Why would you do that? Straight out of the trash. It's probably, like, warm, because it's been baking in the hot trash can. That's so gross. The wheel is rigged against me. I always lose. What's the color that you're supposed to bet on on the wheel? Hi, Emily. What's the color you're supposed to bet on? Green? Oh, nice. Purple. Green. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seems as though I'm getting some mixed answers. The top half. I know it's the top half. I didn't remember the colors, though. And it's like a 75% chance that it lands on that one? Or something like that? Two out of three chance. Damn. Did they nerf that? I feel like it was more than that. I mean, it was like, you know, if... On one hand, like... It should have been nerfed because, like, 75% chance was a little ridiculous, but, like, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't really see a good way of farming up 4,000 points otherwise, unless you keep doing the fishing game or the slingshot game over and over and over again. Which would be kind of annoying. 
like they're fun they're good for like getting a certain amount of points until you're good enough to like spin the wheel but i don't know hi kevin spongebob is how he just said hi emily yeah yeah don't tell her guys i got a little crush on emily I got a little crush on Emily. I got a little, little crushy poo on Emily. Oh, I'm gonna tell her. Don't. Stop. Don't tell her. I'm gonna fucking shoot myself. Don't fucking tell her. You're gonna fucking die, bro. Oh, Dagnal has a crush. Dagnal and Emily kissing in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. There goes, uh... First comes love, then comes marriage, and then comes the baby in the baby carriage. That's actually kind of genius. Uh, some, like, kid made that up one day? That's amazing. That's a natural lyricist right there. Oh, shit, I got a spot. Oh, but I'm gonna be exhausted, though, if I do it. And it was just clay! Fuck! I risked it for the biscuit, and the biscuit was fucking clay. It's stupid. I don't want clay. Fuck it, I'm going to bed. My ass is going to bed. Eh. That's not all. That's not all. Here comes... That's not all. That's not all. Here comes the baby drinking alcohol. What? You just made that up. Literally right now, you just made that up. No. What are you talking about? Why? How did it get that? How did it get that? It's not 21. You just made that up. What the fuck? Now nah, that's real? What are you talking about that's real? I've never heard that. I've been through school twice. What are you talking about? That's been a thing? No, it hasn't. Oh, you got bug steak. No, what the fuck it has not. I've never heard that before. Who gave the baby alcohol? It's real in California, at least. Nothing's real in California. It's all fake. Hey, cookies. You know, at least bug me in that letter. How do I read letters again? It always bugged me in this letter how she calls me Sweetie with a Y. Sweetie is clearly S-W-E-E-T-I-E, -E -E, mother. It's definitely I-E. Somebody tell her ass. Girl, what's with school kids making sick, twisted remixes of classic? Reminds of us a dark version of a Barney song that kids used to sing. Oh, dude, you're talking about, um... Fuck, how did it go? I love you, you love me, let's get together and kill Barney. Like, I love, it's like the Barney theme song. I love you, you love me, let's get together and kill Barney. And I don't remember how it goes after that. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I think it might be the adults doing it, and then, like, they tell the kids to start singing it, because it's funny or something. Oh, it's not, it's I hate you, you hate me. Right, yeah. I hate Barney. Yeah. Tell him. Yeah, two geodes. With a great big bat and a 4x4, four four, no more purple dinosaur. What is even is a 4x4 four four in this case? Like an ATV? What are you doing? How are you murdering him with an ATV? Hating Barney was a meme before memes existed. Oh, it's a wood. Oh, like a wooden plank. Oh, okay. Chad Tronic has a video documenting the Barney hate. Interesting. I'm sure that'll be like a great video to watch while I'm stoned at like 8 o'clock tomorrow. I mean, no. Tomorrow's Saturday. I can't get stoned tomorrow. I gotta stream. Well, I could, but I'm not. 
I am legally allowed to. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> Ah. Kill his ass. I was about to say, dude, that thing was off-center for the rest of the rocks. That's always totally a fucking crab bug, whatever it is. Are you okay, man? What do you mean, am I okay? Yeah. I'm just swell. How about you? I'm just swell. Just wanted to check in, bestie. I'm doing good. Oh, okay, you were just checking in on me. Oh, that's nice. You know, not enough people do that, you know? I just, you know, I, like, I really appreciate that, actually. You know, like, not many people do that. It's always like, ah, oh, you shithead. Why are you such a shithead, shithead? It's always nasty. You're so nasty to me. I'm so hated. For no reason. But you know what they say is the haters are my motivators. I haven't told this story in a long time. Should I tell it? Seasoned veterans of the stream might remember it, but, um... I told a girl in the ninth grade on oh, via Facebook Messenger. She says, like, haters can lick my taters. Or, I don't know what we were talking about. But she said, haters can lick my taters. And then I said, tater tots. I was like, oh, do you mean tater tots? And then she never talked to me again. I think she might still be mad at me for that. Like, legit, she never talked to me ever again. We were, like, pretty good friends before that. What a rude girl. Oh, she wasn't even rude. I was the rude one. I was being... I was a shithead. Yeah, the one that got away. I don't know, man. I was a bit nerdy in ninth grade. I don't think, uh... I don't think I was a real lady killer back in the day. L for her, dull ass. I mean, dude, that is pretty funny, but, like, not to a ninth grade girl who's, you know, probably, like, pretty emotional and very, like, you know, as teenagers are, very, uh, self-conscious. Not, not, not exactly, like, I'm not siding with myself on this one, not at all. Hey, there's Amethyst. You're a lady killer now? Well, no, but I also wasn't then, either. OMG Dino Egg? You no way. No, you got me fucked up. What are you talking about? You got a Dino Egg? No, I didn't. Quit messing with me. Stop. You're messing with me. You're pulling on my shithole. Stop. I swear I saw it. Obviously not. If you saw it, wouldn't it be in my inventory? What if she's watching right now? Alright. If whoever that person was is watching me right now... Say the initials of that name, okay? But only if you're that person, all right? Oh, no. Dude, I gotta get the amethyst here. I can't, I can't, like, bail out of here. X, Y? Yeah, old Xavier Yvette. Yeah, I really hurt her feelings. B, J? No, dude. Grow up as well, can I just say? Fucking grow up. Oh no! I gotta eat cookies. I gotta do something, dude. It was me? How dare you? D no, it wasn't that either. And also, if you're not the person, stop posting your initials. You're gonna, like, dox yourself. I said only if you're that person. It's like you people don't listen to me. No, it was not Nabarro Nunez, either. Alright, Amethyst. I'm also gonna crack all those barrels. Then why would we? Exactly. If you're not the girl, don't worry about it. Oh shit, someone actually... No, 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 okay, never mind. I, I misremembered their name. I almost... Whoever said LV, you were very close. <laughs> and then I, I was like, wait, hang on a minute. No. Whoever said LV, you were very close. That kind of scared me for a second. L is correct. V is not. LW? It was LW. <laughs> should I say that? I don't know if I should say that. Hey, rubber boots. 
One immunity versus... No, that's just worse. Yeah, LW is actually correct, but I don't know if I should say that. Oh, white algae. Get out of here, bug. Ah, better sword. Thanks for the hydrate. Doxter? No, dude, I didn't... I didn't fucking dox Lorette Williamson, dude. Come on. Oh no, this area is overrun with monsters. Oh, rats. When does the museum close? Like, six? Do I have time? If I, like... Well, no, I guess I should just go back now, right? Because I already got a checkpoint just now, so... Yeah, fuck it, let's go back now. You remember her mother's maiden name? No, I don't even know her first name. Who names their kid Lorette? Dude, you got you'd get your ass kicked if this was nineteen forty. Dude, if this was nineteen forty, you go around saying some shit like, "Who the fuck names their kid Gertrude?" You're gonna get your ass punked. You're gonna get a stogie shoved up your butt. They're gonna say, "Sick 'em, boys." And they're gonna shove a cigarette up your butt. Dag born in 1940 confirmed. I look damn good for 80 years old. 83. Hey Alex, you just missed me going through the trash. Legit, I love the name Gertrude. Well, why don't you name your kid Gertrude then? I don't know if they'll love it as much as you do. Oh, oh man, I missed the uh, clunt. Oh well. The trash. Alright, we got Amethyst. That's, uh, 11, right? Wait. No, 9. No, 8. No, 10. Yeah, 10. Oh, no, my number. How did I fix my number? What's the button to fix the number? Anyone know? It's like, this one, right? No. Um... There we go. I got it. Let's squimmy that over here a little bit. There we go. Alt F4. Very funny. Get the timer. Where's my timer? Fuck, whoever told me to do that. You got me all messed up now. Get that back to 10. Got my ass all messed up now. All my shit's all messed up. Thanks, doofus. You messed up. No, you messed up! What the fuck? That's an eel. That scared the shit out of me. I thought it was like a, like a fucking, like, worm or something. <laughs> You're so funny, Daggle. Thanks. Hey, thanks, Dudu Kaka. Fucking disgusting. You know, I'm not- whatever. Enjoy your things. You're so fucking disgusting. You just seriously gr grow up. Fuck, grow the fuck up. Seriously. Find Jesus. <laughs> he said the funny name. <laughs> he says shit twice. Alright, let's sell all this shit. Not the geodes. How do I get rid of these boots? I don't want them. There we go. Also, the sword. I need to put this away. Hey, the Fox of Snow XD. Thanks for the raid. Hope your stream was good. Thank you. Welcome. I'm Dagnal. You can sell it to the guild? Well, the guild won't even let me into their confounded building until I've killed ten slimes, which... I've got six, but... I mean, whatever. I'm not... I'm not patient. I'll wait. 
Just trash them. I mean, the guild is the worst place in the game as far as selling things because they'd be, they'd be like, you can fucking sell your galaxy sword for like, what, a grand? That place, doesn't, that place doesn't give you shit. You can bring in a damn piece of diamond and it'll give you 20 bucks for it. Hmm. Place sucks. Never sell to Gus. His ass will not give you a good price. I mean, not Gus. Well, yeah, Gus, but also Marlin. Those old fossils don't know the value. Yeah, they still think that, like, a gallon of milk costs 50 cents. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. That's that GameStop shit. Exactly. You're right. That is that GameStop shit. Yeah, oh, well, bringing a copy of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee that was $60 and is still $60 fucking dollars, let's be honest. Yeah, I'll give you five bucks store credit for that. Or four dollars straight up. That is that bullshit, isn't it? You're right. I remember I was a kid, man, and I had a bunch of old PS2 games, and I made my dad drive my ass all the way to the mall where the game closest GameStop was. I was so excited to get some money for my old games that I didn't play no more. And they told my ass, like an eight-year-old, nine-year-old kid probably, yeah, give me like a buck fifty for these old this old junk. Yeah, this one's a little scratched. This one doesn't have the game manual anymore. This one kind of stinks. Yeah, I give you a buck fifty. Fucking broke my heart. Imagine joining the raid and hearing Dagnal cuss nonstop. I mean, just, you know, giving you a taste of things to come. They broke your faith in capitalism. Yeah, that kind of that kind of messed me up. I still have scars, mental scars from that. But hoeing the rock. Yeah, a rock hoer. I uh, one more. Sounds like some deep-seated childhood trauma we just unearthed there. Yeah, I'm not going to trauma dump though, you know. I mean, I just think it's fucked up. Uh, you know, I just think it's fucked up. This world's so fucked up. What did I come back to? I'm bitching about how GameStop, back in like 2007, didn't give me a very fair offer on my very good PlayStation 2 games that are awesome. Hey, I got fishing. <laughs> Even though I haven't done a lick of fishing. I refuse to join them and thrive? Dude, I'm joining Joja, man. Although, I gotta save money for unlocking the desert bundle, so I really shouldn't spend my money on silly stuff like a Joja membership. Quit buzzing my phone. Streaming. I had a similar experience with selling books to the bookstore and try to try to give me six bucks for, like, 15 hardcover pristine books? Well, it's not like that person specifically said, yeah... I'm gonna give you six bucks for that. It's probably like store policy. They probably ran it through some checks and balances, but... Yeah, no, it stinks, right? Sucks. There is one place that gives you decent value around me for your old games. And that's the game store that I like to frequent. Um, not GameStop, basically. Any local game store will probably give you a much better deal than GameStop will. Alright, what do we got? Something good? Chicken statue. Number 11. Chicken statue, I think, is like the most common thing that you can forage off the farm. I still am not over foraging a 0.08% chance strange doll off the beach for the very first thing that I hoed in this fucking save file. I'm still not over that. That was amazing. Considering that was one of the things I was probably going to struggle to try to get. I'm going to convert people to communi communism now. That way no one's going to pay. Yeah, I don't think that's what communism is, man. I, d I don't really think it is. What time does Clint open up? I guess I can check the beach as well. Yeah, I'm just so good at this game. Yeah, I actually think you're onto something. I think you're right. I think you're right. Check the beach. I mean, I sell this stuff. I might as well. Hey, Undertaken. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing.
appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that. Thanks, good friend. Thanks, my dude. Yeah, I just really appreciate that. You're in such a cheery mood right now. Yeah, what can I say? I'm just in a just a chipper mood, really. I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. Can I get something from this shithead that I haven't donated already, please? And is actually donatable? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. He's so... I don't want that. Wait, what was that? I paid 75 and I sell it back for 5 That's fucking GameStop right there, dude. That's fucking GameStop. That's what we were just complaining about. That That's 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 the GameStop. That's what we were just complaining about, is that exact thing. You buy it for 75 gold, you sell it back for 5 even though I literally just took it from him and then gave it right back? That's that fucking shit right there, dude. You can make more money if you smelt it into bars. Yeah, but like, I could also not. Because I'm not, I mean, I guess I'm kind of worried about money, but like, the only money I need in this entire save file will be 42,500 to unlock the um, bus to go to the desert. So I don't think I'm too worried about that. GameStop YouTube sponsorship when? When have they ever done YouTube sponsorships? Have they ever done that? Like, this video is sponsored by GameStop. I don't think they do that, right? At least I've never seen it. Seems like it could happen, because, you know, high market crossover between people who watch YouTube and people who like GameStop, maybe. Thanks for the hydrate. I thought they went bankrupt. I don't know how they can go bankrupt. They got five game stops in every hick town in America. Go to a city in America that has like less than 10,000 people. There will probably be like multiple game stops. How do they go out of business? They have like a chokehold on all the game stores in the United States. They'd have to be stupid. I did get the, f I, I got the 2K inventory upgrade backpack, not the 10K one though. The first one. Now they're closing one in our tiny-ass town? Really? Damn, my, like, tiny-ass town had one, and it was doing just fine. I mean, it was, like, it was the only place you could go. It ought to be doing just fine. Nothing else it could be doing. Only places up. I don't know, though. They just closed one. I've never seen a GameStop close. That's insane. How does a GameStop close? There's nothing else. At least in small towns. People are buying real games and moving towards digital? Well, I thought that their response to that was to, like, start selling, like, Funko Pops and shit. The thing about a GameStop is that it doesn't even have, like, fucking games half the time. Well, it does have games. It always has games. But, like, half of the store is, like, Funko Pops and merchandise and video game paraphernalia. It's not even video games a lot of the time anymore. I mean, the digital age of buying video games has been here for years. It's not like it's suddenly happening anymore, you know? They were losing money from the buybacks. Well, they didn't give jack shit from the buybacks anyway. I don't know how they lose money on it. I give them a game and they give me five bucks. It costs 60. It's agitating. And really fucking agitated. I hate these fucking floors. I hate these ones with the monsters. You gotta kill them all. I do like the killing something noise. It's very good. Okay. Don't, don't, don't start fucking doing the thing. Don't start doing the thing. Thank you. Ah. I hate when they do the thing where they, like, shell up and turn into, like, a flying one. 
That five bucks was all they had. What are you saying that I put GameStop out of business by making them give me five bucks for my copy of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee? Mm-mm. Doubt it. Highly doubt it. I'm currently browsing the Switch sale right now. What's, what the fuck? There's no fucking Nintendo games are on sale? What the hell are you talking about? Are you crazy? Oh, there's crabs up here. Damn varmints. You ever guys unironically say varmints? I really like that word. I think I'm gonna start using it. Like, I see a, a rat skittering across the floor. I say, goddamn varmint. I'm gonna start doing that. Hey, Irobean, thanks for the three months. I'm alive. Yeah, that's good news. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Those wouldn't be very much good to a dead person. Um... Can he not? Do you see rats a lot? No, and that's why I guess I never say, like, varmint. Like, goddamn varmint. I don't know. Remember those 90% off Steam game sales from like 2010? Yeah, those are still happening, man. There's still always the big winter sale. There's still always the big summer sale. I don't know. I feel like a sale is dictated not by Steam, but by the games that are on Steam and the developers that make them. I don't know. If you want to take it up with somebody, I'd say take it up with them. But I think Steam still offers very good sales most of the time. Dude, I picked up Binding of Isaac for 99 cents, and that became one of my most played game franchises of all time. It's a matter of, like, looking, if you ask me. You gotta find the games that you like. Dude, I don't want to fucking play this floor. I don't fucking want to. If I leave and come back, will I get the same stupid floor? Will I get level 27 with the monsters again? Because I don't want it. Yeah, the summer sale's great. They always got good shit. Yes? God damn it. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna fucking nuke this floor for all it's got then before I have to deal with that. Be gone. Give me a dwarf squirrel one. It's like they don't even listen to me. Hey, an Omni Geode. Yeah, okay, so Omni Geodes are going to be great for getting a lot of artifacts because Omni Geodes can drop pretty much every mineral on oh, my journal. Oh, I unlocked the fucking uh, the, the fucking club or whatever it's called. Omni Geodes give you like pretty much every mineral that you can donate and a lot of artifacts too. So, <laughs> all right, I'll take a second one. They can give you pretty much, like, everything that you need to donate. Yeah, the GameStop guild. That's it. Please keep off of the grass. Shine your shoes. Wipe your face. Guess not Smash Mouth died. Wait, somebody... Oh, wait, this isn't 27. Hey, a mushroom. But this is one of those nasty mushrooms that, like, kills you. That's not, like, one of the purple ones. It's not, like, one of the purple ones that gives you a shit ton of energy. It's one of the nasty ones. The vile ones. Yeah, so does it? Yeah, it does. God damn it. Oh, well. You really have so little energy at the start of the game? Yeah, if there's one thing that I... I and it's not even, like, a fault of the game, but... One thing that I don't enjoy about starting a new playthrough is starting a new playthrough and you have to deal with the energy that you have. Similar to Terraria. You ever guys ever start a new Terraria playthrough and, like, you just got off, like, an OP build? Like, you're going from, like, end game character back to the beginning game character and you feel, like, so slow and, like, you can't fly. You have, like, no movement ability, like, whatsoever. It's so annoying. Ooh, Stardew, are you planning on romancing anyone? It's not really the point of what I'm trying to do, but, I mean, you know. If Emily falls into my lap, then I won't say no. Uh, I'll keep the leaks. There we go. Emily and Emily only. I like Emily. I'm going to bed. Seb on top, though? Just say that you got bullied in school, man. Alright? 
It's the only reason somebody would like Sebastian. There's no harm in a little kissy kiss on the side. Yeah, what's a little kissy kiss? Exactly. Please. Why, Emily? I really need details. I really want to hear your side. You're not entitled to anything, no matter how grammatically correct your sentence is, Buster. Alright? You're not entitled to anything. Dude, why do you like anyone? Because, I don't know, you just do. You may get fucking good brain chemicals from seeing them. I don't know. You know, I used to have a therapist who would... And it just... It annoyed me. But I'm sure they didn't mean it, like, in a bad way. Just in general, when people use, like, perfect grammar in very informal setting settings, like text messages and stuff like that, it always, like, rubs me the wrong way. Not that it's wrong. I'm not saying you guys shouldn't do it. But when people use proper grammar in a very informal setting, it bugs me. I had a therapist. No, don't say sorry. I'm not. It's it's a me problem. It's 100% a me problem. It's not a you problem. It's a me problem 1000%. But I had a therapist who would always do that for one. And then whenever I told him something, I said like, hey, I'm going to miss this week's appointment. You know what he would say? He wouldn't say, like, oh, okay, no problem. He wouldn't say, sure, keep me updated. He'd say, acknowledged. Acknowledged. Capital A, acknowledged, period. Every time. If you went through our string of text messages on my phone, you would find just a bunch of texts of me saying... Hey, Darren, this is what I did today. Hey, Darren, I'm kind of in a bad mood today. Hey, Darren, I'm going to miss today's appointment. Acknowledged, acknowledged, acknowledged. What are you doing? Did they teach you this in, like, therapy school to do that? Like, yeah, my feelings are acknowledged, but in, like, the most heartless, like, way possible. And it just feels, like, so stone, like, cold. Is it an automated message? No, because he would occasionally, like, you know... He would, and it wasn't, like, instant either. It could be, like, hours later. So it's obviously not automated. And, like, occasionally he would, like, be, like... You know, not say that, basically. But fucking acknowledged. This is fucking annoying. I'm like, dude, come on. Be a human. Please don't be a robot. God. Better than being left on red? Not by much. I'd almost rather be left on red. In a way that's like, almost less insulting. Get out of here, you varmint. You gonna try that exact thing next time someone texts me? Dude, they're not gonna text you back. That's what I didn't- I, I didn't want to text them back. I'm like, oh, acknowledge my shithole, dude. That's what I wanted to say. That's probably what you're gonna hear. I don't know, man. I didn't like that therapist all that much. I'm still in, like, a, a feeling my way out period with my current therapist. Oh no, he's talking about therapy again. Yeah, I'm talking about therapy again. I'm still trying to figure out whether I like him or not. I don't know, it takes a while to, like, warm up to them, you know? Oh no, this area is overrun with monsters, too. Oh. Oh no. At least it's all the bugs, seemingly. Yeah, I'm mentally ill, exactly. And you guys aren't helping. You guys are the reason I keep going back, and thus the reason I keep talking about it, alright? How about that? No, oh, I hate when they do this. Open up. I'm trying to be nice and I'm not saying anyone's doing anything wrong. Okay, I did just say you guys are sending me a therapy, but I'm not, I wasn't serious. All right. Although my therapist does know about you guys, does that like charm you in some way? Are you like flattered by that? That like my therapist knows that I stream on Twitch. 
And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, the chatters, uh... How, how are the chatters this week, Dag? Oh, they're good, Doctor, yeah. Yeah, chatters were stupendous this week. Yeah, you're perceived by my therapist, exactly. Geodes. Nice. We're special! Yeah, you're special! I don't stand by this, because I don't stand by many things that 6th graders do, but when someone says... Y'all ever hear when someone in the 6th grade said like, Oh, I'm special. Someone would always rebuke with, Yeah, special ed. Remember that? That was a memory that I just dug up from like the 6th grade. Well, these guys, do they drop anything special, I wonder? I can't even see. Am I killing a bat, too, I think? Yeah, I am. I got a bat wing. I think I need a better sword, dude. Can I buy a better sword from old Marlin or something? You know, I one time in an early... In a playthrough, really early, I found a mermaid's trident or something like that, and that thing carried me until the end of the mines, and I found it on, like, the third floor, I remember. I remember that. I wish I'd find another one of those. These guys can drop something. I don't remember what it is that I can donate. You're probably better off getting it somewhere else. Yeah, I don't like these floors. They're probably, like, the worst part of the mines. And they seem to, like, last forever. At least, like, ten levels, right? Something like that. Like, if your luck is bad, you're gonna be slogging through these fucking levels. Broken Trident is a dagger. No, it wasn't a- it wasn't a dagger, though. It was a sword. It must have been something else. The Broken Trident? No, I don't think so. It was like a- that was like a mermaid something. Is it like a mermaid weapon? Or like Neptune's something? I don't know. Neptune's glaive? Yeah, I think that might have been it. I think that might have been it. I got that like real early and it like carried me throughout the caves. Is there like no hole in here? Where I can't even see the hole, man. Is it under the copper, the one copper that I left? Well, no. Where's the hole? Don't A-O me, dude. You know damn well what I mean by asking for hole. You know damn well what I'm asking. America's healthcare system is horrible. I hope the streaming stuff pays well. No. No, it doesn't. If you see a streamer that has the viewership that I do and they don't have another job, assume that they're struggling. I do YouTube, so I'm alright, but... Yeah, no, just streaming? No. Well, uh, I guess I'm done with there today. I, I literally couldn't find a ladder, so... I mean, I don't know, it's probably there, I just didn't see it. Yeti Tooth reminds me of when I used to go to the Skull Caverns with my Yeti Tooth and Iron Pick. What the hell is a Yeti Tooth? Is that a sword in this game? Hang on. Is she gonna... Is she going to relax and think positively today? Damn it. Oh, man, I... Right, because I went through her fucking... I haven't introduced myself yet, so I got her fucking beginner dialogue. God damn it. She always, when she stands there, is... Today I'm going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off, Farmer? Hey, Myrtleum. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thanks. Uh, oh man, I missed, uh, Clunt. The first time I've ever been sad to miss Clunt. A bunch of geodes for him. Iron ore? No, you don't donate iron. Oh, and I also got these Omni geodes as well. Alright, well, I'll just clear out the fucking farm for the rest of the day. Hey, boy! That's only on Sunday? Are you sure? I feel like I saw it every day that I talked to Carolyn. Carolyn is so boring. <sighs> kind of, but like she's married to Pierre, so I kind of want to marry her. Just to like, fuck Pierre. I mean, I could fuck Pierre if I wanted to.
Bro, why am I monitor not turning black every so often? What the fuck? I don't know, dude. Sounds like... I don't know. No, it's not happening to anyone else. I don't know, man. It's kind of fucking weird. Is it still happening? Like, I don't know. Dag's a home wrecker. Not a home wrecker. I don't know. Streams haunted or something. Man, are you going to be struggling in the magma levels of the mine? Well, yeah, I'm hoping that I have a better sword at that time. I mean, yeah, of course. I've only gotten one sword upgrade, and that's the one that you get on, like, level 10. I'm hoping to find something better before then. Or if not, I can go to Marlin's Guild and get a better one now, since I've killed 10 slimes. I'll be fine. It's not a home wrecking if it's with Carolyn. Pierre doesn't count. Yeah, is it really a home when it's Pierre? I don't really think, like, Pierre makes it a home. I think he makes it, like, a prison. Look at him running! He ran into a stump. And a better pick? Yeah, but, like, it's fine because of... It's fine. Because, really, it's fine. Because I don't think you're understanding something, alright? Is that it's fine, alright? It's like... Come on, use your head. It's fine, all right? You, you gotta consider all the factors here and why it's fine, because it is. <laughs> Come on. You guys, like, you need to listen to me, all right? You need to listen to me. Yeah, you're right. It's fine. I don't think it's fine. No, it's actually, like, perfectly fine. <laughs> I think... I think it's perfectly fine. Also, not that it affects it in any way, but I'd be real mad if this was a regular old playthrough, and it went fucking 11 days only raining once. I'd be real mad. I'd be real... Let me tell you something. I'd be real cheesed off right now if this was a normal playthrough, and it literally hasn't rained since, like, the first day that it's supposed to rain. I'd be real cheesed right about now. Alright. Check around the farm. Maybe we should actually go around looking for forageables today instead of going straight for the mines, huh? Why not? Also, put some of these to work. Although, do I want to save them for those stupid-ass cave levels? Yeah, I think I do, actually. I think I do. Do you like cheese? Is there a single human being that isn't lactose intolerant that likes cheese? Shit, even most people who are lactose intolerant like cheese. They'll like eat cheese and be like, oh, oh, guess I'm gonna shit myself later. Because that's how much they like cheese, that they're willing to shit their pants over it. Vegans? I mean, I guess, but even still, is it like a hate thing or is it just like a kind of like against it as like a matter of principle? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's worth the risk, right? Is there a vegan cheese? It's a good question, actually. Vegan cheese is awful. Alright, we got our answer. Fake cheese doesn't count. What do you mean fake cheese doesn't count? Are you talking about, like, a craft single? Yeah, I guess it is, like, cheese, right? Not, like, good cheese. I eat blocks of cheese for fun. Whatever gets your fucking rocks off, dude. I don't judge you. I eat an entire can of chickpeas when I'm hungry sometimes. Gouda, mozzarella, or cheddar? I don't know. I like gouda on a burger. I like mozzarella in like a fried stick. And then I like cheddar also on a burger. Or as like a part of my mac and cheese. Ah, lost book. Alright, I wonder... I mean, lost books probably will count towards the museum. I should probably, like, collect all the lost books. I mean, I probably will anyway, because I'm going to have to hoe so many spots that... I mean, I probably will just without even trying. But yeah, I mean, I guess. I literally clicked at the instant his fucking ass opened. Alright, let's do the ten regular ones first. Okay, that's good. 
I don't know what that is, but it's good. I know we need to donate it. That's also good. There's a baby crying outside, and I have the urge to kick my wall. I don't think we need to donate that. I think we've already gotten that one, yeah. That's good. Alright, he's doing much better now. That's also good! Alright, we got four things just in the regular geodes, and then now the Omni Geodes, which can give you anything, pretty much. Okay, we need that. And that's a repeat of something that we just got. I mean, dude, I can't be too mad at that, really. Like, that's pretty good. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need these. Alright, cool. Anyone else hear the- did you hear it? Did you hear the baby screaming? It was pretty loud. It was pretty loud, actually. Alright. I'm gonna check that I got the counter right here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wait, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What the hell? What am I... Was I just not counting when I was got Clint's there? Alright, interesting. Well, that's good. And I'm fucking down the hatch, I guess. Alright, cool. So are we back in the mines. Got my pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. Yeah, singing a banger. Yeah, dude. If you were my age, man, you heard all of those, man. If you're my age and you were like as Minecraft addicted as I was, you heard them all, man. Don't mine at night. Fucking screw the nether. Tell you, screw the nether. Creeper. Oh, man. Well, that's the one I just sang. Baby, tonight, the creeper's gonna steal all their stuff again. I genuinely thought, because of that fucking TNT video that Captain Sparkles made, that creepers can, like, steal your shit out of your chests. Because it showed him doing that in the music video. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I gotta, like, can I lock my chests? I, I genuinely thought he could do that. fucking die. Jesus Christ, how many hits does it take? I need a better sword. I need to go to the... Well, no, the guild doesn't open until, like, 2 because they're, like, depressed and they sleep until 2. Like, who would do that? Seriously. Just ignore them and they'll go away. Just like your high school bullies. They're not going away. I'm mean, increasingly concerned about the lack of going away that they're doing right now. Save your copper and iron for make bomb or to make bombs. Uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. What do you need to unlock bombs? Is it mining level or is it combat? Or is it something else? Not a bad idea, actually. Mining level. Level what, do you know? So I may not get to, like, level 10, because I don't need to, like, mine this entire... I just need to get to the bottom of these caves, you know? I'm just blowing shit up in the mines instead of using a pickaxe. Yeah, actually, that'll be really handy for when I get to the levels where I don't instant... Where I'm... Or when it takes, like, five hits to, like, mine just, like, a regular piece of stone. What is hitting- I hate these levels so fucking much, dude. I hate these levels. These are the worst levels in the fucking mines. They're so annoying. So unbelievably, outrageously annoying. Fucking right, it's juicy. It was juicy. Desperately need a glow ring? Yeah, should I have had a glow ring by now, or that not be likely? 
Like, once again, I have mined every fucking stone, and I can't see a ladder. I can't see a ladder. Can I make a torch or something? Ugh, poison sap. Dude, I can't fucking see a ladder. I just, do I just click until I... Oh shit, it's like down here? No. You find a glow ring by tilling the ground? Oh, good lord. No, I even with the worst luck, you don't never get a ladder. You'll get a ladder. You should get a ladder, even if you have the absolute most putrid luck. Yeah, there's always gonna be one, right? Yeah, these levels can eat my fucking shit. I hate these levels. I, I'm, that's what I'm doing, is I'm just clicking around. I'm just, like, right-clicking until I happen to teleport. Oh, got it. Yeah, that was literally just, is invisible. Oh, I got a, another ladder like instantly. I guess I'll take it. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Something. What the hell does that even mean? At least this one's like lit enough as well. Or I should see a ladder. Yeah, there we go. Alright, just get out of these. Yeah, these levels just get out of them as fast as fucking possible. Don't push your luck. Oh my fucking god. This is so annoying. You're still live at this hour? Yeah, I'm usually live at this hour, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like fish sticks? <laughs> oh. Classic, dude. Yeah, I like fish sticks. Yeah? Yeah? LOL, okay? What am I missing? Just wait for it. Just wait. No one say it? No, somebody's gonna say it. Is this a joke? Yeah. Somebody thinks they're funny. How do I- somebody thinks they're funny. What are you, a gay fish? Yeah, there was a whole South Park episode about this, wasn't there? Like the whole, like, uh, fish di fish sticks joke. It's meant to say, fish sticks is meant to sound like fish dicks. And so when someone says, oh, you like fish sticks? You go like, yeah. And they're like, oh, what are you, a gay fish? It's hilarious. It was the funniest joke back in the fourth grade. Wait, I'm sorry. They're third grade in South Park, aren't they? Yeah, it was the funniest fucking shit. Hilarious. Oh, you just had to be there. Oh, no, I gotta get to level 35. No, no, you don't understand. I have to get to level 35. You can't- you, you can't leave when you're one level away from a checkpoint. There you go. You can't. Alright, at least we got a checkpoint. Oh yeah, classic. Classic humor. Funniest joke in the world, yeah. I shit myself laughing every time I hear it. I never watched South Park. Yeah, but kids said it all the time. Yeah, because of the South Park. I feel like the South Park episode popularized it. I don't know. Maybe it was popular before that. You guys, like... Do you guys have parents that, like, let you watch whatever? Like, when you were a kid? Like, you could watch South Park. And I had friends who could watch, like, South Park in, like, the sixth grade. Which just blew my mind, because, first of all, you don't even understand half of the shit in South Park in the 6th grade. Second of all, what the fuck, man? That's a little bit... Like, I'm not for, like... I'm not, like, one of those, like, helicopter parents who doesn't let their kids do anything. But... 
I mean, I probably wouldn't let my kid watch South Park when they're in, like, the sixth grade. I don't think that's, like, that extreme, right? My parents... Well, The Simpsons isn't that bad. The Simpsons is good, even if, like... It's, it's not that bad. That's not gonna corrupt you. South Park, though... Yeah, I don't know. They let me watch horror movies when I was, like, five? I mean, you don't even really understand much at five, though, you know? You don't really get much at five. Maybe you did, though. Oh, the Egg Festival's tomorrow. Yay! Can I do anything on the Egg Festival day? Like, should I just, like, skip the day? Or go mining or something? Probably... Well, no, you can't even go mining, because it's not even gonna let you, right? Buy strawberries? Yeah, I mean, yes, if this is a normal playthrough, yeah, I'd go fucking hard with trying to get as many strawberries as possible, but not uh, not too worried about that in this one. Not too worried about that right now. What's up? How you doing, big fella? You can ignore it? Well, I know, I could just sleep through it, but I'm like, is there... I guess just sleep through it, right? Can you not take the backwoods route? That's what I was thinking, but then you get to this part, and I feel like they bar this part off. But maybe they don't, because this isn't where the town is. So actually, maybe you can go mining on the Egg Festival. Maybe you could, actually. Because this isn't technically part of the town. Yeah, alright, yeah, maybe. What's up, Snowy Evergreen Tails? If you take the north path, yeah, okay. So yeah, maybe we can just go mining. But nothing else. Like, you can't go here because they're setting up for the egg festival or something. Hello, what should I eat? Pop-Tart. I don't know, I don't like having those decisions over people's lives. What should you eat? I don't know, a nice balanced breakfast. Some, like, fruits and veggies mixed in with some protein of some sort. But, like, I don't know. I know that's not easy. It's not easy to, like, make yourself do all that every day. Fucking, you think I eat healthy? No. You think Gordon Ramsay fucking, like, just eats a whole bag of Doritos at 2 a.m.? Probably. Even though he could make anything that he wants. At 1.30? Yeah, dude, like, whatever. I don't know. You got, like, a bag of chips or something? Alright, come on. No, I already got that. No, I don't need that. No. Dude, I would clown a whole bag of Doritos so bad. I think, like, it's kind of bad. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I wanted to leave it in a shop. That would have been funny. It's bad, dude. Like, I, I really, like, could, right? I kind of, like, could eat, like, an unhealthy amount of Doritos in, like, a very sickening amount of time. Oh, fine, I'll wait. Clint, you useless shit. Yeah, tell him. Doritos hit differently at 2 a.m.? Yeah, because you smoked a joint. I'm dreamy hunting in Acne. Wait. I'm dreamy hunting in Acne, or is that A-C-N-H? And struggling. What the heck is A, C, and H? Or, say acne? Hey, snowy evergreen tails. Thanks for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Assassin's Creed Nobody's Home? That's a menacing title. I didn't know they made that. What a menacing title. Sounds stupid. Has there been a good Assassin's Creed game in the last 10 years? No? Okay. No? No? See, I said no is a way to, like, you know, make the Assassin's Creed fans mad, but... I think it actually might be the truth. Valhalla? Is that an Assassin's Creed game? <laughs> I don't know, I never played. From a completely outsider's perspective, they look cool, but from what people have told me, there hasn't been a good Assassin's Creed game in a long time. Yeah, lots of copper, but I don't really need it. 
Although, maybe to get make bombs later. I don't know. I was about to say, can you fuck off, please? Like, it's just gonna take a while to get, so fuck it. I don't really care. Leader. Leader. I've never played Assassin's Creed. I had a friend who was really into Assassin's Creed. Call of Duty. All that shit. You guys have the friend, or were you the friend, who... When a new Call of Duty came out, you missed school the next day so that you can play it? I guess it could be any game, but it usually happened with Call of Duty. Which is weird, because those are, like, the most generic games as far as, like, their next instance. Like... Call of Duty games are pretty much the same every year. I don't know why you would miss school for a new Call of Duty game. If it's a new game that comes out like once every 10 years, like a new GTA, okay, yeah, I'm staying home. Not Call of Duty. <laughs> you said duty. Holy shit, you're so right. Wow, I did. Holy wow, Jesus. I take out PTO for Mortal Kombat next week? Ah! Oh wait, I thought it was a new Mario Kart. People have been saying there's a new MK coming, dude. I thought it was Mario Kart. What the hell? Dude, I was so excited. Oh man, really? I thought we were getting Mario Kart 9. GTA 6 and Skyrim 6 when? Did you just say Skyrim 6? Did you say Skyrim 6? You realize that Skyrim is the name of the fifth Elder Scrolls game, right? And not... The series is not Skyrim. It's not Skyrim 1, 2... I'm not king-shaming them. I'm regular-shaming them. Did they fucking stutter? Yeah, I guess not. Ah, Frozen Tear. That's new. Starfield is Skyrim 6. Yeah, that game seems pretty good, actually, which I'm surprised about because it was a highly anticipated release. I'm kind of surprised that so many people are enjoying Starfield, but I guess it's a good thing. You know what I meant, though, right? Yeah, I think so. I just want you to know... I just want you to know, just so you maintain your respect amongst your gamer friends. Don't go around calling it Elder Scroll, or don't call around calling it Skyrim 6. And also, like... I don't know. I, I never liked Skyrim very much, or any of the Elder Scrolls games. It has Bethesda Charm. Bethesda Charm? Alright. I mean, I guess. I don't know. It just struck me as like a big No Man's Sky thing, you know? Maybe Is, is Starfield... Am I correct in assuming that like Starfield is everything that No Man's Sky promised to be? And like now people are finally getting what they expected back when No Man's Sky released? Because that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it. But I don't know. I've never played it. When's the new Leaf remaster? Yeah, I'd take a day off for that. Well, no, because I would stream it, so no, I wouldn't take a day off for that. Yeah, also, like Bethesda Charm. I don't really know what- I haven't played enough Bethesda games to really know what you meant by that. But isn't that just like... It's like buggy as all hell? Isn't that what Bethesda Charm is? Ah, Frozen Geodes. Are also good. Some, uh, so some artifacts are most likely to have been gotten from frozen geodes, some magma geodes, some regular geodes. Omni geodes can give all of them, but at a lower rate. So some things are good, or frozen geodes are good for some artifacts, even if omni geodes can give them, albeit at a much less lower rate. So, all geodes are welcome, and there's another one. Good luck today. I'm getting a lot of ladders. Getting a lot of ladders. Dust sprites can also drop something. I think they can drop a dwarf scroll, if I'm not mistaken. Of some kind. I think dwarf scroll 2, maybe. 
I heard No Man's Sky is really good now. Yeah, but like, if it's anything, I, I don't know. I got a bad taste in my mouth from when it released after promising so much and then coming out to be a huge piece of shit that I kind of never, I never got into No Man's Sky because of that fact, you know? It always just left a sour taste in my mouth from when it first came out, so I never bothered trying it. But maybe I'm just bitter. I don't know. I mean, I am bitter. I know that. Animal Crossing Space Update? I mean, it's a logical... It's not, but, you know... It could be a logical thing that they, like, expand on. Like, in New Horizons, you get your own island. And then, in New Frontiers, you get your own, like, planet or whatever. I guess it'd be a logical-ish way of expanding the franchise. Ish? I don't know. I kind of hope that they go back to, like... I, I, I kind of miss it being, like, a town. And I'll even hit you with a hot take. I kind of miss, like, not being the mayor of a town. Like, having, like, a say in, like, how things are to an extent. But, like, not being, like, the not having too much control, you know? I kind of miss that. But that's never going to happen because New Horizons did so well that they're going to probably try to copy that same format. So, fat chance that that's ever going to happen. Probably never. I mean, you aren't mayor in eight. No, you're God. You're not a mayor. You're literally like a dictator. With some restrictions. Be gone? Thank you. Oh, I just realized you kind of look like Linus Torvalds. Is this a D's nuts joke? Are you going to tell me to... Torvald, your nutsack, or something like that? Or is there actually a guy called Linus Torvalds that I look like? Can I call you Mr. Linux? Yeah, for a tier 3 subscription, you can call me Mr. Linux. You got it, buddy. Just don't tell me, like, suck your nuts or something like that. I fell for that. Oh, that was a coffee bean. I fell for that, dude. People told me one time, like, oh, dude, I got COVID. And I'm like, aha, whoa, what's COVID? This is like a couple years ago. They told me like, oh, what's... Co I, uh, they told me, oh, I got COVID. And I'm like, oh, what's COVID? And they told me like COVID... I thought it was like a nuts joke or something like that. No, he's a real dude. All right. I'd like to see a... You can't tell me that I look like him and then not show me a picture, right? You gotta see a picture. Yeah, that's so messed up, dude. Isn't it? Right? It is. They said, like, COVID my nuts in your mouth. And I was like, oh, rats. I fell for it again. I already got topaz. No, somebody link a picture in the chat. It was like Linus Torvalds. Sounds Dutch. Oh my god, that's the loudest baby I've ever heard. Now I've heard some loud babies. No, I don't. He's got a... After years of abusive emails, the creator of Linux steps aside. No, it's not me. No, it's not. He's got a fatter head, with due respect. Why? Because of the glasses, dude? He does have nice eyebrows, too. That hairline is concerning as well. I hope that's not what I look like, right? Dude, that shit's like to back here. That shit's like back here, man. I don't look like him. No, dude, you can't just look at someone who has similar glasses and then say that I look like- and similar hair, but not really, and then say that I look like him. It's not me in 15 years. If I look like that in 15 years, we're gonna have a serious problem. And I'm not gonna look like him in my 50s. I- I- I really don't think I will. 
I think I know who I, how I look better than anyone else, all right? I don't like to look like him. No, I'm not. I got a skinnier face, and my facial features aren't even close to that. To that thing. It's just the forehead and head shape? No, it's not the head shape. No. I got like a small, tiny head. He's got a big head. No, it's not. You don't look like him. Yeah, thank you. Just because somebody wears the same glasses does not mean I look like them. Kind of like how Adam Driver is a younger version of Keanu Reeves. Is he? I don't know who either of those people are. Is Keanu the heckin' wholesome 100 big chungus guy? I don't know who Adam Driver is. I think that's the big chungus guy, right? When you wear glasses, that's all people see? That's actually kind of true, man. You, your identity is around your glasses. Kylo Ren? That doesn't help. I've never seen Star Trek. That doesn't... Like, that's what your identity is, man. That's why I, like, partially don't like glasses. Is because, like, that's how people... When it, and first of all, whenever fucking somebody says, fucking... Oh, you got glasses. It's fucking... Or, like, you, oh, you look so weird without your glasses every time you take your glasses off. Like, can it, dude? I know. You're silly, Dag. What did I say? I didn't even do anything, and I'm fucking silly. I'm just a naturally silly guy, I guess. Alright, I need to get out of here. I need... Oh, man, it's 1140. Oh, no. Oh, should I try to get to 50? I mean, shit, if I, like, pass out, like, whatever, I'll just sleep again. It's the Egg Festival. I was planning on doing it anyway. Come on, I need ladders. Like, quick. I need ladders, like, right now. I don't even understand the urgency with which I need a ladder. Thank you. And then I need a ladder again so that I get to level 50. But I also kind of need all those, um, like, crates over there. Because those can give you some good stuff. So, like, leave me alone, please. Dude, I can't be fucking around here. I kind of, like... Oh, Jade, yes. Aquamarine, yes. That's two. I get out, dude. I need I need to get the fuck out of here. I need to get level 50 and I need to get home. Oh, thank God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I don't need quality retaining soil. All right. Am I even making it home at 1240? I don't know if I'm making it. You think Clint is still open? As long as you can spare 800 gold, you're fine. I mean, I guess I can. I'd rather not, though. You know what's fucked up is he charges you with that gold, even if you made it to, like, your house. Like, dude, I'm in my house, man. You don't need to help me no more. I'm fine. Yeah, I can do it. I, I'll make it. I'll make it. Problem is, will I be able to, like, chest stuff and still make it? Like. Or, like, box stuff, rather. Like, quick stack that. And then box everything I don't need. Like, I already got quartz. I already got topaz. I don't need coffee. Don't need wood. I do need an aquamarine. Don't need slime. Don't need that. I need one frozen tier. Don't need that. Don't need bat wings. Don't need earth crystals. Do need jade. All right. We're good. As long as you are inside your house, they won't charge you? Oh, interesting. A miner's treat. Treat for miners. Clint closes at four. Thanks. Right. I also need to turn this up a little bit. There you go. I'm your bright shining star. I'm the light of your life. If you don't romance Clint, the sky will fall. Concerned Dave is a smart man, and he knows that Clint, and I wish that you would address him appropriately, does not deserve love. He's a smart man, and he made a good game, and he knows that he doesn't deserve it. 
He's a bastard. Oh, wait. I don't even get to fucking do anything today because today was the egg festival. Oh, yeah. Put that in there as well. Yeah, so I can't even get these fossils or geodes identified. Clint is not great. He's a bit of a problematic man, don't you think? He's a bit problematic. Ah, a leak. Your shining star. Yeah. Why are you walking so dang slow? What do you mean, why am I walking so dang slow? This is the normal... The fucking NPCs... This is dang slow right here. This is what the NPCs be walking as. This is as fast as I can walk. What are you talking about? And you know what it might be, actually? Is my screen is quite big. I'm playing this on a 4K screen. Maybe you're just not used to seeing such a tiny character move around on such a big screen. It's like making it look like I'm slower. Hi, I'm a fan of your vids. Thanks. Appreciate it. I forgot how slow he walks. Jeez. I mean, dude, if I could get the lead out a little bit, I would, but I can't. I hate ghosts, dude. They're so fucking annoying. The knockback is insane. And they have so much HP where it takes like 5,000 hits to kill them. And then it takes like 1 million years in between those 5,000 hits for them to die. It literally takes the entire existence of the Earth itself for them to die. It's kind of crazy. In the entire time that humans have been alive and the Earth has been alive and everything's existed on it, one ghost in the mines has died. Isn't that kind of crazy when you think about it? That's kind of wild. He's still alive, dude. This is ridiculous, man. Come on. I got places to fucking be. I, I can't do this. The egg festival's begun, dude. Come on. I gotta go get the eggs. He's a ghost? He isn't alive? Yeah, that's what makes it even worse, dude. Makes it even worse. It makes the efforts feel even less fucking worthless. He's just a ghost in a mine. I guess. Oh, there we go. Are these guys not literally just the dust sprites from fucking... What's that movie? Uh, Jibbles? What was the, who made that movie? What's his name? Giblets? Ponyo? Is that it? I didn't think that was Ponyo. That was Spirited Away. Yeah. That was crazy. Stardew Valley content? Uh, yes, please. Dude, you gotta say, like, Stardew Valley content? <laughs> Waiter, I'll have some of that, please. Oh, dude, yeah. That's good. That's good. Oh, that's another good floor for, like, tilling the soil for, like, dwarf scrolls. Ah, I got a glow ring. Oh, hell yeah. About, like, five levels too late for those stupid-ass dark levels. Alright. Alright, enough. Enough. It's fine. I've had it. I'm at my wit's end. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. This is the end. Surely this giant-ass level has a ladder that's already exposed, right? No? Doesn't look like it. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Two State Farm gamer ads in a row. Oh, is that why you guys are talking about State Farm? You got a couple State Farm ads. Well, dude. Like, you gotta get insurance to insure your shit, right? It might as well go with the, like, company that is known for being open and welcome to gamers, right? So you can, like, really feel at home, right? You can go to your local State Farm representative and be like, Hey, I'm a gamer. And they'll be like, Oh, shit, dude. Welcome on in. We welcome all kinds of gamers around here.
New State Farm ad campaign is so annoying. What do you mean, the ad campaign? They, they never stopped the same existing ad campaign that's been going on forever. Hey, thanks, Margo, for the gift sub to Kyudle. Enjoy your Kyudle, your emotes, and your ad-free viewing. Even Pokemon gamers? I think they might even be the most welcoming to Pokemon gamers. Yeah. I used to work for State Farm for two years. Interesting. Did you sell some insurance? Do you really insure some people? Really do some insurance? Nothing pisses me off more is when somebody who's not a... Like, I like sports. And I like sports, okay? I'll out myself. I'm a bit of a jock. Alright? Yeah, I like kick some nerds ass and stuff. I, like, give some nerds some, like, wedgies and shit. I love sports. I'm kind of a jock. Anyway, what I love when people do is whenever I talk about sports, someone inevitably... Why? Because they're cool and fun. Why do you like half the shit you like? Because you do. In there it is. Fucking sports ball. Without fail. Every time I talk about this... Oh, fucking sports ball. It's sports ball. Somebody all calls a sports ball. Fucking every time, dude. It just really irks my Irvins, you know? Really, like... Really just tickles my Tiffany's. Yeah, sports are cool, man. Alright? Just because you're a nerd doesn't mean I have to be. I fucking love it when people call it sports ball. I fucking hate it. It makes me mad. It's like if somebody, like, if you say, oh, I like Pokemon. Oh, and someone says, oh, you like Pokemons or some shit like that. Oh, you like your little Digimons. Fuck off. Get out of here. Oh, your little pocket monsters. Oh, your little, uh, your little, your little, your little video game. Or, or rather, if you like video games, it's like that annoying grandparent that doesn't know that games outside of Pokemon exist. What you playing, son? Some Pokemon? And you're playing, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Or you're playing it on, like, your PS5, and they're like, Oh, is that the Nintendo? Get out of here, Grandpa. They think everything's a Switch. Oh, do they think it's a Switch now? They always thought it was just a Nintendo. Back in my day. Oh, is that the Nintendo? Or someone says Star Wars character, and you're like, I don't know, I don't really watch Star Trek. They'd be really annoyed, right? Oh, fucking... Fucking, it's not Star Wars. You feel like fucking sweating and greasy and shit. It's not fucking Star Trek. He's so mad, dude. Just calm down. What are you playing at Fortnite? You know, back in my day, Fortnite meant two weeks. Shut the fuck up. Go shit your pants, Grandpa. I love when a streamer mentions something that happened earlier in the same stream. Dude, not everyone was here, and also, uh... It, you try talking for three hours, alright? And try to make sure that everything you say every time is unique, alright? It's real hard, I'll tell you. It's really hard. I'm not picking my nose, it itches, alright? And it's also really dry outside, and shut the fuck up, alright? And putting your fucking finger... Normalize putting your fingers in your nose without actually picking it, alright? Because that's what I'm doing half the time, is I'm not picking it. I do pick my nose. But, like, just because I put my fingers in my nose, I could just be itching it, alright? How about you go fuck yourself and quit asking questions? Seriously, leave me alone. You guys are so annoying, you know that? God. Seriously, grow up. So fucking annoying. Normalize picking your nose and eating it? No, don't eat it. Just pick it, you know? 
Like, whatever you do with the booger, as long as it's not on, like, my walls and shit, is on you, I guess. I didn't see a comment about the nose. Uh, somebody said it. It was, it was there somewhere. Okay, bye. I'm gonna play Jackbox with my fam. Alright. This is some, like... I'll be jacking your box, boy! Or some shit. Okay, whatever. Just go. No, go be gross somewhere else. Boogers taste good, though. Alright. I like when people tell on themselves. It's always so funny. I like when people just, like, say some shit like... You guys ever, like, wipe your ass and a little bit of toilet paper from the last time you wiped your asses in there? And it's like, dude, you didn't... You just fucking... No. Nobody does that. Nobody said that. You just told on yourself. You're literally the only one who thinks that. Alright. What if everyone's boogers taste different? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I guess it really... Doesn't it depend on, like, mostly, like, what you ate? Or not what you ate, but rather, like, what you've inhaled? Yeah, I don't think I can be here. I don't think I can get to level 60, right? I'm eating? I'm Dagnal. I wish I had a warp totem right about now. I also wish I had a damn beer right about now, am I right? I've lost my appetite. Oh. Oh, this is a, is a ladder. Is there another ladder? <gasps> oh, I hate this stupid-ass level. The one swirly level. I hate this stupid-ass level. I wish this level would go to... Fuck. I wish it would go to a mythical place called Fuck. Oh, I, I do need that root, though. I'm gonna need more stamina. Alcoholism isn't a joke, Dag. I didn't say it was. Hey, thanks, uh... Circe's? W. Circe's? Thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Look, as I said, I need a beer in my hand. You think that I'm calling alcoholism a joke? It's a bit of a leaping generalization there, don't you think? Bit of a bit of a stretch. Hard cider is better. If I could, like, drink anything and I don't, I'd probably have, like, something fruity tooty, you know? Like a hard cider. Problem is, is most of them are carbonated, and, like, carbonation is nasty and it hurts, and I hate it. So even if I did like most alcohol, I probably would, like, it burn my tongue. My little tongue. Yeah, like a cocktail. I'd have, like, a fruity, like, cocktail. Like a Shirley Temple. Silly honey, thanks for the four months. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing, by golly. Appreciate it. I hate these levels so fucking much. I, they make me want to puke in my pants. Swirly levels. At least they have a lot of barrels in the middle, but like, that's the only thing. And they don't come with a ladder, like, pre revealed either. When you can get one of these levels at, like, fucking midnight, you know your ass is not getting to the next level. You might as well just go home. And it's always on 59 as well. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I'm gonna go get these barrels, though. It's always on, like, a blank 9 level, or basically 1 before you get a checkpoint. It's so fucking annoying. You bet your ass is not getting home. Alright, let's go. We fancy like Applebee's? Dude, I, I fuck with Applebee's so hard, man. I do. I don't care if it's like generic. It's so good. Crystal dagger. I've never used this. This ain't good. I don't like the daggers. They're kind of annoying. 4 to 10? 4 to 8? I mean, it is just purely by damage better than my sword. What the fuck? You can do that? You can get rid of the chest? I right clicked and I eliminated the chest. What the hell? I didn't know you could do that. I mean, it's gone next time you go down there anyway, so whatever. All right, cool. Another successful day of mining. Yeah, I obliterated that thing. Because like, you go like... Um, I tried to go like this. Rap. Scrap. With the dagger, and it like eliminated the chest. 
Applebee's, Applebee's is below mid to grow up, dude. Learn to enjoy some fucking $5 apps. Or a two for 20. Or $15 unlimited boneless wings, alright? There's no saving some of these people, I swear to God. Alright, good. You know, put this fucking slingshot in there. Put that slang in there. And this. And this. There we go. Save your coal? For what? Oh, for bombs? I thought it was copper and iron for bombs. Somebody told me it was copper and iron. Which I have been saving. Okay, whatever. Alright. Wood. That. Yeah, I do want to keep a bomb. I still need that. I still need to donate these. I don't need quartz. Don't need slime. I do still need a frozen tear. Sap, I don't need that. That. Jade, I still need. Cape carrots can go. Nah, I keep the cape carrots. Nah, I'm gonna keep the cape carrots. Hello? Alright. Might be last day here. We'll see. Level 3 combat. You should keep your stone for staircases. Ooh, that's not a bad idea either. Not a bad idea either. We'll see. Your dog is fugly? His name's Axno. Once again, a not rainy day. Not that it matters for this challenge, but if this was a normal playthrough, I'd be mighty pissed right now. Don't run away from me. Alright, uh, look for forageables, and then we'll go to Clunt to get these geodes cracked, and then Gunther to get my shit donated. Cherry bombs are four copper and one coal. Regular bombs are four iron and one coal. Well, hang on, I have these recipes, do I not? I got a cherry bomb. Oh, okay, okay. Probably worth saving for regular bombs, right? It's better than just selling it, is it, though? Like, I kind of do need the money. I, I need to save up 42500 to get the... Damn it. Get the um, bus up and running again. That bundle. Which, speaking of, when do I get fucking um, the community center cutscene? Do I have to try to go into the community center or something? When do you get the community center but 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 cutscene? Do I have to try to go in? It's locked. Rats. You know, the dwarf scrolls you can just buy? That's also true, yeah. I can just buy bombs. But again, I don't really have a lot of money. You have to enter town after 8 a.m. I've definitely done that, though. I've, I feel like I've definitely done that. Go into town from the bus stop after 8 a.m. to get the community center cutscene. Are you sure? This dude is on the 14th and doesn't have the community center open? Yeah, I'm not trying! I just need it so that I can get the bundle unlocked where I can fund the bus stop. It doesn't work anywhere else. Well, that's really hecking annoying. You guys ever call it like a hecking doggo or something? Like a heckin' chonker or some shit like that. I love it when people do that. I love when people post pictures of their mortally obese dogs on the internet and call it heckin' chonkers. That really just tickles me. Yeah, that really that really gets my goose going. Oh, I love that. Oh. Alright. I'm indifferent. I, I fucking love it. It's awesome. I love when people out themselves as shitty pet owners. Alright, that's another one. 20. Might be a little bit off on the counter, but that's why it'll be good to check when we actually donate all this. Okay, that's new. And that, I believe, is new. Right? Yeah. Alright, cool. Should be at 22 now. PG streamer? Uh, if you mean Pound and Gooch, yeah. But PG as in parental guidance needed? Which, let's be honest, dude. PG is like... 
If PG is parental guidance needed, let's be honest with ourselves. What jokes are there in a PG film that needs parent guidance? Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Alright, we are good. Alright, cool. Now we can sell the rest. For money. Like, PG tells me that, like, it's a pretty tame film. If you're lucky, they might throw in, like, a... Oh, shit, talky mushrooms in there. Like, yeah, if they're, like, a little bit edgy and they're really, like, pushing it, them writers, they're really pushing it, they might throw, like, a shit talky mushrooms in there. Or maybe, like, a, oh, shut the front door. They might, if they're feeling real edgy. Hey, it's Haley's birthday. Maybe I should burn her house down and say happy birthday. Home Alone was PG? Oh, I don't feel like it would be today. I feel like that'd be PG-13 today. I mean, for nothing else other than that picture of Buzz's girlfriend. Woof. Oh, wait, hang on. I can trigger the cutscene. Oh, sugar honey iced tea. Yeah, that's a classic. All right, I don't care. Just wanted to unlock it. Hey, quit beeping at me. You hear that? Somebody beeped at me. I'm sure it was directed at me in my apartment, not bothering anyone. Fucking rude, really. Alright, quick stack, and then sell everything else. Or they use the word fanny. Yeah! Gooch all that stuff in there. Alright, very good. After this challenge, you should compare this challenge and Animal Crossing to see which one was harder. I'll probably do that in, like, the epilogue of this video. I reckon this one will be easier, though, because, I mean, A, less things, and B, um, less things. I mean, that's the big thing, right? I'm not going to say everything's easier in this than in Animal Crossing. That's definitely not true. Um, but, I don't know. I don't, I don't think this will be pretty easy in comparison. You have to read the scroll? Oh, that's fucking right. God damn it. And not only that, you have to, like, donate a certain amount of bundles before you even unlock the stupid bus stop, don't you? Fuck, I forgot about that. For some reason, I thought it was just immediately available. Oh, I'll have to keep note of that for next time. Rats. Rats and gosh darn it. Oh yeah, this dagger's much better. Oh, yeah. Not to mention, like, half the time it gets a critical hit. Yeah, this dagger's much better. There's always... Oh, there is Joja, isn't there? How much is Joja to get a membership? Is it 10 grand? Is it 10 grand, Grizan, for a Joja membership? That might be the way to go. 5 grand? Shit, I could do that right now. And that, wait, am I correct in thinking that that immediately, like, gets the bus up and running? Does that immediately get the bus up and running, or is there something more that you have to do? Because I've never done Jojo. I don't know how the fuck it works. Then 40k for the bus. Okay, well, that's not bad, then. That's not bad at all. I think I'll do that. And I don't have to feel bad about doing a Jojo route, because I don't care about this save file. Hmm. And it's 45k for a bus? I mean, it was 42,500 if you do it the bundle way. Um, so that's not that much worse, really. That's probably much easier, right? Yeah. And How late's JoJo open? No, it is 40. Oh, well, even better then. So it's not only cheaper and easier. Interesting. All right. So using the hoe, are you allowing fishing for artifacts? Yeah, if I get them through fishing, then that's fair game. Whoops. Doesn't matter. Any way that I can get them is good. As long as it's not cheating. Like spawning it in by... You know you know what I could do is I can get a bunch of barn animals and just spawn in everything that I need. By naming my cow, like, open bracket 345 or some shit like that. That's what I could do, but I mean, I don't think I need to tell you that I'm not going to do that. Because that's cheating. 
Cheating is always an option. No, it's not, dude. Welcome to the real world, dude. You can't just cheat a million bucks into your bank account. All right. Chickens are cheaper? Yeah, like, do chickens real easy, right? If you're just, like, missing one thing. It'd probably be tempting if I'm on, like, 94 out of 95 and I have one thing remaining that's being a huge pain in the ass. I'll probably be very tempted to do that, but I'm not. Yes, you can. It's called robbery. Yeah, but then, like, you know, you get the police debuff. And then you're like, you know, the police... Did I just say the police debuff? Log off. Me, I'm talking to. You get the fucking police debuff? Am I serious? Am I, like, serious? Am I stupid? He's gaming too much. This man is at critical levels of gaming. So he needs to log his ass off. Ladder. Uh, Geode. Alright, there we go, Aquamarine. Don't forget the red cabbage. Uh, I think I'll, I think I'll be alright. What is it, red cabbage for what? Like, stupid, what? Red cabbage? What do you need red cabbage for? Red cabbage. Get out of here. Wait, you stop hitting me. Is it stupid? <laughs> red cabbage for what? Like, hang on. You know, red cabbage, delicious. I fucking, you know, if I, I'm in my fucking cabbage and ranch era, not like together, I wouldn't eat them together, but dude, I'm in my like fucking cabbage, red cabbage and ranch era. I'm kind of in my slaw era. I'm kind of loving like slaw lately, like coleslaw. Oh no, he's too white. What are you talking about, dude? They're delicious. What are you talking about? They're amazing. You're a disgusting, sick man. You, you're disturbed, you know that? Learn to like things. Hey, Ruby. 23. You're disturbed. I'm normal for liking normal people things. Alright? I'm very normal. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm loving putting ranch on shit. And I don't mean like Hidden Valley Ranch either. None of that. I'm talking about like some good ranch, you know? I'm talking about like some good ranch. Not like Hidden Valley, dude. If you think that that's what real ranch is, then get out of here, man. You don't know real ranch. You're not a real rancher. You take your ass back to Ram Ranch. Yeah, like homemade, good homemade ranch. That's the shit, dude. Talking about he's disturbed. I'm normal. Okay. Ranch is gross. I hate it. I'm allergic and have never had it. Allergic to ranch. What a disease. I think the doctor comes in all dramatically after poking your back like 50 times to test all your allergies and says like, oh, let me, are you Miss Anderson's parents? pull you aside and say, I'm sorry, but your daughter is, uh, allergic to ranch. <laughs> Are you sure, doctor? We tested five times. Running again? I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Miss Anderson. I'd be devastated. Me too. I'd cry. Eighteen naked cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch? Okay, who invited the weird person? Start. What are you talking about? Did anyone invite this person? Blood thinks you're at the party. What are you actually talking about? Oh, 
Let's go. Can we get the... Nah, we probably can't get the 70 today, can we? Oh, well. Let's just see if anything... Pick up anything more. Bro doesn't know Ram Ranch. What's Ram Ranch? Is that like a dressing? What is that? What do you mean, Ram Ranch? Like dressing that comes from like a ram? Like a bighorn sheep? What are you talking about? It's a stupid video. Well, hey, man, what might be a stupid video to you might be, like, genuine quality shit to another person. What is your Tommy Wiseau's The Room might be someone else's uh, Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction, even though they're both horrible, to be honest with you. I think, honestly, Pulp Fiction might even be worse, to be honest with you. My boyfriend references it so much. Wait a minute. Your boyfriend references Ram Ranch so much? Oh, he's gay. It's okay. All right, all right. Hey, a diamond. I didn't know you can get those right now. What the hell? Cool. Let me alone. Please leave me alone. Thank you. Yeah, I think honestly, like, just call it, dude. We're not getting to 70, no way. Unless there's a ladder already exposed. That's the most based thing you've ever said. Is it? Me? What did I say? It's a stupid song about cowboys. What? What? Whoa. It's a... What? It's a stupid song about cowboys fornicating in the showers at Ram Ranch. Anyone else hear about this? What the fuck? That <laughs> sounds... What? Oh, that Pulp Fiction is a bad... Yeah, it is a bad movie. Yeah, it sucks. What are you talking about? Fornicating. Like coitus? Fuck it, I will save my stone. This is bro talking about coitus. Let's get that out of here. Let's move this cave carrot over here and let's put a smile on that face. Don't need that. Do need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Do need that. <sighs> Don't need that. 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 All right, cool. All right. I think uh, we're good for today. I'm going to pause the timer at exactly 3.11.12. Or 3.12.00. But now I missed it. So now I got to settle for 3.12.10.00. 15. Fuck. Fine. Three, twelve. That's time loss. Yeah, but it's fun. Is it's fine. By the way, Mini Rin, thanks for the prime. I appreciate that. I'm just letting time walk by here. Let me get the timer started. And we left off at twenty four of ninety five things donated yesterday. It's not even that bad. To get into the apartment building, you need to have an access code or a electronic key fob with which to get in. So that is already a security measure that I have in place. Not me, but you know what I mean. Like, why is anyone else with me? Am I, like, the crazy person? Yeah, I guess I'm not a woman, right? I guess, like, you know... I guess men are, uh... a little less susceptible to someone just walking in and, you know, doing something terrible to them. But, like, you know, is anyone else with me? You're with me? Okay, thank you. All I need is one person to validate me. I'm a female and I never lock my door either. Like, I really don't think that it's it's not... It's it's a pretty safe area. It's a safe area. To even get into the building, you would need to, like, have an access code. It's it's locked with, like, an air... Air... What do you call that? A fucking uh, airlock door or something like that? If you want to get in here. is And then, I don't know, I'm not on the first floor, so I'm not even close to the most easily accessible apartment out of them all. I'm on the third floor, and I... I don't know, I'm not saying... I'm not immune. I know I'm not immune, but it's very, very unlikely, right? I'm already secure. Exactly. Thank you. Someone gets it. You know what I should maybe do? Is I should maybe invest in a better pickaxe. It's something that I was thinking about. 
is that maybe I need to invest in a better pickaxe. Because once I do get down to the bottom levels of the mine, it is going to be quite a pain in the butt if I don't have a lot of bombs to clear out those rocks. But, I mean, maybe I will have a lot of bombs. But I don't think we have to worry about that now because we are not near the bottom of the thing. Also, I have a bunch of things that I didn't get to donating yesterday, so let me do that uh, today. Oh, it's berry season as well! Now I can get salmon berries, and that'll help me last longer in the mines. Cool. And also, clay. That's fine, though. Um, I feel like I missed a sub. I did. Asuna Kuma. Thanks so much for the subscriptions. Or the subscription. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Having a pickaxe would also help with your intruder situation. You know, I do have like a nastily sharp set of kitchen knives. And I just happen to be in the kitchen. If I did feel threatened... Fuck you, Clint. I'm gonna accept him. I'm gonna accept his request just so he thinks that I'm actually gonna do it, but I'm not. That's the only reason I did it. I have a real sharp set of kitchen knives, which if... That's where I was... If I felt threatened, that's probably the first thing I would reach for. But, no, I didn't feel threatened. I knew as soon as he walked in that he probably just made an honest mistake and walked into the wrong building. If anything, I sympathize with that heavily because that's something I could see myself doing very, very easily. Like, I press the wrong button on the elevator to go to the... and I end up going to the wrong floor, and I go to where my apartment is on that floor, walk into... Ooh, nice. Ancient drum. I think that one's not that rare, but, you know, anything's good at this point, right? So let's donate that. I don't know, I feel like I could totally make that mistake. Or wait, no, I don't want to collect rewards. Although I might want to sell those things if I can sell those things. Alright, let me double check to make sure that the counter's right. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes, it is correct. Alright, very good. Should Dag learn to lock... The, it's not like a factor... It's not a matter of learning to lock the door. I lock the door at night, and I lock the door when I'm, not, when I'm not home. That's enough, dude. That's fine. If you guys don't think that's fine... Well, I think you don't understand my living situations well enough. That's why I'm here trying to explain it. 91% of chatters think you should learn to lock the door for the love of God. God has nothing to do with it, alright? He already left for this forsaken stream. Today I'm going to relax and think positively, right? Right? God damn it. I promise you she always says that shit, dude. She always does. I'm not making it up. I'm not crazy. If you're awake and at home, then it's fine. Thank you. I just got a sensible person in my chat room. It's, you'd love to see it, really. Get this clay out of here. Hey, Clara, thanks for the 11 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Your boyfriend goes out with his door unlocked? That's scary? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Even though, like, yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time, it would probably be okay. But... I wouldn't do it, you know. I'm not even a paranoid person. We all just have anxiety. Yeah, no, I mean, I get it, right? I get it. Who's the guy walking behind you, though? Oh, <laughs> that guy? Oh, uh, no, just ignore him. <laughs> ignore him. Don't worry about him. What level did I... Wait, I'm at 11111. Look at that. I'm at 11111. I didn't even try... Have I been there the whole time? Oh, yeah, I never even got out of the ice levels. We're fine. We're fine. I didn't even mean to do that. Your stream room is really coming together now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm actually like... Well, first of all, call it my office, all right? You gotta... You call it what it is. It's my office, all right? I conduct official business in here. And second of all, yeah, look, it's actually a place that I'm happy to be, which is really what I wanted it to be. A, ha a place that I'm happy existing in, which really is what I'm trying to do with my whole apartment. I've never lived in a place where... Or at least not by myself where I'm happy with, like, how it's decorated, how tidy it is, where things are, and stuff like that. So I'm happy with how it's coming along. You can just deduct it on your taxes? Deduct what on my taxes? What were we talking about? See ya. Official office. Oh, yeah, I could, I guess, but... 
I don't know, taxes are only so fucking complicated, man. I need to... You know what I need to do? And I'm only, like, half joking when I say this. I need to, like, marry a tax person. I need to marry a tax person. I need to go into the H&R block and just start flirting with people. That's what I need to do, man. Because I gotta get someone else to do this shit for me. Someone who, who knows what they're doing. Because I'm gonna commit accidental tax fraud if I'm not fucking careful here, dude. I'm gonna commit accidental tax fraud. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing off that damn Mr. Beast burger as well. You better believe it. I'm not. But I'm not even clear. That's a joke. Tax people. Also, what's your phone number? Hire a tax guy? No, dude, like, I, I, I did that last time. And first of all, that's expensive. You know, it's expensive. If it wasn't a perk of dating someone, well, if it is a perk of dating someone, then I'd hope that it would be free. But yeah, no, like, you can hire a tax person... But I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Get out of here. Am I going to die? Yeah, I might, actually. I haven't died yet, which I'm not, like, surprised by. I'm happy, though. Needless to say. Hot single taxers in your area. Yeah. That's what I need. Be gone. This room, this whole fucking floor is so annoying. In case you don't know what I'm doing, by the way, um, and you don't read the title of the stream, that's fine. A lot of people don't, for some reason. Um, I'm trying to complete the museum in Stardew Valley. Right now, there's a lot of artifacts that you can get by mining in the game. And what I'm trying to do is get to the bottom level of the mine. Because that will allow me to unlock a... Well, not... It doesn't... You don't need to do that to unlock the Skull Caverns, but... In order to unlock the Skull Caverns, you need to unlock the desert, of course, and you need money to do that. And this is sort of a passive way of making money, while I also look for artifacts that you can find in the caves. And I'm doing that until, um... God, these are a lot of monsters, dude. I gotta eat something, dude. This place is too crazy. Hey, thanks for the raid. Nan... Nandigos. Thanks for the uh, raid. I hope your stream was good. Help. That raid alert slays? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? I actually watched my VOD back partially yesterday, and I realized, holy shit, it's really fucking loud. So I apologize. I'm gonna have to turn that down a little bit. Because that's, like, really fucking loud. I'm sorry to anyone's eardrums. I'm blasted having to listen to it. Hey, sex. Okay, yeah, we got it out of the way now. Everyone loves my raid song that I made a joke about, like, f f almost a year ago now, where I decided every time... Oh, refined quartz. You don't need to donate that, though. I made a joke, like, a year ago. I was like, hey, guys, should I, every time someone raids me, be like... Do, like, a little parody of that K-pop song, Gangnam Style, and say, like, hey, sexy raiders. <laughs> And people never dropped it. And now they get do it every time. And they're the only ones who like it. I don't like it. It was just a joke. It wasn't a year ago. It was pretty long ago at this point, dude. It was pretty fucking long ago at this point. Fuck off. Not you. What does this guy mean? I mean, he's got a penis, right? Well, he's got the star over his head. I hate when they fucking trap you with that. Get out of here, dude. This enemy's too much. He's a boss slime. Alright, it's because he's got a penis, right? Can't have nice things on the internet. No, you can't. Pretty sure it was not- It was pretty sure it was like that long ago, dude. I'm pretty sure it was about that long ago. Just embrace the raid song. It's part of Dagnal Cannon now. No, it's not. You guys are the only ones who do it. I don't even do it. It's you. Hey, somebody, uh, give sub- Hey, thanks, Elizabeth, for the gift sub to Nandigos. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. The antenna means he's a guy. The star means he has better drops. What kind of drops? Like, uh... Oh, I don't know. A, a prismatic shard, maybe? Something like that? You even made the song in Tamadachi Life? Yeah, but, like, that was also a joke, though. You don't understand. That was also a joke. That was all just a goof as well. You don't understand. I'm innocent, I tell you. It was all you guys. This is perhaps the worst set of floors I've ever seen in my entire life. 
Special weapons and boots. Oh, shit. I'm here for special weapons, because I don't got shit. All right, he's dead. That's fine. That's all I need. Don't, don't kill me. Don't fucking kill me. Oh, my God, don't kill me. Just keep spamming. He legally cannot hit you if you keep spamming. I think you just need a better weapon. The daggers are annoying to fight. I mean, I think I do too. So, but like, I haven't... I've usually relied on getting them from random drops as I go along caving, but I haven't gotten anything. And also, daggers have a good secondary attack where you go like... I like the, I like the dagger for the secondary attack. But admittedly, it's only good if you like back something against the wall like this. Holy shit. Stop. He has so much HP, man. There we go. Oh my god, a magnet ring. All that for a goddamn magnet ring. Jesus. I, and then there's just a shit ton of things everywhere. Like, there's no safety in this floor. And I've used all my food. I ate grandma's cookies and everything. And it's getting late. And I really want to get to level 70. I think we're passing out. I think we're... It's fine if you pass out. Honestly, I should probably embrace passing out. Except the fact that it does cost money. But then I'll have to do this floor again if I leave. Are there... Oh, no. I, I gotta get out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, uh, no they're not reproducing, man. No, 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 no. I gotta leave. I gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, coitus. Uh-uh. I'm out of here, man. I gotta go. Yeah, I probably should just not... I probably shouldn't die, right? So I don't spend money. How much money does it charge you? Is it like a certain amount of like how much you're carrying at that moment? I will get salmon berries. Or is it a fixed amount? Or maybe it's that up to a certain point. It depends. It's not very... not very helpful. It's a thousand. Alright, that's much more direct. Alright, it's fine, though. Can I box things? Nah, don't even worry about it. It's 10% up to a thousand Gs. Okay, okay. Well, that... So it would be a full thousand for me. Alright, it's fine, though. But what a whopping day! Oh, yeah! Six fucking Gs! I thought it was like 10... Yeah, 10%. It makes sense, right? Because if it was 10% and you're carrying like 2 million on you, that'd be ridiculous. That'd be ridiculous. It was mailing me. So selling fertilizers? That would good show to fuck yourself. Um, I do want to keep leaks. First of all, let me quick stack everything. There's the- you found the song? Oh, you found the song where I, uh, made my Tamadachi guys sing Hey Sexy Raiders? Oh, that's good. That's good. Wait, keep that. Refine Quartz. Alright. Cool. And then in summertime, we're gonna go a little harder for foraging than we do in the mines. I'm hoping by the end of spring, we can get to the bottom of the mines. Progress is kind of slowing down now, though, that my weapon isn't very good. I mean, it never was, but... And my pickaxe isn't very good. So I'm actually not so confident that we can get to the bottom of the mines before the end of spring. But it's no big deal if we don't. It's no big deal. Hello everyone. Sorry I was late. I was watching... I watched an intense Stardew competition. It's alright. Nobody's taking attendance. Are you gonna see the Eras Tours movie? When have I ever expressed interest in Taylor Swift? Um... No... No, I'm I'm not. I'm sorry. Sorry to break everyone's hearts. I'm not really a Swifty. Iridium Scythe coming in 1.6? Oh. Wonder what that's gonna do. Finally someone with taste? Is it really like someone with taste to like not like someone? It's it's not that I don't hate it. I even like a couple Taylor Swift songs. I'm just not a Swifty. I'm just not a Swifty. That's it. I feel like people care a little bit too much, though, you know? I see the kinds of people who, like... And, and I don't think this is the average Taylor Swift fan. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, the Taylor Swift fans who will wear, like... Diapers to Taylor Swift, like, concert lines so that they don't have to leave to use the bath. I mean, same kind of people who, like, go to the ball drop in New York City on New Year's 
and they stand there for literally hours in like the freezing cold to go watch a ball drop. Same thing that happens every year, you know? Grown-ass adults are mad for teen music? That's a very short-sighted way of putting it, and I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. That's a very short-sighted way of putting it, I must say. That's... yeah. Ah. Well, no, I should have mined that rock there, because that can give you good gems and shit. Oh well, it'll still be there if I want to go back. Damn, I'm getting ladders and I have to work for it. Alright. I already got a frozen tier, but it would be good for selling, so whatever. Grab it. Uh, oh, a master. Oh, the sling master slingshots. Any good to use yet, or are they still kind of ass? Because I've always remembered them being kind of ass. Please upgrade your pickaxe. Do you have five copper and what a thousand G's for me? Because I don't. I could very very easily get it, but I don't. And also, that means I have to talk to Clint, alright? And I'm not gonna do that, unless it's absolutely necessary for the sake of the run. But later on in-game? Using slingshots- yeah, okay, I know what you mean. Yeah, using bombs and slingshots is handy, right? Because, at least in the Skull Caverns, I remember that that's how you, um... That's how you can do, like, the level 100 challenge, right? Very easily, is just by, like, shooting a shit ton of bombs with slingshots. Yeah, I remember. Alright, the skeletons. These guys... Can they drop, um... What did he throw through the rock? Can they drop, like, bone parts? Like... Oh, they've dropped the bone fragments. That's right. I'm almost, like, out of energy. And it's 11 a.m. Coffee bean. There we go. Why is nudity a tag of the stream? I don't know. What? Ugh, tags suddenly changed now? Dude, I was just barely, like, keeping up with the tags that were there before. What the hell are the tags now? Using the dagger is wild, too? D I like the dagger! Leave me alone! You guys are so judgmental. Someone's been messing with the tags again? What the hell do they say now? Man, don't play Stardew around you guys, man. Lesson learned. Goodness gracious. Dude, it has a fucking... It has a, those 31 damage if it has a crit, man. Come on, that's ridiculous. I respect it. Good, you better respect it. I'm on that grind. Let's see if we can get down to 80 today. I'd be very happy if we can get down to 80. Seems my like my luck is really good right now. Although, I'm running low on energy. We got it, though. The tags are the most relevant they've been in a while. Jen. Who's Jen? Rule of the internet. The most wholesome of... Yeah, the most wholesome of franchise or property is. The most toxic the fan base is. Why is that kind of true, though, man? Why is that kind of true? Like, Undertale is the first thing that comes to mind. Or, like, Homestuck or some shit like that. I don't know, man. I'm not trying to snatch nobody's wigs, but that definitely does seem like the case a lot of the time. Animal Crossing? I don't know, man. Maybe I've just been in the Animal Crossing fandom too long now to where I don't really even notice it anymore, but... Yeah, it's at its moments. I would not say Homestuck is wholesome. Well, I don't know anything about it, but it's just like this, like, crudely drawn, sort of charming webcomic, right? What's well, not wholesome about that? How does he throw through rocks? That's just, that's just silly, if you ask me. I don't think that's right. Now, all I know is the fan base is not very wholesome. The cartoon Miraculous Ladybug can have a, a toxic fandom? Dude, does, like, Bluey have a toxic fandom? Are we out here, like, getting mad about Bluey and shit like that? Does really, like, everything have a toxic fandom? I mean, I guess at this point, right? My Little Pony fandom? Yeah. 
the Mother fandom is the opposite? Well, yeah, because the only people who are still fans of Mother after so many years without getting a game is... ...dedicated, right? I feel like most of the toxic people moved on and decided to be toxic somewhere else, right? Yeah, it does. Ooh, Dwarf Scroll 2. Nice. Dwarf Scroll is going to be a pain in the ass to get, so I'm happy to get one of those, even if it is just one. I wonder what chance that is. That's a 0.5% chance from a bat. Which, I guess when you consider how many bats I've killed... I mean, it's 0.5% from a lot of things, though, not just bats. So when you consider how many, like, things that I've killed in the mines, it's probably reasonable that I would have gotten one by now, so I'm happy that I did. Help. And the more frozen geodes, of course, we get the better, because geodes can always have things that you can donate in them. Alright, we are going to get to level 80. And... No, I can't get to cleanse this fast. Alright, Firewalker Boots. Who's your Bible kin? Who's my Bible kin? Oh, these guys. I don't remember what they can drop, but it's something pretty good, too. Like, uh... I forget what they're called. Shamans or something like that. Yeah, this is where it's going to get nasty. This is probably where I should, like, go away until I have a better weapon. Or a better pickaxe, at the very least. Maybe he'll drop one, though. Help. There we go. I'm named after someone in the Bible? I mean, I guess I am, too, but that really wasn't, like, what they had in mind. My parents had in mind when they named me. At least I don't think it was. Like, Daniel, that's a biblical name. Yeah, the only thing I know about the Bible is Binding of Isaac characters. Like, I think I'm a, I'm a real cane, because I wear, like, an eye patch. Or maybe I'm a Judas, because his damage stat is really good. You can get Fire Quartz down here. I'm hoping maybe I can pick up a piece of Fire Quartz before I leave. I'm not seeing any, though. Should I pick up gold, I wonder? Uh, yeah, I think I should leave. My favorite sketch comedy show. Does Judas have a high deception score? That's not really a stat in the game, though. That's not really a stat in game. Hi, Abigail. Don't mess with the Krobus family. Yeah, those guys are kind of nasty, right? You need some range. You need something with range. Lost opportunity? What happened? Oh, for the Judas. Are you doing any of the community center in this run? Uh, if by that you mean I'm going to purchase a Joja membership, then yeah. Because that's easier than completing the community center. All right, I'm not a scumbag. All right, don't sell that. They're only worth one gold anyway. Bone fragments we won't need. Void essence is a loved gift by the wizard, but I don't really care about that. Winter fruits would be good to eat, so I'll replace that, my quartz with that. And slime and that, we don't need. And then boots, and I'll keep the slingshot, just in case. Just in case, I'll keep the slingshot. Alright, and then I guess look for things to forage. Until, uh, or clear out the land, but they don't have enough energy for that, so whatever. Yeah, just look for things to forage now. Let's go to the beach, maybe. Also, the Wandering Trader. Can the Wandering Trader, not that she's there today, can she give you anything that's... donatable, I wonder? Maybe. I think she can kind of give you anything, right? Can you upgrade your backpack now? I can, but I haven't really found a need with which to do so, and I'd rather save the money for... Um, getting the bus up and running once I get, buy a Joja membership, which I guess I should do now. Well, it's probably too late now, though, right? Life's better with Joja. That's so true. Me who waited seven years for the truffle, I should have done Joja for the truffle? Seven years for the truffle? If you said, like, the red cabbage, I'd be like, all right, yeah. It could be a little pain in the ass, but... I mean, maybe you just didn't go hard on pigs. I don't know. I feel like in the seven years... Surely you would at least see one in, like, the traveling merchant cart as well. 
What's up, Silver Chimps? How are you doing? Any little worms? Any little worms? I think they're technically roots, right? Nothing. How late is Joja open? Are they open till like 10? Because maybe I can go get a membership. The bulletin board... The bulletin board bundles are always the ones that I do last in a normal playthrough. But... I don't know. I don't think I've ever done a year one community center before. At least not without cheating. Oh, they are open late. I want to buy a membership, please. Yeah. Has anyone joined up eternity? Yeah, yeah, that is wonderful. Let's do it. If you become a Jojo member, the community center will become a Jojo warehouse and will no longer be able to refurbish it. However, Jojo will provide an alternate means of improving the town. Are you sure you want to join? Yeah. Excellent. Welcome to the Jojo Corporation. Come back tomorrow and we can see about getting started on some community projects. Oh, and don't forget your wallet. Hee <laughs> hee. I thought he was going to say, don't forget, you're here forever. You're gutting that nasty old community center. All right, let's fucking go. We're going Jojo route. <laughs> that lady who works behind the counter is probably like, oh, fuck, dude. God damn it. Shit. Fuck. So do you have to go to him to, like, do upgrades, or do you go to the community center to do upgrades? And now, yeah, now I can get the Jojo route achievement. That's right. I don't have that achievement because I've never done it before because I'm not a total scumbag. You're right. Yeah, you go to him. All right. I was just testing to see how many people knew that answer to tell how many people of you guys have done the Jojo route before. See how many yellow rap scallions have done the Jojo route. All right, we're going to bed. So am I going to get, like, a cutscene, like the Junimos restoring the community center? No? Well, what's the point, then? Why even bother? So to unlock all the stuff, is it just pay money? Oh, finally, we get a rainy day. Not that it matters at all, but that's my first rainy day outside of day three where it's supposed to rain. Which I feel like is a little ridiculous. Yeah, so everything is just purchased with money with the Joja route, which is a little lame, but I mean, for our purposes, it's exactly what we want, so... Works for me. I still think... Well, you know oh, you know what I should have done last night is go to the Adventurers Guild, see if I can get a better sword, because I'm going to need it. And also, maybe here's what I'll do. I'll make you guys happy. You guys will like this. You guys are going to like this. Oh, it's, it's copper ore. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna make you guys happy here. Uh, unfortunately, now I need more copper, but it's fine. I'll make some fucking copper bars, and we'll get our pickaxe upgraded as well. And I guess I'll just spend the next couple of days foraging and shit. First non-scripted rain day? Let's fucking go. I know, right? I mean, I wouldn't, like, use the F word myself, personally, but, you know, I, I understand your enthusiasm, really. I do. Finally? Yay, finally? Oh, relax. Goodness gracious. I didn't say the F word. Well, it's okay, dude. You can just admit it. It's fine. What are you gonna get first? What do you mean, what am I gonna get first? As far as... Tools? My pickaxe, because that's the only thing that's relevant. Or are you talking about what am I going to get from the community center? I'm going to get the bus stop, because that's the only thing I need. Because I need to get to the desert, because there's a couple desert exclusive relics. Like the golden mask and I think the golden relic. And also the fern fossil, which isn't desert exclusive, but you see most... Or the palm fossil, not the fern fossil. That's not desert exclusive, but you do see it a majority in the desert, more than anywhere else. What's up, Indiegogo? How are you doing? Are there any artifact spots in the secret woods? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember ever writing the secret woods down when I made a list of how to get every artifact in the game. I don't ever remember writing down secret woods for anything. I'm not saying it can't have artifact spots, but I wouldn't be surprised if it counts it as maybe the um, woods. 
which I think it just me or the forest rather, which I think is just the cinder sap forest that's south of your town. Are you doing the skull mine? I'm gonna have to do the skull mine a little bit in order to get a prismatic shard. Maybe I don't need to. But yeah, I probably will need to do a little bit of the skull mine. Which will be fun. Aha. <laughs> Thank God you're finally upgrading. Oh, relax. I could do it without upgrading. I'm only doing it to make you guys happy. Because that's all I ever do anything for. So make you guys happy. <sighs> I watched a really depressing video before I stream. It actually got me in a horrible mood before I started streaming. I gotta learn to stop doing this because this is not the first time this has happened. Where I watched some like devastating... It's not even that bad. The, like, sad video before stream, and it just, like, bums me out, and then I'm bummed out on the stream. What was it about? It was about this YouTuber who, um, fully made his channel, not fully, but, like, started making his channel completely run off of AI. And how, like, narcissistic he was about it. And how he was basically treating YouTube as a means of making money. Which, you know, that is, like, it is a job for me and for many others. But I don't know. Like, I reminded myself of it because I was like, oh, you know, I do everything to make you guys happy. Because that is the main goal of it all. And I realized that there are some people out there that lose focus on what it is all about, you know? Like, people like that. And that's what reminded me of it. And it kind of makes me sad, you know? I hope I never, like, lose the spirit of why I do this. Because I'm like, fuck, god damn it, shit, I fucking exhausted myself because I thought I would be able to tap the tree down on that hit. God damn it. Because I, I don't know, I just hope I never, like, lose focus about that, you know? Oh, you're so wholesome. Yeah, well, that's why I occasionally tell you guys to go fuck yourselves as well. Just so you know I'm not all, like, corny and shit. Just so you guys know that you know, I'm still boss around here, alright? I'll still tell you to go fuck yourself sometimes. But it just makes me sad, because a lot of these YouTubers, and people of all... It's not just YouTubers, of course, but... I feel like a lot of people go... Earn millions of dollars doing this, and then, like... Become so bloated and big-headed about it, that they think that they're, like, on top of the world. When in reality, like, dude, if I ever make enough money... Doing YouTube to where I can comfortably live for the rest of my life, do you not think that that's exactly what I'm going to do? Is live the rest of my life? Like, if I get burnt out of YouTube and I've made more money than I'll ever need, I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna, like, try to make my channel, like, AI or try to keep it alive in some half-hearted way like that, you know? I should say not even half-hearted, just heartless, you know? It kind of bums me out. These people make millions and millions of dollars and then decide, oh, well, I gotta, like, milk a few more dollars out of that because I don't nearly have enough. If you're burnt out of YouTube and you've made as much money as some of these people have, you can just stop and live comfortably for the rest of your life. But you're never happy, are you? Some people are never happy. They could have the world at their fingertips and they're never happy. I don't know, man. And there's people who would kill for like a one one thousandth of their net worth, you know? If you get a pur if you purchase the quarry from Joji, you get the prismatic shard that way. Well, the quarry refills so slow. But, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You can get those, like, special stones that you mine that have a small... But, well, no, it's not even a small chance. It's a pretty good chance of getting a prismatic shard out of, right? Oh, yeah, I gotta go to Clint's and donate. How much more copper do I need to make two more bars? Eight. I wonder if I can just buy eight copper ore straight up. It'd be a bit of a waste, considering I could just go get it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, ancient doll. 27. Mystic Stone, that's it, I forgot the name. I think it's like a 25% chance of getting a Prismatic Shard from that Mystic Stone. And I've seen them in the quarry before. Um, but I have... I think I've only gotten a Prismatic Shard from one of those things in the quarry once. You know, it's not a great chance though, is it? When you're putting a lot of money out, I don't know how much the quarry is, but you're putting a lot of money up for it, right? And I don't have a whole lot as of right now. Hello. Hey, there's five more copper. All right. Five iron. And that, I don't know if I have do 
donated. I have donated it because it would say Gunther can tell you more about this if I hadn't. And then we'll buy three more of that. And then you can just uh, buy that back for me. Hey, I'm a greenhorn. Hey, look at that. What's up, Shining Umbreon? How are you doing? I think I was just really lucky to get a Mystic Stone in the quarry. Yeah, it's definitely not common. But it's possible. And I mean, if you just like skip a shit ton of days and let the quarry refill, like, yeah, I don't know. I guess there's a decent chance there could be another one there. Decent chance. All right, let me go talk to Morris, see how much it is to do all the shit. Quarry's 25k. That's not bad, but it's definitely still not the best use of my money. Hello, Morris. Oh, Morris. I put, you know, there is one thing that, um, makes me happy is that I've secured Shane to working for this fucking company for the rest of his life. That makes me really happy. That I now got his ass working at the Walmart for the rest of his life. All right. Yeah, the bus is 40k. So that's what we need to get to. But, you know, well, minecarts are only 15. That's actually really good. Hell yeah, fuck Shane. Yeah, I agree. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's an asshole. He's a shithead. If someone treated you like that in real life, I would hope that you would not find them nearly as endearing as you do Shane. Hi, Emily. Hi. I like Emily. I like Squidward. I would hope that you would not treat someone like you do Shane. If Shane treats... If someone treats you like Shane in real life, I would hope that you'd have more self-respect than that. For you to fall head over heels for someone that tells you to go fuck yourself, you know? But, like, as a joke, I tell you to go fuck yourself. But it's a joke, of course, right? It's endearing when I do it. Shane's red flag is his entire self? Hey, stop that. Yuck. All right, but I got something cool out of it. This is a pretty terrible gift, isn't it? Jesus Christ, I'm on negative hearts with her now. <laughs> Hang on, wait, is she actually at the bottom now? Oh, no, I guess I have a lot of question marks. Yeah, she's at the bottom, though, of people that I have met. Sorry, Leah. I actually kind of like Leah. I think Leah's kind of cool. Leah hates your ass. I can fix him, though. No, you can't. He says, oh, I'm gonna stop drinking. But his beer never stops being a loved gift. Mmm. Why is that, Shane? You're gonna stop drinking, huh? That's good. Hey, thanks, Dag. How did you know this is one of my favorite gifts? When you hand him a beer. Addiction is hard? He's not even trying, though. He's not even trying. His ass is not even trying. Acting like, oh, he's working on it. No, he's not. And he's a slob. Did you see how he leaves your house when you marry him? He's a slob. He's got, like, footprint tracks everywhere. He's a total slob, dude. He's a shameful man. He's a very bad man. Babu! Alright, stop. Hey, but who's enabling him? The player! That's why I don't even talk to him. You're acting like I'm the one enabling him. No, I don't even like him. I don't even talk to him. How do you know what it looks like when you marry him? Because other people on the internet, for some fucking reason, have decided to marry him. And I've seen pictures of how he leaves your house. That's not really an own when there's like thousands of images documented online of how it looks like when you marry him. Alright. Now let's just sell everything. Okay, not the coal though. Keep the coal. Me? LOL? Well, you know, I mean... We all have our vices, I suppose. I'll start saving stone, I guess. Well, I think I already was, actually. Are you going to Ginger Island? I do not believe Ginger Island will be needed for this challenge. Ginger Island will not be needed for this challenge, luckily. Because that would be a lot of work to get that going. I'm pretty sure you need, like, batteries and shit. Alright, early night. Shane looks crusty. He does look... Yeah, you're right. He does look crusty. You're right. His ass is crusty. 
Acting like you've never had a messy room, I can fix him? No, I've had a messy room, but you would think that as soon as you move in with someone else, you would start making an effort. Holy shit, two artifact spots. God damn it, I hate clay. Ah, uh, hat mouse. 500 Gs? Oh, thanks, mom. Shoot. Every little bit helps, I suppose. Well, you move in, and you kind of have, like, a different expectation of your partner, right? You don't want your partner keeping the same house that they had when they lived by themselves, and the only person who was the benefactor of their consequences of having a messy room was themselves. Now you live with someone, and someone else is the burden of your messy room. You would hope that he would change as a result of that, and he doesn't. I wish you got channel points for watching VODs. I wish you did too. That'd be kind of cool. Shane is literally just a guy. He's a silly little pookie. Leave him alone. Well, he's not real, so don't worry. I'm not talking about a real person, all right? I wouldn't talk all this out loud about a real person. At least not that, like, you know, someone who isn't, like, universally hated. I know you guys like Shane, all right? I know you guys like Shane. I'm not going to clown on your ass for liking Shane. I'll just give my point of view of why I don't like him, all right? I'll give my point of view. I know he's your pookie. I know he's your little scrunkly. I he's your little, little snooty pie. But just, you know, that's fine. If someone wanted to talk some shit about Emily, I'd be like, hey, you know, yeah, she's a little weird, but, you know, I kind of fuck with it, right? I like him weird. I hate him. Me too. He's just an average college alcoholic. Isn't he like... He's he's just, he's he's one of the older bachelors, according to one of the secret notes in this game. So he's hardly in college. He's done all of his maturing that he can do. Acting like, oh, he's just a college student. Well, no, I'm pretty sure he is like... Uh, a, an older bachelor is what it says, right? Shane Briggs are a rage in me. I didn't know I had. Thank you. Me too, dude. He acts like he's in college? Yeah, and some of you in college act like you're in elementary school. I guess some people never grow up, do they? Then again, I'm actually playing video games for a living. So I don't know. Everyone has some opinions, and some people's are not the same. Yeah, a revolutionary idea. Holy shit, I had all my energy back? Wait, was I, like, eating salmon berries and I had all my energy back? Oh, shit. Whoopsie. He's just an old man. Leave him alone. Look, he's a video game character. Don't take it too personally, alright? I'm sure you guys have great taste in real people, alright? Horrible, horrible taste in virtual ones, but great taste in real ones, right? Emily's the best. Everyone gives me shit for it, but I don't care. Yeah, that's right. Emily is the best. You're goddamn right she is. Yeah, you're fucking right. Don't let no one tell you otherwise. Just know you have the diagonal seal of approval. And then you don't need to worry about what no one else says. What are your thoughts on Linus? I like Linus. He's cool. He doesn't fuck with nobody, and I hope no one fucks with him. Although they do, because they throw... I, You know what? You know how... You know how there's... I think dialogue in this game that implies somebody was throwing rocks at Linus's tent? Ain't that fucked up? Because you all know who that was, right? It's never confirmed, but let's be honest with ourselves, we all know who that is. You thought you were safe, Sebastian Stans. You're not. That was Sebastian. I have another great authority that that is Sebastian. You all think that, oh, he's not gonna come for Sebastian. Oh, no, I will. I'll come for Sebastian, too. It was probably Sebastian and Haley, to be honest with you. They probably hate homeless people. I know Haley does. I highly suspect that Sebastian does, too. He wouldn't? No, I think he would. I think him and Sam probably would. And Haley. I think they would all do it. I think they would totally throw rocks at Linus's tent. It was either him or, like, Morris. I can see Morris doing that, too. But you can't marry Morris, and everyone hates him. So it's not controversial for me to say that Morris would do that. Why Haley? Why? She hates poor people! Look at her! Are you kidding me? 
You telling me that Haley doesn't hate poor people? You tell me that Haley wouldn't hate someone like Linus? Haley sucks. The longest time I thought you could romance Linus? I wish you can give him like just a little kissy, you know? That'd be nice. I wish you can just give him a little kissy. That's all I want. I love Haley, you worm. I'm not a worm! What the fuck, dude? You don't have to get personal. I'm not a worm. Jeez Louise. This is why I'm saying I can't be talking shit about nobody, because somebody's gonna get mad, man. Somebody's gonna get mad. Calling me a worm. I'm not a worm. What do you think if I was a worm, I'd be like squiggling around on the floor over there? You artifact spot. Yeah, if I was a worm, wouldn't you think I'd be hoeing myself out right now? Alright, let's go get our pickaxe upgraded. And then I'll look at um, the place. What's it called where you can buy swords and shit? The guild? The guild? move. I gotta run. I gotta run away. What run away from the crime scene. I committed an entire bomb to that joke. You better appreciate it. Alright, how much is it to upgrade your pick? Please don't be too much. 2,000. Alright, it's about what I expected. Yeah, sadly didn't do nothing. Not even a reaction out of him. Not even a reaction out of him. Kind of sad. Kind of stinks. Might cry. Might just cry. Get this thing to stop yelling at me. Alright, let's go to the guild. The guild. Krobus is the best bachelor. Yeah, I gotta marry Krobus in one of these playthroughs. Yay, look at it! It's beautiful! Look at it! Oh, that's awesome! I hate how good this looks. This is great! Oh, that's so much better. I love how it still has the, like, blowing wind sound to show how desolate and empty and heartless it is. I love that. I've never seen that before. There you go. Now you have. I haven't seen it either. I think I've seen pictures of it, but now uh, seeing it, seeing it, it's a little different. What happens to the Junimos? They fucking die. They're all under those boxes, slaving away, moving them around for pennies on the dollar, earning Amazon worker wages. They can't even use the fucking bathroom. They're the one moving the damn boxes around in the warehouse, and they're making like two cents an hour. They work for Joja now. They gotta wear their little blue caps and shit, yeah. Why is the salmon berries doubling now? What do you think of Demetrius? He's a bit of like a condescending dickhead. He's a bit of an ass. He reminds me a lot of Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> the Grass Tyson. He reminds me a lot of Neil deGrasse Tyson, where he just like always posts about how smart he is on Twitter and is all condescending and patronizing to others, including his wife and his kid, who I'm pretty sure Shane he doesn't even like give a shit about. Alrighty, what's the best weapon we can get? A claymore. A Templar's Blade for four fucking grand? A Bone Sword. I mean, I do need something better. Like, I, I really do need something better. I'm fucking, I'm getting the Bone Sword, dude. I, I, I need something better. That'll, that'll be more than enough. The Bone Sword's good. It'll probably even be good enough for, like, the basic levels of the Skull Caverns. So, it'll be fine. We'll make that money back. Even if I do want to... Ah, that's sneaky! You thought you are being sneaky with your little dig spot there. I see you. I see everything. I've probably missed ten of them. As... <laughs> I've probably missed, like, a hundred of them as time's gone on here. Who am I kidding? Actually, tomato is a vegetable. No, it's a fruit. Isn't it like both or something? Somebody's explained this to me before. How it's like both or something. I don't know. Uh, I would give this to Linus because I think he likes them, but I need to like sell everything now that my money is like nothing. 
Nope, it's a fruit. See? This is what I'm saying. Y'all a bunch of Demetriuses. I think you guys love Demetrius because you act just like him. You guys probably love him. You probably like, you probably always like, oh, oh, actually. You guys probably love him because you just like him. Alrighty. Is it a fruit because it has seeds? I got no fucking clue. I'm not a Mr. Fruit. Copper. Um. I'll hang on to the salmon berries. That's more than enough energy. So now I think we skip ahead two days to go get at my pickaxe quickly and then get back to the mines. Early night. And then I think we... Ooh, level four foraging. I got axe proficiency for whatever that's worth. And I got 943 back. That's pretty good. Fuck the tomatoes. Like in real life? Yeah, they're kind of nasty. I don't really have a... I don't really have like a say in tomatoes because I don't really like them all that much. All right, my copper pickaxe is ready. Uh, you want to make a cake? Yeah, I always do that one, like, year... She asked for that really late in the season. She asked for cauliflower, right? And it, I think at this point, it's too late to grow cauliflower, so I always end up doing that quest year two, and it bugs me how it's just sitting in my fucking journal for, like, an entire year. I do yearn for the mines. I gotta, I gotta try to get to the bottom before the end of the season. Not that it's a big deal, but... You know, I'd rather spend my summer worrying about dig spots. Summer and fall, best time to get dig spots. Artifacts. Let's go around a little bit, checking for some artifact spots. What did we start today at? We were at 24 and we're up to 27. That's not bad, honestly. That's not horrible. It's going to start slowing down, of course, once we finish the mines and we just were working on artifacts. But artifacts will be slow going, but we can chip away from them. Because, okay, so here's how artifact works. Then save a cauliflower? What if I already sold them all by the time I get that message? Everyone's so smart. Everyone's all solutions, as if you've never run into these problems you got yourselves. The thing with artifact spots is if you skip a shit ton of days... Um, you can generate quite a few, but every day they have a 15% chance of disappearing overnight. So, theoretically, if you, like, go to bed, wake up, go to bed, wake up, go to bed, wake up, and repeat that for, like, I don't know, two weeks, maybe, you should have a decent amount of artifact spots just out there remaining, and that's how I plan on grinding all the artifact spots once I've gotten most everything from the mines. That's what I plan on doing. I don't know if it's a good plan, because I have not prepared for this speedrun at all, I'm just doing it, flying by the seat of my pantaloons. And hoping that it works out. Because that's how I tend to do things. Because it's more fun that way. Speedrun should be fun. And not all that speedy. If they're anything like my speedruns. Artifact spots are fucking bullshit. I hate those stupid wriggling worm creatures. You need to relax, dude. Take a chill pill. It's not... G Jesus. Louises, man. Relax. Chill out. This is a video game. Better than yesterday. You had zero when you started yesterday. That is actually really true, now that I think about it. Alright, I yearn for the mines. Wriggly Wormy, so cute! Yeah, it's kind of scrunkly, right? I love scrunk. I didn't start saying it, dude. I used to be a scrunkly hater. I think I love scrunkly now. I love describing things as scrunkly. And then hit with a little colon three afterwards. I love that. Have we found any more very lucky 0.8% chance ones? 0.08%. If you're referring to the strange doll that I found yesterday, that was a 0.08%. Which is, what, 1 in like 1200 or something like that? Yeah. That was a little ridiculous. All right. Should be able to survive and not take forever to break things now, which is nice. He's already put a fucking curse on my ass. He already cursed my ass. All right, we got to get a fire quartz. Oh, good. I can two-shot these rocks now. Oh, no. What the hell attacks you down here? Fire bats? Fire bats aren't bad, right? I'd rather get a ladder, though, if at all possible. 
if at all possible, I'd really like a ladder. And I see the thing is you don't understand is that I'd really ooh, fire geodes are good. Man, those things do eleven damage. Maybe they are kinda nasty. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Alright, fire quartz, fire quartz, fire quartz. A bunch of barrels I think can give you fire quartz. I don't need gold. You don't need to donate like the bars or anything like that. Ooh, hardwood? That'd be nice in a normal playthrough, not so much in this one. You know what's great about Penny and why I love Penny? Or actually, no, sorry, not Penny, but I think Penny has this perk as well. Uh, but Emily is who I was thinking. She fucking loves every gem, so if you go hard in the mines, like, pretty early in the game, she's, like, one of the easiest to level up. Because you just give all your, like, duplicate gems to her is so easy. Like, one of the easiest people to, like, give gifts for. Okay, my luck today is just absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. Will we be going back to playing Terraria on stream after this playthrough? Is that a one-off stream? I don't know. I'll see how long this takes and see how I feel when I'm done. We will see. This is so much better, though. Can I just say, with a nice, good sword? Any fire quartz? No. Be gone. Shaman. Dagnum, what's better, Terraria or Stardew? Oh, jeez. In all caps? I feel like I'm under a lot of pressure here. I don't know, dude. Fucking... You want my honest-to-god opinion? And I might make some people mad because it's not... The answer is not the game that I'm playing right now. I think it's Terraria. I think Terraria is the... I mean, through pure playtime, I have put more hours into Terraria, but I've also owned it for like 10 years now, so I don't know if that's a fair comparison. I feel like my Terraria playthroughs last longer than my Stardew playthroughs do, because I just think that there is more content in the game, but it's also a game that's been out for longer. Stardew Valley is made by one person, Terraria is made by a team, and they're two completely different games. I don't think they're comparable, you know? They're not comparable. How do I know? I don't know. It, there's some times where I'd rather play Stardew than Terraria, and vice versa. It depends on what you're in the mood for, you know? Depends on what you're in the mood for. Dude, we're gonna get to, like, fucking 95 today if we, like, keep this luck up. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. I hate that. He puts, like, a, a weakness debuff on you, doesn't he? That's real nasty. Eat leaks. Minecraft or Terraria? I mean, I've definitely put more hours into Minecraft over the course of my life than Terraria. It's probably impacted my life more than Terraria. But objectively, which is the better game? Again, like, despite being very similar, those games are so hard to compare, you know? As far as, like, which one is better. I don't know. Once again, it's kind of tough because sometimes I'd rather play one, sometimes I'd rather play the other, you know? Minecraft has the benefit of being infinite. Terraria has the benefit of having more depth within the game itself. It really depends on what you like more, you know? What some people might like more in Terraria, others might like more in Minecraft. Like, if you like exploring, for example, Minecraft is the better game. If you like deep crafting trees and progression throughout the game, I would argue Terraria is a better game. It's all about what you like. Who cares what I think? What do you like better? I've never played Terraria, I'd highly recommend it. It's very good. It's one of the best games ever made, if you ask me. Not that I've played every game ever, but it's up there. Animal Crossing New Leaf or New Horizons? Alright, this is getting annoying. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and weigh two games for the for the whole stream. Recently beat Moon Lord for the first time? Yeah, like, Moon Lord is such a better final boss than the Wither or the Ender Dragon ever is. Are you kidding me? By a matter of, like, a lot. So if you like good boss- If you like bosses, oh my god, it's not even close. You're gonna like Terraria more. Minecraft bosses pale in comparison. Absolutely pale in comparison. Oh, I did get a ladder. I've already donated Amethyst, so I don't have to worry about that. 
and oh son of a bitch god damn it man shit fuck i am saying six grand on this shit and i just get a better one oh man i forgot that you get the obsidian edge shit damn it i forgot that you just get like an upgrade instantly i forgot that you <sighs> all right well i guess i will take it it does seem better than the bone sword it's a little slower, I think, but, I mean, you can't deny that damage is much better. That is much better. I also haven't seen a fucking fire quartz yet. Like, am I crazy? Those things are not that rare. Not that rare. Ow. That looked the slowest enemy in the game just hit me. Yeah, it's a little slower than the Bone Sword, but, like, who cares? I mean, it's, like, what, three, four tapping these guys? Three tapping with a crit, admittedly, but still. We're definitely going to get to the bottom of the caves, though. Nice, there's a Fire Quartz. All right, cool. I don't have inventory for it, though. Um, I always just end up selling fiber. All right, Fire Quartz is good. And, um, I mean, it's definitely not the end of everything that we can get from the mines. Of course, we still have all the dwarf scrolls and still plenty of artifacts that we need to get. But that's, like, one of the, one of the last things that we need. We'll still want to get to the bottom, though. Oh, you're deep into the mines? We are now, yeah. My luck today has been insane. We've made amazing progress. This is, um, it's not what you want to see, though. It's one of these levels. But, I mean, if I'm going to get crits like that, though, I guess no big deal, right? Okay. Well, progress is no more. Uh, I mean, we can get to 95. If this happened on, like, 91, and I'm four levels away from hitting a checkpoint, I would probably just peace out. But I'm at 94. I got to get to 95, right? If for no other reason, then I don't want to have to do this level again. Be gone. Missed yesterday's stream, but I'm so fucking excited for Stardew streams. Yeah, everyone's using that. People swearing a lot in chat today, man. I don't know what's up with that. Must be something in the water. Ah, don't kill me, please. Fuck's sake, chat. Seriously. Get a grip. Putting a lot of swear words on them hot sauce bottles lately as well. You guys ever notice that? Be calling it like prolapse fucker or some shit like that. Ridiculous. Putting a lot of swears on them things lately. You do have a strong language tag. Yeah, but like I'm the one who says the strong language, not you guys. Clearly says me. My stream, my tags. Oh, that's satisfying. That is goopy. That is goopy. Alright, there we go. Um, I almost want to chuck the bone sword out just because I'm so mad. I don't need hardwood. I don't need sap. I do kind of want that because it sells, sells for a decent amount. Alright, we got the 95. I'll call that a good day. You're rubbing off, you're rubbing off on us? You guys ever, like, start to use, like, a phrase that I say a lot in, like, your vocabulary? Like, you guys ever start saying, like, rats when, like, something bad happens? Yes? What What have I influenced you to start saying? Dag nabbit. Sucks. Wait, sucks? You don't say sucks? A bunch of shit sucks. It's a great word. Yes, I say rats, drat, and dag nabbit. Dude, there's a fucking classics. I love rats and drat and dag nabbit. They're good words. All right, Let's see what we need. I will keep gold, but only because you guys would probably get mad at me if I don't. It's the only reason. Don't need that. Don't need that. I have already donated aquamarine, right? Yeah, I I thought so. Bat wings, slime, wood. Solar Essence, Quartz I've already donated. Keep the Fire Quartz, don't be stupid. And then that. I actually didn't get as much on that trip as I wanted to, admittedly. But I did get two Magma Geodes. That's the big thing that you want to get from the mines is Geodes. That's the big thing. That's why I keep doing it. 
Jesus Christmas. So saying dastardly now. As dastardly little devil. I never used the transmute feature. Where you can turn like five copper into an iron or a gold into five iron. I don't remember how it works. Never used it. That was a good bit of money. I have a bad habit of saying my ass a lot more now. Dude, I love saying my ass. Someone starts saying some bullshit, say my ass. I'm almost, like, I'm halfway back to where I was when I bought that sword, which is kind of nice. Clay. The blokes? Oh, I gotta say the blokes, dude. Don't say the boys, say the blokes. Which I guess if you're in the UK is not that unusual, right? You guys always be kind of calling shit the blokes. Taking the blokes to the pub. Alright, let's look around. Then we'll go to blacksmith and then museum. The cloth touchers. I don't say that that much. What's up, no numo? I hear people say lads more. Yeah, but that's not funny. I like blokes. You can really like... You can really like enunciate that B in blokes. Like me and the blokes, you know? That's why I like it more than lads. I don't know, lads is... Doesn't sound right off the tongue of an American, you know? I mean, neither does blokes, but I sort of embrace that, you know? Me and the blokes. Cheeky Nandos with the blokes. Another phrase I can think of is horse shit. Oh, you gotta call things horse shit. I love horse shit. You know what's great is that blank shit is like... I saw a tweet one time that basically outlined like, uh... The, like, usefulness of, like, words that end in shit. Like, about how something is bullshit. Like, if someone's bullshitting you, that means that they're lying. If something is horse shit, then it's like egregious and then what was the other one I'm trying to remember what's your most hated Stardew character probably Shane Clint Lewis problematic men ape shit yeah if you're going ape shit you're going crazy right like you're going bonkers dude if you're going ape shit you're going bonkers same with bat shit and if something is dog shit then it's just like vile and disgusting like, ah, that's dog shit. What a dog shit performance. Really fucking mess that one up. Is that new? It is not. Rats. That's also not something I need. I hate this guy. But I do have a fire quartz to donate. Can you sell those rewards that you get? I don't think you can, right? Like, I'll collect them just to like, get them out of here, but... I don't... Like, I know you... Okay, you, I can probably sell the seeds, but, like, that's it, right? Yeah, and then a dipshit is someone who's stupid, right? Like, oh, come on, dipshit. You're in, like, traffic, and someone, like, brake checks you. Ah, quit being a dipshit, you know? What's wrong with Clint and Lewis? I've never played Stardew. Well, Clint's an incel. Lewis is a corrupt mayor. Shane, I just don't like him. I don't need to explain further. Because I just don't like them. Don't forget Piat. Yep. I do hate Pierre as well. That is also very true. Thank you for pointing that out. Alright. Can you sell, like, any of this? No, not really. That was kind of my fear. Was that, like, you can't sell any of that. So, like, what can you do? Just hang on to it? But I don't want to. I guess I can sell it to Pierre. Or at least the seeds. But it's not even going to be worth that much. Maybe I should plant them. Well, no, because then I have to water them, and I don't want to water them. Yo, what did Pierre do? I think he you sell him your crops, and he'll peddle them back out for A, a profit, and B, he'll pretend like he grew them himself. Fuck off, I don't care. I'm pretty sure he peddles the fruit that you sell him as his own. Really rubs you the wrong way. And he's always acting like he's all superior. I'm pretty sure he's like kind of a shitty dad to Abigail. Not a very nice husband to his wife, Carolyn. 
I don't know. Reddit seems to hate Demetrius. I don't know why. Well, I talked about Demetrius earlier. He's a bit of like a patronizing dick. And he also does not treat his like half half son very well, Shane. And I don't really like Shane, but I'll come to bat for him on that one. I mean, fuck it. You fucking have some fun, I guess, right? If I can't sell it, I might as well, like, you know... Might as well be a goofus, right? Oh, wait, no, this isn't... Oh, that is the one where you walk by it and it goes off. Okay. Fuck it, dude. If I can't sell them, I'm fucking putting them down. Now, these I truly don't care about. These paintings. I truly don't care about these paintings. Like, there, and there, and there, and there. What do you mean? No, don't go to sleep. Put it down. Alright. Yeah, he plays like a big favoritism with Maru. And it kind of rubs people the wrong way, I think is the big thing with uh, Demetrius. Which kind of makes sense. Please spam the crystal. I'm not going to spam the crystal. It's such a juvenile form of entertainment, and I can't believe you'd honestly be so infantile to enjoy something like that. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um... You guys ever hear about Ligma? What's up, Carrot? First stream, finally get to say hello and join? Welcome. What's Ligma? Lick my fucking balls. Oi, bae. Oi, bae. Anyone else? Like, just oi, bae. Today's just like an oi, bae kind of day, you know? Just a big oi, bae kind of day. What? Dude, you can't give me another one of these. I don't deserve this, what I do? I don't deserve this kind of treatment. I truly, I don't. Edutainment? Yeah. Well, whoever says edutainment, though. I don't deserve this shit. Why is Ligma censored on my chat? Because you're, like, not 18, and so Twitch detects that and censors bad words. I want to make very clear here, this is an 18 plus stream. If you are below the age of 18, I would ask you to leave. And if you're below the age of 13, then the police are going to be on their way if you watch any further. Because you are not allowed to be on this website if you're under the age of 13. So, bad look for you. I would really try to, like, avoid going out in public for the next few days. Lest there be a police officer having a bad day. Which is every day if you're a police officer, because you just kind of, like, hate everything. There we go. Threatening kids again. Dude, it's not a threat, man. It's literally website policy. I'm just following the rules. I'm just following the damn rules. Uh, I mean, for the money, I will mine this. What if I'm 97? That's a heck of an old age to be. I'd really congratulate you on being so old. Now that being said, I know you're not 97. Cops coming to my house with those pink frilly cuffs? I'm glad that people seem to have liked that bit. Have you seen the Colin... No, I haven't seen whoever that is, because I don't watch apology videos, because I don't really watch problematic people. So, no. No, everyone, it seems like I'm, like, when it comes to pop culture, or not even pop culture, but, like, YouTube culture, and, like, drama culture, everyone's always like, do you see this person's apology video? No, because I don't get involved in that shit. I was literally involved, not involved, but I was literally, wa I was talking about it earlier, how I was watching this video of this YouTuber who's taking heat for turning their entire channel into, like, AI-generated content, and everyone's, like, real mad at them. And they're, like, doubling down on their narcissism, on their narcissism by being like, oh, well, fucking, it's okay, because in 10 years, everything on, a on YouTube is gonna be AI-generated. So, like, really, I'm just ahead of the curve, and you guys are all stupid. And it bummed me out. 
So I choose not to watch that stuff because it just bums me out, you know? It just makes me lose faith in, like, humanity and shit. And people who consume that stuff every day have a very, like... I feel like poor outlook on the human race because they're exposed to the worst of the worst because they choose to make themselves mad by looking at that stuff on the internet, you know? No, I don't watch people's apology videos because I don't even care about that stuff in the first place. You know, I really do want to get to the middle of all this. Yeah, I will. Because it has a lot of barrels and shit. But I'm really tempted to take that ladder down there. Can't be negative if you ignore the negativity in the world. I'm not saying ignore all negativity and you'll be a happier person. Because you can't ignore all neg negativity. And it's worth acknowledging some negativity when it has a direct impact on your life. But when it comes to YouTube drama, I promise you 1,000%, that stuff does not have an impact on your life, so don't worry about it. It's not worth worrying about. You'll be a happier person, I promise you. If you guys just stop watching these apology videos and these dramatic, problematic YouTubers, stop giving them money and views, you'll be a happier person and they'll be worse off. It really is very simple. It's so, so easy. So no, I have not watched an apology video. Because I don't know who that is, first of all. And B, I don't really do that. And that's not something like holier-than-thou shit. It's more just like I'm trying to give you advice, you know? You'll be a much happier person, I promise you. Why are you so problematic? I don't know, man. Uh, I'm just kind of like a bad boy, don't you think? Kind of like a... I'm a bad boy. I'm the bad boy at Twitch. No? What do you mean, no? I got that dog in me, yeah. Get away from me. I'm leaving. I'm gonna get my star drop here. Just got here and Dag is calling himself a bad boy. Well, yeah, right? I think I am. Alright, cool. Uh-oh, stinky? That's funny. Edutainment is in the tags, and edutainment is what you got. Exactly, you can't even be mad. Alright, cool, we got our star drop. Um, not that that's relevant, like, in the slightest to this challenge, but, you know, it'll help with the caves in the future. More magma geodes would be nice. Don't fucking do circles. Don't play mind checkers with me, man. I'm not in the mood. Do you have to pay for my therapy after that? I have to pay for your therapy after that. What do you mean? What did I do? Shouldn't, like, you pay me? Because, like, I'm kind of, like, being a therapist right now. I don't accept insurance either. What's the last level? 120. Oh, because I growled? Oh, you'll be fine. I promise you, you'll be okay. And I really hate to use these, because my energy's perfectly fine, but, like, my health... Not great. It's 920. Will I get to 105? Well, with this luck, yeah. With this luck, I might just... Don't touch me. God damn it, I hate him. Don't heal. I didn't even hit you. Is he stupid? Ah, ladder. Oh no, I've backed myself into a corner. I'm backing myself into a corner. Don't fucking touch me. Alright, just one more ladder. Alright, thank you, thank you. We're gonna get to 105. Dag, please, we mods are scared. What are you scared about? What's the... What is it, like a prediction or something? Probably won't allow it in case, but acknowledge the word error. What are you talking about? Yeah, last level's 120. So we have, what, 15 more levels after that to go before we hit the bottom? And my goal was to hit the bottom before the end of spring, and it looks like we're going to do that. How many DAG channel points do you have? I have eight, but if you, like, turned the eight to the side, it makes an infinity symbol. I got all the channel points I want. I can literally redeem the most expensive shit 1,000 times in a row, and there's nothing you can do about it. I can redeem a hydrate right now and make it so that you guys can't redeem it for the next however long the cooldown is. 
I did get an Omni Geode out of that, which is nice. Take these bat wings. Don't need Fire Quartz anymore. Don't need Ruby. Do need Magma Geode. And we'll get those processed tomorrow. Oh, hey, he's on my bed! Oh, I like when they do that. Fighter or Scout? I think critical hit chances increasing by 50 is, like, huge. That's the one I always go with, at least. I don't know, feel free to discuss if that's wrong. That's the one I always go with. Another rainy day. Wow, what do you know? I feel like the artifact spot should come out more frequently in rain, or like the day after rain. Kind of like how gyroids are in Animal Crossing. Maybe that is how they work, I don't know. Rice shoots. A crummy commercial. Alright, let's chop trees until the blacksmith opens. How do I get channel points? Just watch. Just watch the channel. Never close the diagonal tab, and you'll just always earn channel points. How fast does time pass in Stardew? Is it like... Is it like one minute every second? Because I feel like the time only goes up in 10 minute increments. So like 7 to 7, 10 up there. I feel like it's every 10 seconds it goes up 10 minutes. So I feel like one minute per second is accurate, but I don't know. I don't know that for sure. That's just my like mental guess. It's 13 minutes. Wait, what? 13, oh, 13 minute days. Well, what is that even out to, then? Because you wake up at 6, and then the day ends at 2. So that's... 18, 19, 20. So you're awake for 20 hours, and 20 hours happens in 13 minutes? How many, like... minutes per second is that, then? I'm gonna take a nap. Can you do not anything interesting for the next 30 minutes so I don't miss anything? Well, I am clearing out my farm, so that's pretty boring. I'd probably get to it now before I do start doing something interesting. I'd probably hop to it. That's two minutes per second. So every five seconds it goes up ten minutes? That seems slow, though. It seems really slow. I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. Ah, Grandpa's letter! Oh man, I totally forgot about this. He's gonna... I don't even know if I'm gonna get to... I hope I don't make it to year three. But if I do, man, he's gonna be like, Shit, weesh, big dog, you haven't done nothing on this farm. What are you, stupid? Jesus Christ! Kill me again! What's up, Mom? How you doing? He's going to be really upset with me. He's not going to like me. Grandpa's looking down on me being like, what is this guy doing? I remember in very early versions of this game, Grandpa was ruthless as far as his evaluation. He would be like, really, really mad at you. Like, he would be like, this is a piece of shit. I'm paraphrasing, of course, but, like, if you get a bad evaluation from Grandpa in the current version, he's like, oh, that's okay, you know, maybe you just need some time to get going. Don't worry, kid. We still love you. But I'm pretty sure in, like, early versions of this game, he was like, you fucking absolute piece of shit. You are a disgrace to this family. He, he goes in on you. In, like, real early versions of the game. He goes in on your ass. You should look it up. I don't remember what it said exactly, but... I'm pretty sure he's pretty ruthless about it. I got perfect evaluation my first playthrough. I didn't even know it back then. Well, not to spoil your spuds, but I don't really think it's that hard to get a perfect evaluation if you just play the game naturally. You don't really have to, like, go out of your way to get a good evaluation, right? Just like my real grandpa. Yeah, trauma dumping in the chat room again. Yeah. 
No, but I get it. It made me feel good anyways. Well, yeah, there you go. I mean, that's what this game does. It makes you feel good. It's like a... This game's dangerous, dude. It's too much dopamine too fast. I never got the evaluation because I always stopped playing around year two. I'll be honest, this that is when this game starts to fall off a little bit. And it's never bad, don't get me wrong. But I do think the game... I, I, I honestly kind of insulted that that's all I got from him, that I don't even want to, like, wheel that shit back home and, like, chest it because I'm so mad at him. This game does fall off. I think that's usually when, like, my entertainment value falls off is, like, end of year two. By that point, you have a pretty good, like, source of income. You can probably get, like, star fruit wine or ancient fruit wine in casks going and like you don't have to worry about money no more at that point you're worrying about like perfection right finishing the museum catching all the fish getting perfection stuff like that you're worried about like ginger island and getting all the walnuts and stuff like i don't know i like that stuff don't get me wrong but i mean obviously i'm doing the museum run i like that stuff it's just not my favorite part of the game i really love the like startup phase of the game and you're really not struggling by the time you get to, like, the end of year two. That's that's kind of when the game starts to fall off for me a little bit. I hate fishing, though. Well, that's the good thing, is that you don't have to do it. If you don't want to. It is a great source of income early in the game, though. Oh, did I get rotten luck today? Hey, Omni-Geode. Can't be mad about that. Might have gotten old rotten luck today. I really should check my luck every day, shouldn't I? To know whether... Actually, that would have been smart if I was... Oh, shit, I have no energy. Oh, yeah. Whoops. I have a shit ton of uh, salmon berries, though. Wow, my luck is absolutely just disgusting today, apparently. Does that blow up the big rock? No, but that's okay. Don't touch me. Pervert. Starting is my favorite in most games. Yeah, I mean, a game is... A lot of games can be fun just starting out, like Animal Crossing. The real, like, tried and true test is whether they're still fun after you've put in, like, you know, 10 hours into the game. Like, is it still... Has it gotten... Has it start to wear off after, like, 10 hours? Or does it start to wear off after, like, 100 hours, like this game does? That's how you know a game in this genre is good or not. There's so many games that are trying to be like Stardew because they're trying to... I mean, quite frankly, they're probably trying to make money. But, you know, I mean, aren't we all? But The thing that separates those games from Stardew and a lot of the games that they try to be is that they're fun at the start. Like, they are. A lot of those games are fun at the start. It's just that you don't get too far into them before you start to be like, okay... But, like, you get 10 hours into Stardew, and you're like, holy shit, wait, like, the dopamine really starts. You're, like, starting to picture out, like, what you're gonna do with your farm. How you're gonna, like, how your money-making operations are going. You're getting, like, really into it around the 10-hour mark. Yeah, like, Minecraft as well. That's a game that is one of the most fun games, gaming experiences ever at the start. It's so, like, degenerate level addicting at the start. Like, you don't want to put the game down. And it keeps that way. I mean, it depends on, like, what you're doing. A lot of it's up to you as well. And sometimes the game just isn't for you. It doesn't mean it's a bad game necessarily, you know? Exactly. If you want, if you're, like, achievement hunting in a game, that usually means that you enjoy that game a good bit. Oh, Jesus. Because you're not just like, you don't like it just for the beginning. You're liking it for like everything it has to offer. Because that's exactly what you're trying to do. I always spend all my time in the mines and then I get bored. I mean, that's fair. But I mean, that's why there is so many other things to do, you know? Not like maybe the game just isn't for you and that's fine. Stardew isn't for everybody. 
I knew a guy who we tried so many times to get him into Terraria, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Tried so many times to get him into Terraria. We're like, dude, it's so great. I, it's like kind of starts slow, but like it gets so good once you start like getting like really good weapons and you start exploring and starting fighting bosses and you start exploring more in the underground find like the underground jungle fight like queen bee and then you go to the hell dimension and you fight the wall of flesh and then the game really gets good because it starts to turn to hard mode and then you get all these ores and those ores make really good weapons and you just come to the point where you're just like maybe the game just isn't for them you know maybe the game just isn't for them and that's just something you have to accept Tried so many times to get... It, it's nothing worse as well than trying to get someone that you like into a game that you love. And they just don't... It just doesn't click with them. Because you want to, like, share that passion with someone else. You want to, like, be able to be like, Dude, you know what I did in Terraria the other day? And have them be like, Dude, what? Oh, let me tell you about what I did in Terraria. Nothing better than discussing that with, like, a friend. But when they just aren't into it... They don't share that same passion. It's sort of like, ah, oh, man. But you can't fight it. That's just how it is. And especially with a complicated game as well. Where there is just so much, like, to learn. And you feel like you're introducing the game to them. And you're, like, Wikipediaing them on it. There's... I don't know. A game like Terraria is kind of complicated in the sense that you do need to understand the game a good bit before you can really see what is so interesting about it. But once you see it... I think that it's really fucking good. But sometimes some games have a high barrier of entry before you can really see why they are so good, you know? You can overwhelm them very easily by being like, okay, this is what you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. Sometimes it's better for someone to just discover the game naturally, you know? Instead of trying to force the matter, let them figure it out as time goes on. And if they like the game enough, they'll figure out what makes it so good, you know? That's something that you got to learn as well, is that sometimes you shouldn't intervene with it too much. If someone's going to like a game, they'll do it as in their own time, you know? Space boots. Alright, cool. Four defense, four immunity. Eh, maybe those boots could be sold but to the guild, but the guild never gives good prices on anything. Should I just go back home? Nah, let's keep going. You can get some really good shit at this level, right? Like, this is where, like, purple mushrooms and shit start to spawn, right? Also, just tend to stress me out. I enjoy watching other people play them more. I am that way with a lot of games as well. I like watching other people play sometimes complicated games more than I like playing them myself. Because, if anything, it just stresses me out doing it by myself because I feel like I'm not doing it right. But if I'm watching someone else doing it, and I'm completely ignorant to the game, then I don't need to worry about it, because I'm not worried about what's right or what's wrong. I don't even know what the fucking game is. That's how I am with, uh, a lot of Minecraft. Like, I, I know a lot about Minecraft, but so many people are so much better at the game and make cooler shit than I do, to where, like, all I can do is just sit back and be like, wow, I can't believe they did that. Because I would never imagine doing something like that. I feel like Dwarf Fortress would be like that for me as well, or like Factorio. Those games where they're so deep and complicated, where I don't think I would ever even attempt to get into them to the extent that some people are. But I'm happy that other people do enjoy them to the extent that they do, because they're probably really good games. Skyrim, Dwarf Fortress, COD, yeah. I get it. I'm that way with a lot of games. Usually, like, more complicated games, or very... You know, here's another thing, is that games with a lot of creativity... Yeah, RimWorld, that was another one for a long time. Until, RimWorld I was that way with, until I really gave it an honest try, and then I really got into it. I got really into RimWorld not that long ago. I, it's literally like all I wanted to play. You ever have a game, and this is kind of bad when this happens, but it's so, oh, so good at the same time, where you wake up and the first thing you want to do is play that game, and like you maybe you have to go to like school or something, or work. And you're at work or you're at school and literally all you want to do is just go home and play a game and play that game. I've been there before. I've been to that like level of addiction. Yeah, it's called addiction. Don't belittle me. I know what it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, I've been there with games before. We're like you just go to work and you're like, gotta play the game. I wanna play the game. I wanna play the game. I wanna play the game. And then you go home and that's all you do. You play the game. And it's so good, but it's so bad because so many other things just fall by the wayside. Stuff that's much more important than 
the game. What's up, Russo? How are you doing? Hyperfixation, addiction, call it what you want, but it's great, but also horrible. Yeah, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild did that for a lot of people. Yep, I can imagine. Uh, we're not getting to 120 today. We'll call it good at 115. Me with Minecraft for two years. Some people with, like, World of Warcraft for, like, almost 20 years now. I can't imagine, dude. You ever see, like... And this isn't, like... I'm not trying to derive humor out of it or, like, poke fun at them, being like, haha, look at them. You ever see, like, how addicted some people are to, like, World of Warcraft? It's bad. It's really bad. But, like... Not to not nearly to the extent that they are, and not nearly as long, but I've been there, you know? I've been there. Yeah, the South Park episode, exactly. But at least that was only one episode, and not 20 years, like is how some people are. Alright, sell, 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 thinking sell, sell, uh... I don't think I'm going to... Well, okay, maybe I'll want to upgrade a tool at some point, and then I'll have some pre-smelted copper. Maybe that'll be good. But, whatever. I'm tempted to sell it, because it would be a good bit of money. Not that much. Anyway, I feel like I just haven't stopped talking for the last five minutes. Maybe like ten. 2001 gold. In 2001, children in chat, and you are just that, even though you're 22. I don't want to hear it. You're children. Anyone who's, like, 25 or under is a child. Anyone who's 25 under is a child. I'm, like, a young adult, because I'm barely over that threshold. So I feel like when I take my glasses off, it's like when King Neptune takes his paper bag off, and everyone's like, Bald! 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 Sorry, I had to clean my glasses. Yeah, I know they're 22, and 22 is a child. 22 is a child. You'll be 27 one day, and you'll be like, man, 22 is a child. And then you'll be 33 one day, and you'll be like, man, 27 is a child. It's just how it works. Any dig spots? Bald, bald, bald. My eyes! I, now I've made it worse, because I gotta go, like, get some solution to clean my glasses, because now all I've done is I've mushed the, like, fucking shit around. Thanks. Yeah, frickin' hoagies. I'll call them hoagies or subs. I'll be honest, despite the fact that hoagies is pretty close to home as far as the terminology, I probably call them subs more than I call them hoagies. I feel like it's still, like, it is. It's still, like, fucking blurry. What the hell? Maybe it's because I'm using my fucking shirt. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that, huh? I... God damn it. Alright. For real this time. Clean. Pristine. Microfiber cloth. Applied. What'd you call me? Called you a hoagie. Called you a fucking hoagie. Alright. What was I doing? Right, I gotta wait till the blacksmith opens and look for dig spots. Like... That. Chair stream. You guys think about my chair. I'm thinking about getting another one, because uh, I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I feel like most chairs... Well, if I want, like, a good chair, I get, like, a Herman Miller. If I want, like, a gamer chair, then you get, like, a DX Racer. But DX Racers and, like, all the knockoffs of them are, like, shit. And purely, like, visual over comfort, I feel. I don't like those, like, gamer DX Racer looking chairs. I don't like them. I don't like the looks of them, and I probably don't like the way the, the, the comfort level of them. Hey, like a Herman Miller or something like that. But that's pricey. Maybe I'll set up like a donation goal or something like that. Would you guys 
I'm not going to do this. At least, probably not. I mean, don't, I'm never say never, because, you know, you never know how things will be. But would you actually feel more incentivized to give me money if I set up, like, a donation goal that said, like, new gaming chair or something like that? I'm not going to, because I don't really want to, because I don't need to, quite frankly. But, like, I don't know. Like, if I incentivized it in some way. But I wouldn't feel good about doing it, though. I wouldn't feel good about doing it because, like, some people, some of you might say, yeah, and that would kind of make me want to do it less, you know? Because I don't feel like I want to, I don't want to, like, squeeze you guys for every cent you got. Thanks for the hydrate. I've had a nice two or three years. It's pretty nice. I guess they're not all bad. But, I don't know, I feel like DX Racer is purely for the brand sort of thing. Okay, that's like the third time you've given me that, you fucking shithead. Nice. Alright, finally we get something new. I feel like it's been a while. And, again. Hey, Meehan, thanks for the 420. Speaking of milking you out, I'll just give money when I can anyway. Hey, I appreciate that. Thanks. Thanks for the 420. Hopefully you... What's like the PayPal cut on a 420 donation? Probably like... 50 cents, maybe. It's not bad compared to Twitch. Alrighty. I did get a second one of those, which kind of makes me want to, you know, punch Clint in the mouth, but that's fine. Let me double check my counters right here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 28, 29, 30. Perfect. Right? Yep. Perfecto. And then I'll sell all my extra shit to him. Where'd you buy that chair? Amazon. I don't know what it's called. I have no idea. Before you ask, I have no clue what it's called. I'm sure if you search up... Lumbar Support Mesh Chair, you'll probably find it. Pretty generic, all things considered. Basically one-third of the way there? Yeah, almost, about. Ah, Lost Books. I was going to say something last stream, and I forget, I never got around to point because I was waffling, as I tend to do. But, yeah, I guess I'll do Lost Books as well. Although, I'm probably not even going to have to, like, try to get all the Lost Books. Because I feel like I'm going to get the Lost Books just naturally from trying to get all the artifacts. Like, I feel like I'm just going to get the Lost Books anyway. Because, I mean, I've collected all the lost books in like every playthrough that I've done and I've never made an effort with which to actually do it because it's just something that happens like naturally without even trying. Are they even part of the challenge? Well, they are in the museum. So inevitably you'd get some Poindexter in the YouTube comments section being like, oh, did you complete the lost books too? They're technically part of the museum. That's you. I'm doing an impression of you guys. Some Poindexter would probably be like, Oh, you gotta do the Lost Books as well, right? So, in an, order, in an effort to get out ahead of those comments, I probably will do them, right? The tags promise drug talk. So, you gonna talk about drugs? Uh, I didn't plan on it, but yeah, I'm probably gonna get, like, Wicked Zonk tomorrow. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get, like, Wicked Zooted tomorrow. Um, that's That'll be fun. Looking forward to that. So there you go, there's your drug talk. Probably gonna... Probably gonna... I'd say smoke a fat pack, but I don't smoke. I, uh... I'm an all, like, edibles guy. Help. Is anyone... Am I a lightweight... Okay, here's some drug talk for you. Am I a lightweight for getting stoned? Like... Pretty stoned as well, not just like a buzz either. From five milligrams of edibles, cause dude, it, it first of all, yeah, I'm a lightweight. Damn, dude, five milli. I I I don't know, dude. I guess I'm a fucking lightweight, cause like I took edibles and the serving size is five. Five milligrams per edible? Well, yeah, cause I think it's ten THC, ten milligrams THC per edible, and I eat half of them, cause that's the serving size. And so I always took the serving size because that was what was recommended. And I was like, I'm good. I don't need to go higher. 
Yeah, edibles are usually ten, and I took and I take half of mine. So I don't know, but being a lightweight's kind of fucking awesome because I don't think I need to tell you how much money you save. You know, I'm twelve, dude. If I took ten, I've had too much of one edible where I like didn't split it right, or in my case of my current ones, I sucked on them too long and took more than five. And I'll have, like, panic attacks. Or I'll be, like, pretty close to having a panic attack. I'll be, like... My brain will be con convince me that I'm, like, gonna fall up into the sky. But I think maybe I'm just an anxious person, so I don't know. So if I took 10, I would probably... I would be freaking out if I took 10. I do sativa, not indica. I don't really know how much of a difference it would be. I've done both of them, and I feel like they have very similar effects. Well, that's the bottom of the mines. What do we get for that? The Skull Key. Okay, so now we can do the Skull Caverns uh, once we unlock the desert, which I still need to save up 42,000 or 45,000? 40,000 to unlock. So we still got a ways to go as far as making money, but we are at the end of the caverns. It took me about five hours to do that. I'm pretty sure that's an official speedrun category. Um... To get to the bottom of the mines. I'm curious how I did. I'm curious how I did. Of course, it wouldn't count because I did it in segments instead of in one go. So, yeah. So, I guess now we just keep grinding for magma geodes and omni geodes is probably what I'm going to do and get things that'll be worth money for selling. It's probably like fucking 30 minutes or less, like a fucking pizza delivery. To get to the bottom of the mines for some people. Some people are just insane at this game. Some people are crazy. So I think the strategy would probably be to like mine out every rock on every floor. It's not going to be fun, but that'll probably get you a good bit of geodes. So we'll probably do it. Fastest for mines is 4550. That's crazy. I mean... I kind of expected a little faster, but I mean, that is still, like, wild. Like, what is the strategy to do it that fast? Do you have to get lucky and get, like, a good weapon? Do you ever bother upgrading your pickaxe? Or do you just run with the raw tools and just brute force your way through it, hoping that you get lucky days along while you do it? Probably bombs you incorporate quite a bit, if I had to imagine, but, you know, bombs are expensive and rare at the beginning of the game. I literally didn't do the thing I said I was going to do and mine every rock, but that's whatever. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I hate this squid kids. My, yeah, I'm kind of dying. Staircases? Oh, I guess that's true, but you don't even unlock. I think that takes a couple levels of mining skill to unlock. So, I don't know. And also, like, stone... It's like 99 stone per staircase. Like, that's not cheap. Ooh, a ring. Oh, that's a squire's helmet. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, squire now. Leave me alone. Alright, I'm gonna go crazy with the rocks in here. Oh, I don't know, guys. Do you think there's a crab in here? Ooh, dwarf scroll. Which one? That looks like one, I think. Oh, no, that's three. Oh, hell yeah. We got Dwarf Scroll three. That's what we wanted. Leave me alone. Even though I specifically disturbed you from your home, I want you to leave me alone. Do the money glitch and buy stone off Robin. Oh, is that actually what they do? Interesting. Well, I feel like if that was the case, if you're going to do that, I feel like that would be so much faster than 45 minutes. That feels like you could do that, like, the first day if you really wanted to. Use bombs? I will use bombs, but I'd like to clear out the enemies first. Those guys are the worst because they have, like, no knockback. Very annoying. Okay, Omni Geode and Magma Geode. Nice. You love to see it. Hat Mouse speedrun? I've unlocked Hat Mouse. What's... Is that all you gotta do? Is just unlock them? 
What are, you, what are the conditions to unlocking it, I wonder? Or is there something more you gotta do? Rats. Drats and Dagnabbit. Getting an achievement? Oh, getting an achievement unlocks Hat Mouse. Interesting. Well, what's the achievement that you would get? I got the Greenhorn achievement not that long ago, but that takes earning 15,000. I feel like there's something faster you can do than that. Then again, if you're using that money glitch that we were just talking about, you can probably get that 15,000 very quickly. The quickest marriage percent is to Shane, and it's 40 minutes. I can see that because Shane loved gift is beer, and you could just buy beer very cheaply from Gus's. And then... You know what's the big, like, RNG, if I had to guess, in that run? Is waiting for a rainy day to buy the mermaid pendant from the guy. If you get really unlucky and you go, like, a lot of days without getting a mermaid pendant, once you get to a high enough friendship with Shane, you might lose a little bit of time. Yeah, he loves beer. He doesn't like beer. He loves beer. It's a love gift for Shane. He loves that shit, even after he says he's gonna stop drinking. Are you doing glitches in this rub? It's a bit of a personal question, don't you think? His birthday is in spring, too. That's right, so you'll get double the benefit of a loved gift. That's right. Alright, that's every rock, right? Except for the gold, but whatever. No, I'm not doing glitches in the run. No glitches. There is a glitch I could utilize, but I never bothered learning it to basically, like, use your tools without using energy by, like, pressing some keys really quickly on your keyboard or something. You can remap them to make it easier as well, but... I ain't, I ain't interested. I, I ain't taking this that seriously. I'm just doing this for fun more than anything. Yeah, animation canceling. That's it. It, um, I guess saves your energy from swinging, like, a tool. Which is really handy in the early game when energy is just like a dire thing that you need. I remember learning how, not learning how, but seeing a video how to do it. And I was just like, ah, whatever. I don't care. I don't use it. It makes the game more boring. Yeah, I like the natural checks and balances that the game has as far as like, you know. Okay, I, did, I have donated a diamond. As far as like, um, I don't know early game, your stamina is low, but, like, I don't know, that's kind of part of the fun, you know? But for a speed run, like, throw that all out the window, you know? You want to do things in the most ideal manner possible. Alright, that was a good day. Got to the bottom of the mines. And before the end of spring, as well. Made a good bit of money, too. If we're pulling in, like, about 1,500 to 2,000 per day, we'll have the bus stop by the time summer rolls around. I mean, we're at 10,000. Can you fuck off? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, actually, I do not want you to fuck off, because this is where he asks you if you want mushrooms or bats, and I'm a big mushroom guy. Mushrooms are better for money, and that's all I really care about. At least I have to imagine they are, because purple mushrooms are really good. And bats are good for fruit, but fruit is not worth a whole lot. It's good for the community center, though. Mushrooms? I don't know. Like, I asked this yesterday. Were you guys like fruit or mushrooms? And you guys are big fruit guys. A bunch of fruity guys. You guys love fruit. I don't get it. I always choose mushrooms. I've chosen fruit once. And I'm pretty sure I regretted it. Buy a bunch of chickens and name them 74. What is 74? That's not Mayor Lewis's shorts, is it? That's not Mayor Lewis's shorts, is it? Be surprised by the fruity guy. You surprised the fruity guys like you? Oh no, I think I'm big amongst the fruity guys, but that's okay. I was just, you know, I'm more of like a shroomy guy myself, you know? We'll just agree to disagree, really. It's just a lifestyle difference. I can look past it. It doesn't define who you are as a person, you know, that you like the fruit over the mushrooms, like, whatever. Life goes on. Isn't it the prismatic shard? Oh, is it? I mean, that'll be tempting if I, uh, 
go a long time without getting the Prismatic Shard, but no, I'm not going to resort to that. As tempting as it'll be when I'm on, like, one last thing that I need, and I cannot for the life of me get the fucking, like, rare disc, for example. I'll be like, man, it'd be really easy to just name a chicken sucking bracket 82 or whatever the hell it is. So I'm gonna look up what 82 is. Now I'm curious. I'm a pure soul. No cheat. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The upside of fruit is that you get to pick the forest farm that you get both... Oh, fuck, the flower dance. Oh, well, I'll just use today to clear out the farm. Yeah, clean isn't open today, I forgot. The upside of fruit is that you get to pick the forest farm, and then you can get both mushrooms and fruit for the community center very fairly easily. I guess. I don't think I've ever chosen the forest farm, though. On the forest farm, I mean, this shit is already, like, a mess. I can't imagine a forest farm on top of all this shit. 42 is fire quartz. Well, that's also something I need to donate. But I already have, so... I already have. That's fine. We'll clear out as much as our energy allows. I'll even use my salmon berries, and then we'll, um... Skip to the next day. Go to Clint's. Hopefully get a few things. I mean, I got one Omni Geo, three regular... Or, three Magma Geodes, and now three regular Geodes. And, and I do have a Dwarf Scroll, so I definitely have something to donate. I think you reasonably expect that I'll get one thing to donate from all these Geodes, and I might even get more from clearing out all these. Forest Farm has less space, so less trees to clean up. God bless. This is probably one of the least favorite things that I have about this game, is the initial cleaning up your farm, because it's in such, like, a shit state when you get it. If he, if he pulled back a little bit and made it so that, like, your farm was just a little bit cleaner... Quit hitting the tree. Just a little bit cleaner... Oh, by the way, did I miss Makes K for the uh, year? I'm sorry, I missed that, didn't I? Oh, no, that was literally just now. I was, okay, I just did that as I happened to look over at my alerts. Thank you for the year. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy your ad-free viewing. Appreciate it. Any years in chat? Thanks for the hydrate. I love cleaning up the farm. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm the weird one. I, it's probably one of my least favorite parts of the game is... Because your, your fucking energy is, like, so low. He dumps this entire-ass farm on you and gives you, like, zero energy and says, All right, pal, clear it up. Is so, like... You can't do this with, like, the amount of energy that you start with. This is ridiculous. This is where I would probably find it acceptable to use that animation canceling glitch so that you can do this without fucking destroying your stamina at the start. I could totally, like, if somebody said, yeah, I don't cheat in this game except for using animation canceling to clear out your farm at the start, I'd be like, yeah, that's fair, because it's annoying. Ungrateful ass, you got a free house? I'm not saying the house is bad. I'm saying the fact that I got no energy at the start. And I gotta clear out Grandpa's fucking shit job of maintaining this place. He really let this place to the damn dogs. And it's my burden to clean it up. That's what I'm kind of, like, miffed about. That's what I'm not so happy about. He's been dead? That's no excuse. People, dead people still, like, have to pay taxes and shit. Alright. I think we just go to sleep. Grandpa got that dog in him. Yeah, right, boy? He doesn't like me. <laughs> I haven't really been talking to him a whole lot. I don't think he's a huge fan of me. Alrighty, let's see. Pinecone, sap. Good, go to the next thing. Sad I didn't end up getting another geode out of all that. 
Man, I am like ignoring all the community events here. Ooh, 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 ooh. It doesn't matter, like really at all, does it? Because I've already done most of the mining that I need to do, right? Like, geologist for money, I think is actually a great point. You're right. I thought that was like no impact on this run, but I think you're actually very correct. Have you seen the deed in his damn will? Do you expect him to come back from his grave ready to keep it pretty until you were nice and ready? Yeah, it's a video game. It's a video game. Unrealistic shit happens all the time. You guys are acting like, ah, oh, fucking, oh, what'd you expect? He's dead. Yeah, he's a fucking ghost that talks to you in year three, day one, as if that's fucking realistic. You throw realism out of the door with the damn dogs. His ass can still come to me in year three, day one of spring, and tell me I'm doing a shit job, but he can't fucking clean the farm up his damn self. I'm getting my damn mushrooms. Brown mushrooms? Come on, no purples. Give me the damn common mushrooms. That's the worst. Those are good energy, though. Maybe I should hang on to them instead of selling them, but I need, like, I need the money more so. But yelling at me. Yes, I will, I will discover the purpose of the fucking thing. Relax. Yeah, you know, calm down. I was under the impression that he could observe, but not interact. Well, he can observe my fucking asshole if he keeps talking shit about this farm. I'll spread my butt cheeks in front of Grandpa and say, What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Oh, that's okay. Whatever you think of me is perfectly fine. Alright, let's go check around for spots. Hey, how are you today? Pretty good. How are you doing? He's dead, Dag. Yeah, and so there'd be no repercussions to me showing him my asshole. You wouldn't want to do that to a living person because they would say stop, or they would kick you, or they would call the police. But what's a ghost gonna do? If you just, like, fucking spread your butt cheeks in front of his face. It'd be kind of funny, wouldn't you think? You missed a spot? No, I missed a diagonal. This is crude? It's not crude. And like oil crude. Also, I don't see what you're talking about. I've missed nothing. I've missed nothing. I think you're seeing things. By the door? Where? Quit messing with me. Get out of my head. What door? Linus is no Adventurers Guild. Oh, son of a bitch. If I go over here and there's nothing here and you were seeing things, somebody's gonna get timed out. I'm gonna do a timeout roulette where a random person gets a timeout for like 10 minutes. Alright, you better be right, or someone else is gonna Oh, you're right. Wow, that was sneaky. And I needed it! Oh my god, I have to mod someone for 10 minutes. Now I gotta mod one of you guys for 10 minutes. Because that's something I need. Yeah, I might have to VIP them now. Wow, look at that. Crazy. That's the greatest, like, chat retribution I've ever seen. Someone was in the pits. The, the timeout pits. And now they're gonna get VIP'd. I said it? Well, terms and conditions apply. Make it me, I'm cool. Mm, you obviously didn't read the rules of engagement. Let's check the beach real quick here. No, but like, shoutouts. I appreciate that. I would have would have been uh, quite upset if I missed that, knowing that it was something that I needed. Hey, and then I got a uh, ornamental fan from the beach. What are the chances of that, actually? I don't feel like I remember that being common at the beach. Oh, no. That's 1.6% at the beach. Okay. It's actually the best place for it. Cool. What's up, Elliot? 
We're like, smelly it. <laughs> oh, if you like this stream, be sure to hit that follow button. If you really like this stream, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Rude. Hmm. Such crass humor is not really my thing, farmer. Hmm. That's probably what he would say to that. Hmm. Quite crude. Although I could see the appeal of such a joke to the lower IQ crowd. Hmm. But not me. No. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you. No. Go fuck yourself. Getting one thing that I need out of all that is... not very nice. Not very nice. I'd want a little bit better than that. Fuck Clint. I agree. Tell you what I'll do. After I've donated everything is when I'll organize the museum. Does that make you guys happy? There you go. I put the two dwarf scrolls together. That must make you happy, right? Alright, so we should be at 34. Somebody can count that for me. You have five seconds. Screenshot it if you have to. Alright. Should be 34. Things donated. Alright, that's good. We've now made 10 donations worth of progress from when we started, which I think is pretty good. Um, and it's almost summertime, so artifacting will be at its peak here very soon. I think... You know what I think? Here's what I think. You want to know what I think? Of course you do. You're watching the stream, right? I think we skip every day until summertime. Let a bunch of artifact spots build up. And then on summer the 1st, go out and try to find them all. Literally take an entire day, go around the entire map. <laughs> that scared me. Go around the entire map and see if we... See what we get, basically. See what we get. Alright, cool. Don't they reset on Mondays or Sunday? Okay, that would be very critical information. Does anyone know if that's true? Because... All I know is that they have a 15% chance of disappearing every day that goes by. So you sleep, 15% of them-ish will disappear. But, you know, maybe more that more appear than disappeared is what I'm thinking. They reset on Sunday. Okay. Well, with that in mind, I guess we'll clear out our farm some more. Not that really at this point it's that necessary, but you want to maximize space, of course, with which... Artifact spots can spawn on your farm. That's the only reason I'm doing this. At this point, though, I don't really know how necessary it is. Because I probably have more than enough space with which for them to spawn. So, it's probably not a big deal. But I gotta do something with this energy, right? Thanks to hydrate. Saturday's the last day to get shit. Alright, so maybe we'll sleep until Saturday, then. So, what- Okay, so maybe when summer comes around... Skip every day until Saturday, and then walk around the entire map collecting any artifact spots I can. Seems like a decent strategy, right? Seems decent. Could work. We'll see how good that is for grinding artifacts, and if it's not, then maybe I'll look up a guide off-stream. If there even is one. I mean, I don't really know how much better it can get, to be honest. Sounds good. Unless one of you guys can look up something and tells you, Best way to grind artifacts in Stardew Valley. I'm sure a guy's something like that probably exists. But, I don't know. It's all just, of course, luck. It's only You can only do so much. You can only do so much. Can you break these? No. I was about to say. Wonder, wait, can you break the big rocks with a copper pickaxe, though? No, I think that takes, like, gold at least, right? You know what kind of stinks? And I've had this happen to me once, but I've seen other people have it happen to them. You get a meteorite landing on your farm really early, and you just have to let it sit there, because you don't have a pickaxe that's good enough for, like, a long time. I know the wiki has a list. I have a list, too, literally sitting right in front of me of all the artifacts. It's more just like, how do you grind the artifacts 
in a man in a, like a fast manner or like relatively fast is what I'm more so asking. That happened to Germa? Did it? That's happened to me, like, really early on, and I got, like, really mad because I had this nasty pink rock in the middle of my farm. And I got it in, like, not far in front of my house either. So, like, it was a real eyesore. It's not like they shoved it in the corner of the farm, like, out of the way. I got it, like, nasty spot. Like, I wanted to, like, plant shit in there. Kind of like grinding geodes from the mines is the main one. What, for artifacts? But no, that's more for minerals, right? Like, that's better for, like, minerals. Like, the... You know what I mean. Not art Artifacts are different from minerals. Minerals are stuff like... The Thunder Egg, the Bixite, the Calcite, the Dolomite, the Esferite. You know, stuff like that. All that, like, things that end in Ite is more what I'm thinking. Geodes are good for that stuff. Um, you'll probably want... Artifact spots going to be better for artifacts themselves. Germa mentioned. Yeah, but when's Germa going to mention me? That'd be the day. Is it parasocial to say that I think me and Germa would get along? I think we'd be best of friends. I think we'd be good buddies. Is that parasocial? I think it is. But then again, most Germa fans are parasocial, and you probably think the same thing. So you're probably like, so true! Ow. That one actually kind of hurt. So artifact isn't 100%? So all artifacts isn't 100% museum speedrun? Well, no, there's more than just artifacts. There's... I mean, I have, like, them divided up into categories here. Um, Like, there's artifacts. Artifacts are stuff like... The prehistoric vertebrae, the palm fossil, the rusty spoon, the skeletal hand, the strange doll, the ancient drum, the ancient seed, the bone flute, which I feel like is what a skeleton calls its cock, the elvish jewelry, those are artifacts. Monster drops are stuff like the dwarf scrolls, the dinosaur egg, the rare disc, and then minerals are stuff like amethyst, aquamarine, diamond, earth crystal. And then geode minerals are stuff like tiger's eye, opal, fire opal, alamite, bixite, barite, eremite, calcite, dolomite, esperite, fluoropatite, geminiite, helvite, purite, jamborite, jagite, kyanite, lunarite, malachite, neptunite, and levenstone, neco... necoite? What the hell did he mean by that? Anyway, you know what I mean. That's different than artifacts. That's stuff you can only get from geodes and stuff. Or fishing chests and treasure. You know what's actually, um, and this is actually, hang on, I just remembered something. Uh, I remember reading something when I was researching how to do this challenge most optimally. There are, um, artifact, I don't remember what they're called, artifact troves? There's something that you can buy from the desert merchant. You know, the, the one on the wagon in the desert? They can trade for something for those artifact troves. All right, so now let's skip until it's going to be Friday, and then everything resets on Sunday. So basically skip until the last day of spring. For Omni Geodes, well, that's kind of a shame because Omni Geodes are something that I need in themselves. So maybe if I get all those, like, minerals and shit, then I can, like... If I get, theoretically get all the, like, minerals from geodes and stuff, then I can save my geodes and trade them for that. But that kind of stinks, because I also need omni-geodes for, like, a bunch of the museum stuff as well. Wait, it resets Sunday. So, wait, I thought the 28th would have been... I thought, I thought the 28th would have been... Am I stupid? Yes, I am. Okay. Just want to check. Oh, good. I'm going to be in the Stardew Valley Tribune. I'm literally got the most empty-ass farm. All right. Glad that we can clear that up. I am stupid. All right. Now we just go around and dig up whatever we can dig up. Farm's compl not completely clear, but, I mean, it's about as clear as it's going to be. I don't know. I've still got a few things sitting around. A yo, Just stone. So, wait, does it reset on Sunday, or does it reset on Monday? Because I thought that Sunday would have been the end of the week. But it looks to me like 
Monday, well, I guess it's the end of the week, but it looks like Monday is when it would reset, because that's when the new week starts. I don't know, though. How many artifact spots can spawn, like, down here? I don't feel like you're going to get too many. All foraging resets on Sunday. Okay. Interesting. I'm not... I guess. It just seems, like, weird because Monday is the first day that the week starts. I feel like that would be the day that it does it. I love spring onions. I love green onions. I really like, I like onions. Onions are delicious. I fucking love onions. I used to hate onions. I love onions. Maybe I'll have that turnaround with tomatoes as well at some point, but not likely. And pickles. Fascinating. Dude, you're here listening to it. You're going to get the mindless babble, all right? If you're not here for the mindless babble, then you're not here for the uh, other shit, okay? It's all mindless babble. Perfect in harmony. Thanks for the nine months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Yeah, see, like, I guess you can get them along, like, the river here, but all this shit is, like, grass. I guess there's also this up here. No good artifacting spots in the forest, really. You're not here for the mindless babble. You're not here for Dagnall. Yeah, exactly. You're here for... I don't know why you'd be here if you're not here for me. Oh, because I like Stardew. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of other people playing Stardew, so you must be here for me. I'm here for sexy girl streamer? What the fuck? I... It, what part of my stream advertises that now? Sexy... What? What are you talking about? Does anyone know what this person's talking about? Sexy girl streaming? What are you talking about? Nudity? What? Spring onions are actually a Hatsune Miku reference. Is that right, actually? I think Jerma is a Hatsune Miku reference. No, nothing on the beach. Hey, who let the strange person in here? Weird. I haven't the foggiest. Yeah, no idea. No idea. I need to bump the spawn rates of these worms up, man. This is a sad, sickening amount of worms. Try up here, though. I don't really think I've gone up here, like, ever. Can you get up here to the right? Can, can you get up here? I don't think you can, can you? I'm trying to think, have I ever been there? I don't think you can go there. No, what the fuck? Ass crazy. The whole, like, area. What if you got, like, a dig spot over there and I can't get to it? That would be real... I'd be real cross. Tell you what, I'd be real cross with you. Ah, I love Miku. Yeah, I know. We're pretty pro Miku here. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This doesn't happen right now. This happens tomorrow where you can get the Junimo plush. Does that sell for... Can you sell that? And does it sell for anything? Because I feel like that's rare. I feel like you can totally, like, sell that for something. What, what do you have to do that? I know it's the last day of the month. At what time? Like, 12.30 or something? Something like that. We're pro Miku. This place is great. Yeah. Of course we're pro Miku. Who's anti-Miku? Fucking Miku. Man, not a single fucking spot in this entire place. Not that I've seen, at least. SMH is a JoJo run. Dude, it's optimal, okay? Don't clown on my ass. It's optimal. I wonder if I should unlock the quarry. Any uh, mystic stones? No. Oh, wait a minute. There is a... There is a glitch that you could do, but I think you need to have the upgraded pickaxe. I don't know, some of you might know what I'm talking about. Where you take, like, a chair, and you can clip through the walls, and I think you can get over to the quarry before you've even unlocked it. But I think in order to do it, you need to have unlocked that stone that's between you and the dwarf. Which, I don't know, is a bronze or is a copper pickaxe good enough for that? Oh. 
Oh, wait a minute. I did say it was a glitchless run, but I, you know, that's a pretty harmless glitch, all things considered, right? I actually played Stardew. It's pretty cool to watch. Yeah, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Have I got my mushrooms yet today? No, I haven't. I got a chanterelle. Cherry bomb will break it. Wait, really? That seems cheap. You can do that like day one. Interesting. Hmm. You can clip into the mine carts with a chair, like the secret woods. I didn't know you could do it in the secret woods. But I remember when I think it was one when 1.5 came out. I remember like taking a chair from my house. Yeah, it's not a glitch. It's an exploit. I kind of want to try it now. It took like a chair from your house. And you could, um, mostly just out of curiosity, I want to try it. And also because I didn't get fuck all for dig spots today. <gasps> Pardon me. Oof. Pardon me. Peridone. Um, I want to try it. Give it a shot. I think I might need to unlock where the dwarf is, though. And I don't have bombs, but I could totally make a bomb with the stuff back home. Te Perdonamos Dag. Is that, like, you're forgiven or something? Your pickaxe isn't strong enough to break this yet. Rats. Or was it here? Do, does anyone know what I'm trying to... Does anyone know what I'm trying to do? And how do you do it? Does anyone know what I'm trying to do, and how do you do it? Do I need to break that rock, or can I do it in this little area? You put it behind the minecart, and then you hop on, and then... I think you might have to rotate it in some way. How do you rotate the chair? There we go. Well, no, he pops right back off where he came from. Is this how you do it? Behind the minecart in, like, the tracks. Can you even... Oh, shit. No, you can totally get on it. Oh, wait. And then what do you do? Oh, yeah. And then... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. And then, yeah, you go over here. And then what do you do here, though? I think you can, like, walk into, like, the entrance point here, right? Wait, do you have to grab the chair again? I'm gonna have to grab the chair again, don't I? You need another chair? I need a second chair? I don't got two chairs. Well, this is some uh, honky tonk badonka donk here. Alright, well, in that case, um. Interesting. What do you do with the second chair, I wonder? Yeah, I was like... Can I, like, pick up that chair and use it again, I wonder? Yeah, there we go. You can just pick up the same chair. Yeah, I know I can buy one from Robin, but I'd rather not. If I can just use this one again. I feel like you can get soft-locked if you're not careful here. But you can just close the game. It's no big deal. And then, where do you put this chair... You have to get close enough to be able to both put it down and then sit on it. So, like, here, maybe. No. I mean, that's pretty close. Where can I put this down? Here? Oh, he's just out of reach. I'm mostly just doing this out of curiosity at this point. Oh, come on, dude. He's so close. Here. Yeah, there we go. All right, and then now we can access the quarry before even unlocking it. Oh, and what goodies does the quarry have for us? Um, nothing. From the looks of it. Not a whole lot. No, I don't see a single worm. I don't see 
a single like mystic stone. I can like we can clear these out though, and then um, if I pass out, it's fine. I mean, I will charge a thousand, but it's a little nasty. We can clear these out, and then you know, over the course of time, of course, it'll refresh, and then maybe we can even pick up a few geodes doing this. Who knows? Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. This was just for experimentation? Well, yeah, and the experiment succeeded, so fucking proceed. That's my line of logic. I guess passing out makes sense. Yeah, because it's going to take probably too long to clear out the entire thing. Um, so, like, whatever. I'll just pass out and go back home. Who cares? Who cares? No big deal. Oh, get your chair. I do got my chair back. I got my chair back. Yeah, it turns out you only need one. Although, I guess if you wanted to, like, set it up for more permanence, you could, yeah, do it with two chairs and just leave them. If you really want. I feel like this is, like, not a lot of shit for the quarry. Am I crazy? Usually the quarry has a bunch of stuff. I feel like usually the quarry has, like, an absolute just shit ton of rocks. Oh, I got two jade because I got the stupid perk. Well, not stupid at all. I feel like maybe because it's still early in the playthrough. I mean, it is still, like, spring year one. Maybe it just hasn't had time to fill up yet, because you really weren't supposed to be here this early. What's here at the quarry that's potentially useful for the run? Well, for one, it could have dig spots in the quarry um, that give you artifacts that you need to donate for the museum. could also have mystic stones, which would be a very easy way, if you're lucky, to get a prismatic shard early, which would be amazing. Because that's the... I'm not going to say the rarest item in the game, but it's one of the more coveted items that you can donate. For sure. How's going to Linus going to pick you up if this bridge is broken? Is it Linus? Oh, he can, like, airlift me. He's not Amish. He can use electricity. He can, like, airlift me with his, like, helicopter. He's probably got a helicopter, right? What's up, Tim? Thanks for the nine months. I was doing an interview and my auto subscription went out. I consider this proof that I'm getting the job. Wait, is that like a, like an omen, you mean? Well, thanks for the nine months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad free viewing. Don't get exhausted. Thank you. Do I have food? No. That's kind of it for me. It's kind of Jover for your boy here. Um, I don't think I'm getting back in time and... Uh... Yeah. Out of order, huh? That's a rough one. I wonder. What kind of damage could I do in the mines here? Well, I uh, yeah, might as well do something with these two hours, right? See what kind of damage we can do in here. See what kind of wrapped scallions we can beat up. Maybe they'll drop me something. Who knows? Time to pass out in the mines. Yay! Yeah! I mean, hey, it's the first time I passed out in this entire playthrough, which is pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Pretty impressive. In a normal playthrough, I feel like I, like, pass out five times by this point. I can get the Golden Scythe here if I was quick enough, but I don't think I am going to be. Sadly. Cool reward at the end. I'm just speculating that it'll be a golden scythe. I, I actually have no idea, but that'd be, like, kind of cool, right? <laughs> you fucking god, no. Don't touch me. Wait, what am I talking about? I'm not even gonna die. My health is not a concern. Like, literally, don't. Oh, these skulls can drop something. I don't remember what it is, though, and now I'm slow. These guys drop something. It's a rare chance, but I think they can drop, like, a skull of some sort. It might be the prehistoric skull, though, that I literally already got from somewhere else, so maybe it's just nothing. What is this? This is, um, the quarry. I don't know what you call them. The quarry mines, I guess. Goodbye. Bro gives off type B blood? You talking to me? I don't know. I don't know my blood type. Who the heck knows their blood type? 
I don't know, man. Wow, that's, uh... I guess because I was exhausted and I passed out, I got, like, a double penalty. And I have zero energy. Pardon me, one energy. Woof! That's rough. Um... Luckily, I don't think I have anything to do today other than collect my, like, mushrooms and go to summer, uh, year one. And then maybe I'll skip until Saturday, summer year one, and we can look at, see what forageables we got. Just like me. <laughs> nah, keep the wood. I guess I'm supposed to, like, save that or something for some stupid... Hey, I got a thing. But I'm gonna be exhausted if I get it. God damn it! Fuck! Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna sleep for like five days anyway. Literally hoeing one piece of dirt and my my fucking blood is like, ah, no, I'm done. That's it. Back to bed. Maybe he's depressed. He might be depressed. I don't know. Hard day's work. Yipper. Man, if that would be real, I'd be real sour if that was actually, like, the spreading weeds have caused damage to your farm? What are you talking about? The farm is already damaged. I guess I should, like, clean up a little bit before I, like, try to farm for dig spots. Oh, I love the summer music, so I think this is my favorite summer song as well. Too bad I'm going to bed immediately. Well, not immediately. I'm gonna clear out a little bit of shit first here. You got a new Minecraft update. Do I? There you go. Buddy. Nature's Crescendo is a banger. I think it's my favorite song in the game. What type of water do you drink? Um, khakis? I don't know. Tap water run through a Brita filter? Maybe check your luck between days? What would be the benefit if I do have a good luck day? Like, what would I do with it? If I don't need to mine anymore. Although it wouldn't be a bad idea to go mining, but I kind of want to focus more on uh, artifacting in summer and fall, and then mining in winter and spring. So I'm not going to be as worried about mining, I don't think. Basic? I don't drink water? You're not cool for not drinking water, you know? Nobody thinks you're cool. In fact, drinking water makes you cool. Artifacting. What are you quote-unquoting artifacting? What do you mean? Don't quote-unquote me. Yeah, I'm cool because I like water. You should be more like me. If you have a good luck day, maybe try to grind geodes. Wait, are you implying that geodes are luck-based? Like, the higher your luck, the more likely you are to get a geode from a rock? Is that true? If that's true, then that's huge intel. Are they not? I don't know. I thought it was just pure luck undetermined by your in-game luck. Good luck means more fishing chests, which I think could have artifacts. I'm not... I, I know fishing is an option, which... Yeah, they can have treasure chests, and that would be good, but... That's sort of a last resort that I'm opting for, is fishing to get treasure chests. Because not only are the treasure chests themselves rare, but also getting artifacts that I still need from them would be quite rare. Yeah, I don't know if getting geodes from rocks are affected by luck. It makes sense, but I don't know. I've never noticed a difference personally, but I also don't check my luck, so. So after I clear out the farm, I'm going to skip until Saturday to try to get the maximum amount of artifact spots that I can get. Why didn't you do the quarry farm just in... The quarry farm doesn't give you, like, shit. I remember... Doesn't the quarry farm have, like, the teeniest, like, tiniest little area? And you can, like, mine all the rocks out of them in, like, two seconds, and then they don't regenerate fully for, like, an in-game month? It's kind of stinky. I don't know. 
that's been my experience with it, but I also don't remember 100% because I don't think I've chosen the geo or the that farm in forever, the quarry farm. Alright. Time to seep. Seep until Saturday. I don't know fucking why I'm here. I'm fucking drunk. Dude, you're drunk? That's so awesome. Daily luck affects... What the heck is that? Is that a meteorite? What the heck was that? There was an earth... Oh, right, 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 right. Well, that's good. The train station's open. That actually has some artifact spots that we can check now. Which would be nice. And the spa. Yeah, spa day. <gasps> Go to the spa with the girlies. Daily luck affects geode and cold drop chances from rock. However, luck does not increase the chance to receive rare minerals and artifacts from breaking geodes. Well, I mean, that's still great news, though, because knowing that geodes pop out of rocks more often when you have higher luck is still very... Ah, his underpants. Very good info. All right. Now, this should be the most amount of geode, or not geode, but artifact spots that there are. Maybe I should have collected my mushrooms every day instead of going straight back to bed. Just for a little bit of passive income. Assuming all the data that we have is correct, at least. Are you a Lego fan? No. I don't hate them, but no. Lego's kind of like Disney. Chicken statue, we've already got that. Lego's kind of like Disney. I, what do I mean by that? I don't know. I think... If you know, you know. If you don't, you're confused. But Lego's Disney. Some people just type like that sober. I wouldn't be shocked. What are you guys waffling about? I don't get it. It's like this big thing that a lot of people are really obsessed about. And I don't know. I think that's, like, it. I think that's the only, like, mental connection I can make to it. Is that it's huge, and people care, like, way too much about it. What's up, William? I didn't know he came down here. What's old Wet Willie doing down here? I don't know. That's the best I got. Define waffling? Like, when you're, like, talking. I love Legos, but that's because I'm autistic. Well, that's okay. Alright, what can I get from the beach? What you got for me? Ooh, a warp totem to the mountains. Well, that's very interesting. Um, Alright, and then another lost book. Alright, well, that takes you to, like, where Robin's house is. I mean, I guess. It'll be good for, like, getting out of the mines or something. I guess. I never heard it called that. Yeah, it's a bit of a silly way of calling it. It's a bit of, I mean, you know, I'm just a silly, goofy guy. You know me. Another lost book. Oh, I'm really filling up the lost books. This is what I was saying. You're going to fill those up pretty quickly. Whether you even try it or not. Alright, keep an eye out. If I miss any spots... Uh, how about I, I put... Uh, how about I give you guys this? If I... If you guys can point out a spot that I miss... Then I... What's a sufficient reward... For pointing out a spot that I miss? What do you think? Sebastian, Sebastian, get away. What do you think is like a sufficient reward for that? One million dollars? A gift sub? Ooh, chipped amphora. Very good. 35. I don't know. A gift sub, I mean, I might miss, like, quite a lot, man. I don't want to be out, like, $25 because I'm, like, blind as shit. I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to lose money because of my blindness. It's already cost me a good bit of money in my life. Maybe I'll just give you, like, a shout-out. How about that? Like, I'll shout-out, like, your YouTube channel or something like that. I'd be like, yo, check out my boy, uh... 
Check out my boy Wolfie33 here, uploading the latest and greatest Overwatch 2 gameplay commentaries. Or some shit like that. Coal. Spice berry. I personally don't really want a spicy berry. Oh yeah, Vincent loves grapes, I remember. Give his ass a grape. You speak in an accent for one minute. Okay, what accent? I don't think anyone would want to sub to me. Yeah, maybe not. Paid in exposure. Yeah, that is kind of what I did, isn't it? Except, like, you know, is it really, like... Is there really, like, a monetizable gain that you're getting there? I don't know. I don't know. You're saying it like the alternative would be to give you guys money. Is that really something I give you guys money for? For pointing out that I missed a dig spot? A Pittsburgh accent? Yeah, I'm going fucking dad time. I'm gonna get myself a fucking IC. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the fucking Steelers. Yeah, the Bengals. Yeah, Joe fucking Burrow. What about him, kid? He's not fucking special. Yeah, I tell you, Kenny Pickett, that's the fucking man. You tell me, I think that's the better fucking quarterback. Eat an entire jar of mayo for every dig spot. I think I would puke. I think I would puke. You know what I should do? And this is very smart and probably the smartest thing I've ever done. Make sure you have a spot cleared out in your pockets for whatever pops out of here. Because, God forbid, it falls into the water and you'd never get it again. That would be horrible. I would probably cry. That would make me puke. Do a shoey? abso fucking lootly not. You guys, suggest things that don't make me puke, please. If you don't mind. Okay. No. Nope. There you go. What's a shoey? Uh, it's like this thing Australian frat boys do. They pour alcohol into a shoe and they say... I don't know what they say, but they drink out of the shoe. They drink alcohol out of the shoe. It's disgusting. It's vile. It's not nasty. I mean, it is nasty, but it's not like I need to clear my internet history nasty. It's just, like, kind of gross. They say, hey, fucking shoes up. Some shit like that. I don't know. Nothing. It's only for sick cunts. Yeah, there you go. Uh, wait, can you get out of here once you're in here? Wait, I just realized. You probably can't get out of here once you're in here. Hmm. I guess I could die and then get teleported to Harvey's. What's up, Alexander? How are you doing? I could die... Um, it's the only thing I... What the hell are all these stones doing here? This is ridiculous. Wait, I can just go through these. I guess I could get the golden scythe, yeah. <clears throat> For what it's worth. Not much. Help. Uh, it's probably better than, like, fucking... Probably better than fucking that. What on earth is One Piece? I got no fucking idea, dude. <clears throat> Not a clue. I don't know. I did. I just woke up from a nap. Hi. I didn't. It'd be kind of a boring stream. Did you guys watch me nap? Did you watch me nap? I wouldn't want you to watch me nap. This is not me inviting the prospect of this, but... Like, would you watch me nap? Like, genuinely. It'd be like novel, right? Like, I gotta watch the dag nap stream. Like, if Germa did a nap stream, you guys would never shut up about the nap stream. But I feel like I don't have that same pull, you know? No, that's fucking weird. What's weird about it? It's just a bloke napping. 
It's just a sick fucking cunt having a nap. Having a snooze. What's wrong with it? I'd have it on in the background? Oh, lordy. What the hell? You can't do this. I never tell these guys there's illegal. Spawn two of them. Alright, just one at a time, please. How would I do that? I don't know, dude. People watch, like, weird shit on Twitch. There's definitely weirder shit going on right now on Twitch than some guy just having a nap. Yeah, everyone just all, like, have a nap together. We can all do it. It'll be like a community thing. It'll be like the Dagnall Day of Naps. I got a geode. It's not worth blocking. Like, at all. Yeah, exactly. Community nap day. It'd be kind of fun. Ooh. It's like ASMR. Pretty useless when live. Not something to donate to. What are you talking about, useless? Some people like that. Some people like ASMR. It's because it's not for you. And, I don't know, like, you're great grandfather's probably like oh what's the point of donating to some guy who's playing a video game i don't get it it's useless i don't know maybe to him oh pog got the golden scythe let's fucking go i gotta bring a bomb into this place man this place has got so many rocks to blow up can i make a bomb no four copper and a coal rats is there any copper in here actually I have some melted Froyo I'm enjoying right now. What the hell is Froyo? Respectfully. Get this oyster out of here. Might as well fucking do something here, right? Make some bombs? I need four. Oh, frozen yogurt. Is it so much effort to fucking type frozen yogurt? You gotta get my ass scratching my damn head wondering what Froyo is. What the fuck, man? You got my ass looking stupid. You've stupid my ass. People call it Froyo all the time? No, they don't, because if they did, wouldn't you think I'd be like, oh, Froyo? I see people fucking say that all the time. No. Duh, you gotta use your heads, folks. Come on. What did I. A chicken statue's not worth anything, and I've already. Wait, no, I haven't. Oh my god, I needed to donate that. Oh, I fucking needed to donate that. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? <sighs> I needed to fucking donate that. I hadn't donated that yet. Fuck! Oh well, I have to get another one. I love this hit. Like a hitman? Kind of weird. Maybe I can get something from this soil? No, this soil isn't even tillable. I'm literally stuck in this fucking shit. I'm stuck. What if I can, like, exhaust myself, I wonder, to death? And then, like, eat that mushroom and, like, have it kill me, maybe. Hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Go where you got the scythe and- Oh my god, you're right. Oh my god, you're fucking right. I'm over here trying to fucking kill myself. And the guy teleports you back home, doesn't he? Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. Oh my fucking god. He, he fucking- Oh my god, you're right. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, how fucking stupid can you be? But no, I'm still here! It only puts you back here! Whatever. Fucking try to get geodes or something. Be productive, I guess. I'm not a dum-dum, because it didn't solve my problem, but yeah, I did forget that he can do that. 
I thought he sent you back home, though, for some reason. It'd be really convenient, actually, if he did. Although you'd still have to, like, trek through that cave, so maybe not. I don't know. Frozen yogurt is a mouthful? Not if, like, your mouth ain't full of frozen yogurt. It's actually, like, really normal. Yeah, if you got your fucking hole plugged with frozen yogurt, yeah, it might be a lot. But no, it's really not. Keep swinging your sword in the mine exit. You can go out of bounds, I think. If you keep swinging your sword in the mine exit, you can go out of bounds. I, I think I know what you kind of are getting at, because you, like, slightly move forward when you swing your sword. But, I mean, wouldn't that be, If that was so simple, why wouldn't everyone do that? Like, with the entrance. Okay, oh, wait, 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 I think I know what you mean, right? You do it like this. I feel like he's not moving forward anymore, though. I mean, it's too late now. I just want to do it as, like, you know, just a test. I can swing my sword, 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 my diamond, sword, sword. Fuck you, that's stuck in my head now. Go fuck yourself. You cannot ignore, nor, nor my diamond sword, sword. Even if you could, could. I don't remember how it goes, but now I have to fucking listen to it. But that guy's a shithead now, isn't he? That guy's a shithead, right? I think he sucks. Also, it's not working, I don't think, anymore. I think it's stopping me. I think if I, like... Oh, maybe because I wasn't lined up with it correctly. Hang on. Yeah, I think he is. I think you have to be lined up with it. I think that's the problem. Tell me this uses no energy. This would be exhausting. I'd be sweating. He is moving very slowly. Am I out? Okay, I tried to move and I just teleported. Whatever. Oh, good night, sweet prince. Hey. Hey, but I also have full energy, right? Um. I don't need wood, so I'll definitely go gather. Dang, and now all those fucking dig spots are reset. Shit. Because it's Sunday. Fuck. It's a Sunday. Hey, purple mushroom. Pick up the... Oh, yeah. Full. Didn't the dude make a video with a kid who he brought an AR-15 to a protest? I, yeah, I, I got no idea, man. I think I, I already... Sh I already soapboxed about all that shit on YouTube already today. Um... I had a... Oh my god. Uh... You guys can't even laugh because you didn't fucking know either. Because if you did know, then you would have told me. And if you did know and didn't tell me, then I'm going to time you out. Oh my god, I had a fucking warp totem the whole time. I could have gotten back. Um, well, I guess I don't need the fucking scythe anymore. Put that in there. I'll keep my chair. No, I mean, I don't plan on doing that again, honestly. That was... Yeah. If we do, though, make sure that I have the warp totem on me. Alright, and then... Do we... Skip until Saturday again? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Even if I get to miss out on this banger. And just make sure that we don't make that same stupid mistake. Alright, it's fine. We made up for what we lost passing out. Don't expect anything from me, I just worked 12 hours. I think 3 hours of streaming is equivalent to 12 hours of, like, doing anything, really. 
So, like, you're talking about, like, oh, I'm exhausted. I just worked 12 hours. Dude, yeah, I just... Okay. I just worked for, like, fucking three hours. Might as well multiply that by, like, four. What the hell? An explosion? Meteor? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Either that or the alien, but I think the alien is different. All right, Saturday. 12 hours ICU does not compare to this? I'd say, I'd say not. We're all gathering for the luau? Yeah, I think that was yesterday. Whoops. All right, where did it land? At least not right in front of my door, and I'm soft locked from doing anything. That'd be quite nasty. Hey, can't you get, like, um, prismatic shards from these things, maybe? I don't know what level pick you need for these. Probably, like, gold if I had to guess. Probably gold. No dig spots anywhere? Did I miss them? Only iridium? No way. What if you got, like, one of those, like, when I did in a normal playthrough? It'd be sitting there for, like, a year before you can get an iridium pickaxe. I think it's gold. Artifact spot south. Ow. Okay, I see it. Oh, like, what you get from it is Iridium. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. I think that makes the most sense. Alright. Well, let's hope for better day today. Fuck, I, it scares me every time. Why did I do that? It's just gonna scare me. Okay, we got another one here. Quit with the lightning. You're not fine. It's, it's scary. The game thinks it's funny to scare me. The game thinks it's funny when I shit my pants. It's not. I gotta go, but have a great stream. Good luck with the challenge. Thanks. It's hilarious. No, it's not funny. I think gold to mine, but iridium ore comes out. Yeah, I think that's right. Also, I got some things to... I didn't... Okay, good. I didn't fucking get rid of that chip damn Fora. Good. I was worried. Shitting your pants is low-key funny, you gotta admit. Yeah, it's hilarious till it happens to you. Alright. Shitting your pants real funny till it happens to one of you. So many shells. Yeah, I mean, they're money, so like I might as well. Disgusting? Yeah, user doo doo kaka. Yeah, that's foul. Why would anyone talk about that? Shitting your pants. You're right. That's gross. It's disgusting. I heard you can park your horse in this stand here, and that counts as a worker. And you can actually buy ice cream when no one's working there, even if, like, the season isn't even in. Hey, Dora Mini, thanks so much for the gift sub to Beand Furious. I can't tell if that's meant to say bland. But, uh, thanks, and furious, enjoy your emotes, and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Try to calm down, though, alright? Don't have, like, an outburst. There's someone with a very shit electric car outside, and I can tell that they're outside, because their quiet car always has, like, the sound of, like, what I can only imagine is, like, an alien abducting, like, a cow in a field. Like, the... Very annoying, I must say. I would rather them have, like, a giant pickup truck at this point. It's almost more grating on the ears than even that. Why do I know that sound immediately? I, I don't know. I guess you've heard a lot of shitty electric cars in your life. Sorry, that's me. I'm in me mum's car. Yeah, if you could, like, knock it off, please, that'd be great. You like stuff it for like a minute It'd be awesome I'll be honest with you I'm not seeing many dig spots there's a surprising lack of them actually agreed electric cars are whack uh, that's not what I said at all you're not agreeing with me on that one What's the point to electric cars again? Oh, don't start a soapbox, please, about electric cars. Please, God, I did not want to invite that. 
don't start like Jeremy Clark seeing me about it. Hey, prehistoric arrowhead. Very good, 36. You, I can always tell when a chat member is going to start a soapbox about something because they interpreted something that I said as me agreeing with their controversial opinion, and they're going to be like, you know, streamer, I'm really glad this, that you said that because now you've provided an environment in which I'm comfortable enough to share this crass opinion of mine. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, you know what, Dag? I agree with you. I actually think every single person in your chat is a total shithead. Rocks. Except me. Yeah, I especially think that that Toaster Incorporated guy... You know, if I ever see that guy in real life, I'm gonna pummel his socks off. A lot of worms are here. Train stop be bussin' bussin'. Alright, but that one's true. Well, no. The, no, see, this is what I'm saying. Don't fucking... No. Fuck hybrid, make your own diesel fuel. I feel like that's illegal. Is that legal? To make your own diesel fuel? I feel like ga big gas will come for your ass. Sheeps were the second animals to be d domesticated after dogs. Um... No, I didn't know that. Who would honestly know that? Just like... Who would honestly just know that? I like when people do that. They're like, Hey, Dag, did you know that really obscure fact that I only myself just learned? No, because who would know that? Just off the top of their head, who knows that stuff? Unless you're like specifically interested in that stuff. Sheep farmers? I look like I live on a farm? I got a YouTube play button, man. They don't even have internet out there. Stop with the fucking drum. I hate it. Why did I put that down there? It scares me. It scares me. I'm gonna, like, choke on my own spit walking past that one day. Got me a gas-guzzling car because I love watching money get burned. If I had a car, any car, any car in the world... I would have probably, like, a hybrid. And I know you guys are going to get so mad at me, you fucking petrol heads. You're going to get really mad at me. I'd either have, like, a full electric car or I'd have, a, or I'd have a, a hybrid. Not like a Honda Prius, no. Or a Toyota Prius, sorry. Petrol heads. You can get mad at me for that one. Um, I'd probably have, like, I don't know. I, I don't know every... Oh, nice. That's new, I think. No, it's not. Rats. Hey, that's new, right? Fuck. Now that is new. Shit! I hate this guy. Whatever, I still got some shit to donate. I don't know. I'd probably have, like, a nice Honda Civic or something. Something that's reliable, good gas mileage, safe. You know, that boring shit that no one likes. Alright, very good. I'd have a RAV4, brother! Hell yeah! I think Clint is a flat earther. Okay, provide your reasoning. I'm not denying it. I'm all for, like, fuck Clint without evidence. Like, I'm all for it. Really. Like, no, I love you. Okay, weird. But you look like you drive a Prius how, or however the hell it's spelled. I don't drive anything. I don't like driving. I like driving stupid. Toss the bear. Get it out of here. I don't want it. Can I put it in here? I can. Alright, that makes me happy at least. I can l litter in his store. His store. I don't drive, I fly. Yeah, I actually got to go to the Wawa. He hops on a Cessna. I ride a bicycle? Yeah, but then even that. Like, dude, I was so excited to, like, have my bike in my new place. 
I'd get rid of it. Get rid of it right now. Get rid of it right now. Move it here or something. Yeah, okay, that's fine. No, I can't even ride it. Like, I can, but, like, the roads around here just do not accommodate for bikers at all. You have, like, this much margin, and I'm not exaggerating when I, like, make that distance with my hands. That much margin between you and the road. It's like, I don't feel safe doing it, so, like, I just kind of, like, don't, you know? So I'm, like, kind of trapped here. <laughs> can't walk, I can't bike, I can Uber, but that costs money. Sucks. Real, uh, real sore about it. Yeah, I could just, like, slash TP, maybe. Like, slash TP 104.560 west. And then, like, 96.017 south. That'd be kind of fun. I'd probably be in, like, the ocean. I'd probably be in, like, the middle of the Indian Ocean or some shit like that. Get an electric scooter? Those things go like 60 kilometers an hour? At what? The respect of my friends and my social group? What social group? <laughs> That's funny. Time that person out for 10 hours. That's really funny. Yeah. Let's see how funny it is in fucking jail. Also, that's not that fast. If you're, like, on the highway, your ass is gonna get passed and honked at. 60 kilometers an hour? That's, like, what? Not even 30 miles an hour. Here's the hydrant. We need a walking stream? No. You know what's gonna happen if I get a walking stream? Is you guys are gonna know, like, my surrounding area. I don't want that. I could, like, you know, it's one thing if you, like, walk down downtown New York City. Because, like, you know, it's, like, a fucking million people there at any given time. It's another thing if you're walking around my little one-horse town. Kind of, like, pretty easy to pinpoint, like, my location and who I am, you know? I don't want that. I'd be caught on the news again. Yeah, exactly. Do you guys see that video I posted in the Discord where, like... I was getting my flu shot, and I just happened to be in the background of a news camera interview going on. I was like, oh man. Luckily, you like can barely make me out, but I'm there. Wait, what? Yeah, I got captured, and the, the fucking news got my ass. They didn't interview me, but I was in the background of someone who was being interviewed for the news. And I was getting my flu shot. I was literally, like, getting my flu shot as the camera was rolling, and I got up. And I said, thanks, Doc. And I left. All in the span of that interview. Where'd you post it? This was, like, a week ago in the Discord. Alrighty. Well, um... I think that's probably where I'll wrap it up for today. Decorative... Oh, I took that off the table. I thought I clicked the dog and I got a decorative bowl for some reason. That's probably where I'll wrap it up for today. Pretty good day. We got, uh, what, 12 things total today? So half the things that I did day one, but, you know, it's only natural that we'll slow down as time goes on here. I think we'll stop the timer at 622... 623 Fuck. 62305. 623.10. Okay, new rule. If I'm within two one-hundredths of a second, then just stop. Alright, you did good. Good enough. But then you redeemed yourself. That's a hell of a redemption in that. Holy fucking shit. Alright, let's go. Here we go. Let's go fucking start the timer. Our number was at 20... Or, sorry, it was at 32. 36, actually, we got to. Today's plan is to, well, let me load in first, all right? There we go. Little bloke farm. I'm a hard shell taco guy. It might be controversial, but I mean, I like both of them. You can't say soft shell. You got to say tortilla, right? It's a tortilla. Anyway, I like hard shell. Even if they're a bastardization to Mexican food and their culture, I like hard shell tacos. They're delicious. Ooh, I got a spot immediately. With fucking mixed seeds. 
I saw an article in your local paper. What, this fucking crazed man don't ca take care of his farm solely trying to complete the museum? More at 11? My throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for a pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. He's dry as a bone. Oh, Pam. I love you. I cherish Pam. I do. Anyway, um, today's plan is to artifact grind until um, Saturday of every week. Because you guys told me yesterday, and I'm going to trust you on this one, that artifacts reset on Sunday. Okay? So that means you wake up, go to sleep. 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 Until Saturday. Go around the entire map, farming whatever artifact spots you can. Get what you get, and if you don't get anything, that's fine. It's a slow going now that we've got our, you know, our foot in the door here. And then donate that, and then do that until winter rolls around. And then, when winter rolls around, I was thinking we could start trying to fish. Because that will have a dual benefit to it. Uh, you can, of course, get treasure chests fishing. Treasure chests fishing. That's fucking hard. And those can have artifacts straight up in them, or other donatable things. Um, it's also a source of money. Remember, we need money. 40000 I think, to get the desert bus running. So, artifact grind, fish, hopefully have enough money by the time the next spring rolls around, which I don't know if we'll get to today, but we'll see, to unlock the desert bus. And then the desert has a lot of artifacts that we can get, notably the golden mass, the golden relic, the palm fossil, and then you can get a shit ton of omnigeodes in the skull caverns. Omnigeodes, of course, giving you a ton of things that you can donate. So that's our plan for right now. I would like to get the desert unlocked today. That would be a goal. Since the summer's going to go by pretty quickly because of the fact that we're just going to be waking up and sleeping a lot of it, um, we might even be able to get to year two today. Try fishing when there's a good luck day. Actually, that's a great point as well. Maybe I should even check intermittently here while I'm going to bed and waking up if I have good luck. And if I have the maximum luck, maybe I'll even go fishing now. That's horrible. That's the worst luck. All right. Good to know. Yeah, desert, it doesn't need big money. It needs, like, okay money. That's also bad luck. Do you think we should fish now, or do you think that we should do as I was trying to do? I don't know. I'm not too sure of this because of the fact that I kind of just made it all up on the spot, but I kind of have a plan going. That's okay luck. We want the best luck only, though. Thanks for the hydrate. Fishing level 10, I know you can get more treasure through that perk, but, I mean, that's a lot of fishing. Okay, that's the best luck. That's a lot of fishing to get there. There's also, a, at fishing level 8, you get um, a bobber. I think it's a fishing level 8 that you get a magnet bobber, which increases your chance of getting treasure chests. So, that would probably be easier, to be honest with you. And then make that... I don't know, maybe, I think that would be a little bit easier. But whatever, let's try a little fishing. What's the best place to go fishing? There's not a place where, like, you're more likely to get treasure than elsewhere, right? I'm also still, of course, checking for artifact spots and stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, also the treasure bobber. If you get the treasure bobber plus the level 10 fishing skill, are you getting, like, a treasure chest every time you reel in a fish? It's probably not that ridiculous, right? You missed some? Where? Where? What did I miss? Miss some grass? I'm not worried about the grass. I'm just doing it because my brain wants me to. Hey, thanks, Margo, for the 20 months. Happy to be here. Hey, happy to have you here. Thanks for the 20 months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. The log underneath it. A, a dig spot or grass? I don't want I'm not worried about grass, even though I keep doing it. Under the log. Well, I have a lot of logs here. Ah, that's that's sneaky. Just clay. Very sneaky. Very beaky. Worms. You love a fresh farm. It is. It's clean. It's not a bad looking farm. It's just very barren. You know? That's it. Hey, there's another one. There's actually two. I see another one up there. Rats. Drat. Confound it. 
Whatever, give some peonies. Or sweet pea, rather. Man, I'm blind, I didn't see that. My ass didn't see the first one, so I'm pretty blind too. I gotta get that foraging perk where it like points them out on screen. The most like useless skill in the game is the is that one, but in this case, it would probably help me out, actually. Yeah, it's just a clean little farm. Alright, we got another one here. Fucking copper. Fucking copper, dude. You know, I don't suppose. I know I'm like 99% sure that this is not how it works. But put, well, let me get that out of your way, madam. You think I'm going to tip my fedora at her? Oh, let me get that sweet pea out of your way, <laughs> m'lady. You think she'd like that? You think she'd like that? I apologize, Dagnum, but this doesn't constitute a museum speedrun. Why is that now? Ooh. I No, I don't think I need that. Yeah, fuck you. Nah, actually, I've decided fuck him. We heard the fedora in your voice? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm a real gentleman, don't you think? Yeah. I agree, actually. Alright, let's go fishing. See what kind of treasure chests we get. Stop trying to fuck Pam. I'm not trying to fuck Pam. But, you know... Never mind. I was straight up, I'm not trying to fuck Pam. What's up, Nikki Poo? How are you doing? Would you recommend Stardew Valley on the Switch or on the PC? Uh, I like everything on the PC more than I like it on other things. But, you know, I'm a bit of a PC gamer. What can I say? God, I forgot how fucking small the fish bar was when you first start. That's brutal, man. Everyone knows Dag has a crush on Emily? Yeah, that's true, actually. I'm not trying to fuck Pam. But... In my files, I always make a shit ton of pale ale because I grow ho hops in the summertime, and then I brew them. Ooh, this one's a little rapscallion. This one's a little rapscallion, dude. I'm gonna miss his ass. God damn it. Jesus. He's... Wow. I didn't think, like, I was that bad at fishing. I mean, I'm not, but, like, the bar is, like, teeny tiny. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, probably PC, but I don't know, that's just me. I mean, the good thing about a Switch is that, like, nobody's worried about what the Switch's specs are, because everyone gets the same specs, you know? That's not the case on PC. You can have a better PC than others, but really, like, anything can run Stardew, so that it doesn't even matter in that case, you know? One bed with Emily, one bed with Pam. Who are you sleeping with? Whichever one has the Bible closer to it. What do you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Made you look real stupid, didn't I? Made you look real stupid. Whichever one's got the damn Bible next to it. Hey, Rainbow Trap. Amen. Great answer. Great answer. Great answer. That's a good answer, Steve. You already know Pam will be showing up to your farm in the summer for that pale ale. I'm right, sweating. It drives a bone. Diagonal Stardew is so cozy. Oh, do you want me to fix that? I can fix that very easily. Pale ale? Yeah, there you go. Pale ale. You know what else starts with P and ends with E? Penile. Alright. It's on the board, Steve! P-nice. Go in the fish ocean, at least. The darker water, the better the fish. That's actually a great point. I was just choosing somewhere that was close to the fucking, um museum in case I got an artifact. But I haven't even seen a single treasure chest. What are you fishing for? I don't know. Wait, aren't you the one that told me this was in a speed run, or is that someone else? Wait, hang on. Now I gotta check. Hang on. I apologize, Dagnall, but this doesn't seem like a museum speed run. I don't know, but my strategy would be to unlock Skull Caverns and buy a lot of bombs from the Dwarf. Then each bomb loads get Omni Geodes trade for artifact troves. 
Well, yeah, that's in the plan, dude. Well, suddenly you're interested now. No, but that's the plan, sort of. That just take. You're saying it like that's something you can just do like that. Well, yeah, that is the plan. I'm gonna do that eventually. Get a bunch of Omni Geodes from the Desert Trader. And also, there's more than artifacts, though. There's a bunch of other things, like things that you have to get from the ground. Well, I guess that's artifacts, but, you know, are you getting enough artifacts to guarantee that you'll get all the artifacts you need from the artifacts trove? What about the minerals and stuff like that? What about the dwarf scrolls? I don't think you can get those from artifact troves. There's a lot that goes into this run. You're simplifying it to an extent that I don't think you're being very genuine. You know what I mean? What's up, Annette? How are you doing? Yeah, and we need money to buy the bus stop in order to do that, too, which is partially why I'm fishing as well. I also, yeah, I just realized that's the first fish I actually reeled in there in about five minutes. I really should move to the ocean, huh? There we go. OMG, Dag really fell off. Why? What'd I do? Oh, yeah, check the beach as well for artifacts. It's all fucking clay. These Captain Crunch oops all clay, dude. What the fuck? Rats. Is this even a real speedrun category? No? Does it have to be? Oh shit, there's a, there's a hot spot over there. There's a hot spot over there. No, does it have to be? Half the shit I do is not even real speedrun categories. That's okay. Because they make for fun challenges that I guess people like to watch. Son of a fucking bitch, it just disappeared. It just feels like a waste of time to be fishing in not the most profitable place, though. If you want high-quality river fish at the most western side of town for deeper water. Right? Yeah, okay. I think, uh, you're thinking about it a little bit too much, man. I think you just got it. like, you're... I'm in a good mood today. I'm in a good... I just leveled up. I can tell because I just reeled out further. I'm in a good mood today, so I'm going to respectfully tell you that I'm not taking this that seriously, and I don't think that you should either. The point of doing these runs is for entertainment more than anything else. I'm not trying to get a competitive time because I don't even know what a competitive time is, because I don't know if anyone's ever tried to do this in one fell swoop as I'm trying to do right now. All right? So I think you just need to relax. I think you need to have a good time here. And if you don't feel like you're having a good time here because I'm not doing things in an optimal manner possible, then I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Or stay. It's up to you. I don't want you to have a bad time. I don't want anyone to have the worst day of their lives or anything like that. All right? I think community center is a more common speedrun, but museum is definitely a category. Well, I didn't see it on the speedrun leaderboard, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Dude, I'm over here talking about how, like... I'm over here talking about, like, how I'm gonna puke in my own pants. And I spend, like, five minutes clarifying what I mean by puking in my own pants. In the speedrun. I'm not taking it too seriously. I'm not taking it too seriously. And I don't think that you should either. Just have fun. There's gonna be consequences if you keep acting a fool. Yeah, you tell him, actually. I might make you a mod for the day just so you can lay down the law. Ow. I don't know why, but I, like, moved my hand in the most, like monotonous way possible, and I feel like I pulled something. Oh shit, here we go. Alright, ignore that for a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so the treasure bobber you get at level 8 fishing, uh, that's gonna take a while to get to, and actually, let's see. Now you get a geode. Okay, so not only do you get artifacts straight up sometimes, you also get geodes, which then of course could lead to more artifacts as well. If this was done in, one, in a real attempt, it has to be done in one sitting. Yeah, that's also true. And, I, I mean, anything's possible. I guess it doesn't have to be in one sitting. Like, you theoretically could, like, go to bed, but keep the timer running. But generally, it's a non-stop thing. If you are doing a speed run for official purposes, you have to do it all in one sitting. Unless segmented is, like, a, you know, a rule that you're allowed to do. Which, I have a hard time seeing how somebody, unless they're very dedicated enough, would be able to do this in one sitting. 
Hi, Diagonal, I'm driving. Well, why don't you put it away until you're at your destination, please? I don't, don't think I need to tell you. I don't really need that or that or these or that. I cannot fathom sitting and playing the same game for that long. I mean, you can probably look up, like, longest speedruns. They're probably... Oh, fuck. They're probably in the range of, like... I, I think I looked up, out of curiosity, I tried to think of, like, a really long game. And I thought Persona 5. And then I looked up, like, Persona 5 100%. And I want to say it was in excess of, like... 30 hours or something like that? I want to say it was in excess of, like, 30 hours. And I'm pretty sure you can't, like, take a break. You have to at least leave the timer running during that entire thing. Now, if you told me to stay awake for 30 hours, I would struggle to do that. Let alone sit there. I got another hot spot. I got another hot spot. I got another hot spot. Don't disappear this time, please. Can I even reach that? Yes. Cool. I don't think these things are going to give you more treasure, but more fish will lead to more treasure. Alright, don't catch the fish, though. Ooh, I love it when you stop. This is very specific. I love it when you stop... Oh, please don't miss it now. Jesus. I love it when you, like, bring the bar back down to the bottom, and you click at the perfect time to where it stops exactly on the bottom without bouncing. That's very satisfying. Alright. Bait? I mean, that's good once I get an updated rod where I can actually use bait. I can't use bait with this rod. The nerve, I just thought of this, like, in my head. The nerve of someone to come in and tell me that they're driving. Which means, I, 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 it's one thing to, like, watch a stream while you're driving. It's another thing to watch the stream and also chat in the fucking thing to say that you're driving. Holy shit, put the fucking thing away. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Jesus Christ. I just thought about that. Wait, can you already buy the next rod? I... I think I can, not right now because it's too late, but I think I can with the amount of money that I have. I may even be able to get the Iridium Rod, but I don't even know if that's available to me right now. And I don't even know if I want to drop, what is it, like 10 grand on an Iridium Rod? That seems like a lot. The fishing mechanic looks the same as one in Cult, in the, Cult of the Lamb. Is there fishing in Cult of the Lamb? I had no idea. I've only ever watched it. Yo, dang, I'm piloting a full commercial airplane, but this is boring, so I'm gonna tune in. You know what's funny is that if you were piloting a commercial airliner, that would be more... You'd be in a... Despite the fact that you're carrying a lot of humans on board in a commercial setting, it's actually safer for a commercial airliner pilot to do that than someone who's driving. Because autopilot does most of the work once you're at cruising altitude... Of course, you need to still pay attention. I'm not saying they should do this, but it's probably safer even than if you were driving a car. It's probably even safer. We need to... Yeah, I kind of did like you there, but, you know, it is true, I think, what I'm saying. I don't know. It's never stopped me from saying it anyway. Sells for 7500 Interesting. Well, I think let's go home. I mean, we got a couple treasure chests and a couple geodes from them, so it's not a complete loss. Hang on, is there anything I should pick up that might be worth something here, like the things? I also didn't get to exploring all the map, but that's okay, because... Well, there's probably nothing anyway, right? There are three pilots in the cockpit... On the cockpit on a large flight normally also. Yeah, like you got the co-pilot and then you got like the backup one for when everyone gets tired, right? Oh wait, I guess I have another day with which to get the artifacts, so I guess no problem, right? I can get the fiberglass rod. <sighs> yeah, I probably will get the fiberglass rod. Budge? What is that? That's an emote. It's an emote. You type in budge and if you have seven or better Twitch TV, you'll see it. Uh, Joji Cole, he can go in there. Driftwood, I should give that to Leah. That's a, that's a liked gift by Leah, right? Not a loved one, but a liked one. She's like, eh, it's alright. 
It smells like fish. All right, cool. What's up, Alexander? All right, I got level one fishing. And it's about 1,700. It's not bad. It's about like what one mining trip got me. Yeah, and also if you don't have better Twitch TV, then just look it on screen. All right, another good fishing day? Nah, it's neutral today. But that's okay, because we still have to look around for artifact spots today as well, because they're going to refresh on Sunday. Rock! Shit! At least I get to hear Summer Crescendo, or whatever this song is called. Boo! An ad! Don't make me tap the sign. I need to actually get, like, a sign that says, Streamer doesn't control ads. We hate them just as much as you hate them, okay? And I need to, like, put that on the screen, and I need to be like... Don't make me tap the sign. Nothing you can- you can't even hear me. What am I bitching about? Oh, I checked the train station, too. There's a couple things. Nice! Prehistoric tibia is something that I need. I was about to say, I think there is a couple things, maybe not exclusively that spawn back here, but you might have the best chances at the train station better than anywhere else. All right, we got a prehistoric tibia. Make it a Yartbot command. I can't do that with Yartbot, sadly. It has limited functionality. That's why I don't really use it that much anymore. Nobody laugh, it'll make me feel left out. Everyone just fucking act like I just told the most hilarious joke possible. Everyone just pretend that I just like... I don't know. What would be something really funny? Oh, God damn it! the person who said nobody laugh is laughing. Well, that's like, you, you were supposed to be the butt of the joke, you're not supposed to be in the joke. Alright, forget it, I didn't do anything funny. Forget it, joke's off, fucking whatever. Fucking go home. Who cares? It doesn't matter anymore. It's it's fucking pointless. What's the point? I thought you were in an ad, dude. You ruined the fun. What the fuck? Damn okay party pooper? I didn't poop no parties, alright? Hello, Dagon Chat. Very excited for Stardew content. Hope y'all are having a good start to your fucking week. Yeah, it's going all right. You don't have to be so aggressive about it, but it's going all right. Just chill out, though. Have a good time. It's okay. You'll get them next time. That's all right. It's my fucking weekend. Excuse you. Oh, it's your weekend. Oh, okay. Well, happy weekend. It's my, like... I don't know. Since I take off Sunday and Wednesday, what would be my mon- My Monday would be my what? It's kind of nice, dude. If you guys have, like, flexible schedules and you can, you know, tell your boss, Hey, I like make your own hours. Dude, take Sundays and Wednesdays off. It's great. It's fantastic. I gotta tell you, it's pretty terrific. That was another juicy spot. But his shit is in the way. Can I even reach that? I can. Alright. I mean, I know it's not going to be, like, the best fish, but who really cares as long as treasure chests show up, right? I'm not really here for the best fish. I said that right next to Willy, and he probably hates me now. Amazon lets me take as many days off as I want during non-peak season? Hang on, did you just speak highly of being employed by Amazon? Is that allowed? Are we allowed to do that? We allowed to do that? Disowned by Willy. Well, his ass is kind of taking up my... Like, he's got a hot spot here, dude. I'm trying to just, like, get it on the action. He's probably not too pleased with me. I talked to him once to get a fishing rod on, like, day three in spring, and I haven't talked to him since. To be honest with you, nobody in this town really likes me. Because I haven't really talked to any of them. But that's okay. Whoa, this guy. Oh, he's jittering. Oh, he's jittering. He's jumping, I'm not gonna get his ass, because he's jittering too much, because I keep overcompensating for this tiny-ass little fucking thing that I got. Which made this sound like my penis. It sounded like I was talking about my penis. 
Uh, by the way, Eagle in your mind, thanks for the gift sub to Foolish Bison. Uh, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. And then Jasmine Tyler, thanks for the uh, new subscription. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. And yeah, it's another one, dude. Oh, no, and he's got a fucking treasure, dude. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss the treasure. Am I even going to be able to get the treasure and the fish? I can probably barely even get one of them. All right, I got the treasure. Hang on. No, focus now. No, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to fucking miss it because it's too jumpy. His ass is too jumpy. Alright, come on, just settle down. I need Willie's help. Get the net, dude. This is too much, man. Oh my god, that's that's a killer. That's a killer. That's a f I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. Holy shit. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my good lord. For fuck. I got two copper. What fish was that? It was a pike. I think that that's that, that's that good, right? It's not even that good. Dag is definitely the type to sit in the cuck chair. Alright. Now I'm over the age of 13. So I don't know what the cuck chair is. Can somebody please explain to me what the cuck chair is? Do I need to time that person out? Do I need to time that- Wait, that was a pike too, and that was a hell of a lot easier than the last one. What the hell is- What is the- Oh my god, this, this guy. What the hell is his problem? Thinks you're fucking fancy or something. Oh my god, no way. No, not a chance. Not a fucking chance. It's not, there's no chance. He's too squirrely. He's too squirrely. It's a chair in a hotel? Oh, okay, wait, I see what you mean. The cuck chair. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with the damn- I- okay, so I know 100% what you mean now when you say the chair in the hotel, right? Because every hotel has a bed, and then like a little armchair, positioned facing the bed usually. And, uh, I suppose you would sit there if you were watching another person engage with your significant other. Okay, I do understand. I do understand the cuck chair now. Why would I sit in the cuck chair? I don't have a significant other, so like, why would it was- I don't... What's the- is that an insult? Is what I'm trying to say. Like, are you insulting me? Why would I be in the cuck chair? Are you fishing, bestie? I'm trying. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting a lot of these rare fish here that are hard to catch. I do see that treasure chest, by the way. I, I need to, like, get his ass up to green before I go for it, though. There we go. No, 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 don't lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. It's gone. It's fucking gone. <sighs> okay. It sounds like an insult to me. Run a poll. Alright, mods, run a poll. Is... Being told that I would sit in the cuck chair, an insult or not? And if it is determined to be an insult, I will time that user out. Alright? If it is determined to not be an insult, then I will not time that user out. How about that? How about that? Enable, enable channel- no, I won't- don't enable channel points on the poll. Don't- you cannot vote with channel points. I don't want some- I don't want the whales getting in on it. Leave the channel point whales out of it. No. Depends on what you're into. Well, it's more just like- yeah, I guess, yeah, what do you think of, like, the- <laughs> Never mind. Ah, oh, he's gone. Is this shop just not open on Sundays? Don't enable channel points. Ah. 
That's just no chance. Not a not a fucking chance. Oh, my spot is opened up. Uh I like when they fake you out as well, make it yeah, look like they're gonna jump, but then they don't. Shitheads. Bruh, it's not an insult. Well you guys you got the poll right there. Go vote. You don't need to tell in chat. Go vote. Do your civic duty. Don't tell me. Dag, it is a compliment. I don't know, man. Looks like your ass is... Your, it looks like now your tone has changed since your ass is in the jackpot, it sounds like. It sounds like your ass is in the jackpot, and now you're like, No, no, it was totally, it's totally not an insult. It's a compliment, even. It was a compliment, dude. No, it sounds like you're backpedaling here now. I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like you're f trying to fight for your life here. I don't know. I don't know, man. Might have to give him the chair. Oh, a lost book. Well, that's great. Um, the cola out of here. What do you? Oh shit! I didn't even pick up the lost book. I was about to say, like, what do you? Does it? You just have to click on it. And it like disappears, like how you always get lost books. How does that work? Also, can I just give a big shout out to this hot spot here? Whatever you call these things. For just, it just keeps pumping out, dude. This thing is John and Kate plus eight, man. It keeps pumping them out. It keeps just fucking, it ke it's the it's the gift that keeps on giving. Hey, a Dorado. Holy shit, that's pretty rare. Don't need four stone. Or two copper ore for that matter. Bubble spot. Yeah, there you go. Is that the official word? I've always called them hot spots, but I don't know what the actual term for it is, as if there is any. People thought the artifact spots were worms, and I still do. So, like, a lot of misconceptions. John and Kate plus eight made me laugh IRL. Are they up to, like, 11 now? In case you don't know what John and Kate plus eight is, it was this TLC reality show about John and Kate, this couple who had eight kids, and it basically, it's, it's the, it's the pre-YouTube era, like, family channel shit, where they would just, like, document their lives, and it was the most uninteresting thing ever. But, of course, they had to make it dramatic by being, like, one of the kids has a soccer game, but we don't have any more bologna for bologna sandwiches. You know, just like the most mundane shit of all time. And it was like on TLC. This is way back in the day. Yes, one. All right, mods, you know what to do. Time that person out for one hour. For one hour. How many seconds is that? The chat, the grand jury has decided that that was an insult. You have insulted me, and you must you must be timed out for one hour. 600 seconds? All right, whatever. That's good enough. They'll, they'll, that was a very valuable 10 minutes there. I hope they learn a lot. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is not going horrible. I already got the chest. Just don't do any more big jumps. Yeah, kind of like that, actually. Holy fucking shit, my phone's buzzing. My fucking fish is flopping. Got it. Easy. Hey, another Dorado. Man, I caught the first one of those so easily. Two Aquamarine, I actually don't need that, but two Frozen Geodes I will absolutely take. I, I don't need these berries, let's be honest with ourselves. They're, they're just... Oh, they'd be good to sell. Holy shit, I'm low on energy. They'll come back to a 50-minute ban? The cuck chair. Oh my god, what's the cuck chair? That's so ridiculous. What a ridiculous name for that as well. Like, somebody had to come up with that. It's such a ridiculous word for that. It was always just like, admittedly, the armchair that you get in a hotel room is like... Oh, I'm out of energy. It is like... Oh wow, it doesn't let you fish once you're out of energy instead of exhausting you like I feel like it did before. Also, it's 5 o'clock, so it's too late for clunts, but whatever. We still made good progress today. Or at the very least, some good money. What a ridiculous thing to call that. It was always, it always has been, admittedly, a very useless thing. That chair. 
Like, who uses that? And now I guess I got my answer. Cuckolds. I guess I got my answer. It's a whole Zorn Hub category. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, figures. Alright. Put all the fish in here. Put Aquamarine in there. Put Chub in there. Put that in there. Put the Dorado in there. Not the prehistoric tibia. I'll keep the bait for when I get a better fishing rod. And, um, is there more places I could explore? Like, the, can I go back to the quarry, maybe? It still says question marks, even though I've been there. Um, more places to explore, I guess. Yeah, let's go get to the quarry again. I, I should still have those chairs in play. Or, no, I think I have to grab my chair again. Or, no, I think since I died in that area, my chair is completely gone. Oh, my, my chair! That I did not just almost call the cuck chair, because I just thought about the cuck chair again. And go fuck yourself if you thought that I was going to do that. This is a normal chair that you sit for, like, normal purposes, alright? Is nothing weird about this particular chair. It's a normal chair, really. I bet Demetrius loves the cuck chair. I don't know, I just get, like, that vibe from him. Anyone else? I wonder if you sell those chairs at the cop store. Oh, the old cop store. I love the cop store. Alright, everyone get your mind out of the gutters. Let's turn this into a wholesome stream, alright? Everyone else who's streaming Stardew is probably, like, decorating their house. Or, like... Trying to woo their, their in-game significant other. Or, like, doing cutesy shit. Trying to build, like, cute shit, okay? We gotta be more like them. Alright, we can't be the bad boy of Stardew. We gotta be more cute and kawaii than that. Get out of the chair, please. And it's just normal chair, by the way. Pierre is canonically a cuck. Yeah, that's true, actually. No, you're on to something. You truly are. You really, you really are. You really are. And that's 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 incredible. You you truly are on to something. Also, I don't- I think we established that there's not really a way to get out of here once, uh... Well, they do have the warp totem. There's not really a way to get out of here once you're in here, so... That's kind of a problem. But there is a dig spot, and if it gives me something, then that's worth it. <gasps> it didn't. But, I mean, I do kind of want to get the lost books done anyway, so... Just so nobody's like, Well, oh, what about the lost books? So, whatever. I guess there's value to that. Alright. There's nothing here. We don't need topaz, although I guess it would be good for selling, even though I don't think it's worth that much. And we're good, right? I don't have my warp totem on me. So... I think we just pass out from exhaustion? Even though it's a good bit of money if I do that? I don't know. Wait a minute. I tried something. Remember I was trying something... Where we tried clipping out of bounds by, like, doing this. Let's see if, let's see, let's see if this works, yeah. Just haul at? No, you, like, I can't leave is the thing. Because I clipped in here, but you can't clip out of here. At least not unless this strategy works here. I don't know. I don't know how far you have to go before you can move around. Is kind of the problem. Finally get to chill with you guys on my lunch. It's been so fucking hectic at work today. I'm sorry it's been hectic at work today. Kill skulls, as can drop prehistoric skunk and hand. Well, I already got the prehistoric skull. And the prehistoric hand can be gathered through other measures. If, theoretically, the prehistoric hand is, like, the only thing that I have left, then I'll keep that in mind. But for right now, I don't think I'm moving forward anymore. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. I think they patched that. Thanks for the hydrate. By the way, Adnapak, thanks for the nine months three minutes ago, or something like that. I don't know, it may have been longer than that. 
Golly gee, nine months of being able to financially support my favorite streamer. Thanks for the entertainment. Oh, you're very welcome. Thanks for the money. And I guess enjoy your emotes and ad free viewing as well. Alright, kill me. I want to die of exhaustion. Listening to this while trying to get max hearts with Harvey. That is someone that I don't think I've ever had more than, like, two hearts with. And that's the two hearts that you get for completing the community center. You know, the obligatory two hearts. Fucking... There we go. Because, I don't know. I, I know he likes wine and coffee, I think. Oh, wow. Two fishing levels. He likes wine and coffee, right? 2300's not bad. But, like, I never see him because he's always in the frickin' doctor. How much did I pay for that, I wonder? I made 2,000, and I lost 1,000? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess it's a net positive. Um, Sweet pea, topaz, and then crack those geodes. I'll put the fucking unnamed chair back in here. And I'll keep this warp totem in case I find myself in a similar situation. What did I just take out? My scythe. I'll keep that on me. Alright, so it's Sunday now, and all the artifact spots have reset, if there were any remaining. I don't know if there were, but I think now we... Well, let's... Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's hang out. Let's go get our geodes cracked. No point in sitting on them. I don't like Harvey. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of old Harvey either, personally. I don't know, he's just... I forget about him, is all, really. Wouldn't it make sense to leave the warp totem with the chair? What do you mean, with the chair, though? I don't know. Like, maybe I'll want to use the warp totem even if I don't get stuck, you know? It might be something I want to do anyway. Oh, no! I hate when you get the magnet because you fucking pick up all the trash every time you dig through the trash. I don't want the trash half the time. Alright, so I guess I'll just fish until, um... Clunt opens up, right? Juniper, thanks for the three months. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, no. In all my files, I've always married Abigail, and I will do it again. I mean, I'm kind of with you, man. I don't really explore all the different, uh, like, bachelor, bachelorette cutscenes. I kind of just stick to Emily. I've I've done Emily, Leah, Penny, and that's it. Like, I think those are the only three. I want to do Krobus, but those are the only three that I've actually done as far as marriage candidates. Thanks, Ideal Pal. Gamer Girl stays winning. Yeah. I assume you're talking about Abigail. Yeah. I'm on my horror save where I date everyone. I do one day. I kind of want to get that cutscene. I kind of want to get that cutscene where they all confront you in the bar. I kind of do want to get that sometime. That's like a... If I'm truly done with this game, I will do that. Just as one last hoorah. Stop squirming. His ass is so squirmy. Figures. Are pikes worth anything? Because, dude, I got 2,000 for, like, all those fish yesterday. It can't be worth that fucking much. And yet it's, like, squirming ass. Come on. Is it Dorado? No, it's another stupid pike. I can't decide who to marry for my current playthrough, and I'm already nearly on year two. Well, in year two, day one, you get the best marriage candidate in the game. Oh, Kent. I'm just kidding, I fucking hate Kent, and you can't marry him. I'm actually kind of mad that you can't marry Jody, his wife. Because I don't think people be talking about Jody enough. Personally. Dorados can't be caught in town. Well, shucks. You know, but you're my little encyclopedia, this game. You're my little encyclopedia. Can I call you that? Man, you're just telling me all the fucking shit that I don't want to know today. Okay, homewrecker. I'm not, like... 
I'm not really wreck. Well, like, what if you just do it until Kent comes back? What if you just do it until Kent comes back and then you say peace out, all right? I kept her company while you were gone. That's not that bad, right? That's not that bad. I want to marry Sandy. Can't you date Sandy? Am I crazy? I've seen so many screenshots of the player dating Sandy, but I guess it's a mod because I don't think you can do that. Oh shit, Clint's has been open for like a minute now. It's a mod. Yeah, it must be. I guess a lot of people must like Sandy. That's new. Definitely don't recognize it. Yeah, there we go. And I think is that new? That is also new. All right. Well, that's just fantastic news. That is not new, but that's still pretty good. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, she's hot. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I'm not saying you're wrong. You know, I would even say maybe you have good taste. Sandy is the shopkeeper in the desert. Yeah, she's the lady who, like, her, her like, side profile is always like this. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't ever, it's kind of like Elliot, where she always have to face her at, like, a 45 degree angle. The angled profile. So I guess, like, she's 50% hot, because you only see 50% of her face. Oh, I didn't donate the bone. Whoops. All right, chill out, relax, relax, calm down. All right, so we got fiberglass rod that can take bait. So yeah, that's probably worth it. And then you can just buy all your fish straight up. And then I'll slap that on there and then I'll fucking dunk that shit. Yeah, I'll donate this prehistoric tibia and then we'll go back to what we were doing. I think we'll save a lot of the fishing for winter time. I think it's the smart idea because winter time is not good for artifacting. Winter time is not good for artifacting. She works, like, every single day of the year except her birthday where she hangs out with Emily. Wait, does she come to town or does Emily go to the desert? I don't think I've ever seen her in town. I think Emily must go to the desert, right? There you go. Yeah, Emily goes to her. That makes more sense. Because that was what I say. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen Sandy in town, but I faintly remember how Emily can like be in the desert. I don't know. I've never seen it one time. I don't know. It's a whole cutscene too. Oh wowie! Maybe that's new because I don't think I've ever seen a cutscene. Hey, what's up, Big Harv? I think I'm allergic to this. Well, all things considered, that's not that negative of a reaction, you know. He politely told me that he's allergic to that. You know, Shane to tell you to fucking end your own life. Harvey, he's just like, oh, no, I, not for me personally. I'm allergic. You know, I gotta give him credits. I was fully expecting, like, a get the fuck out of my face, you absolute shithead. Harvey, my beloved. He's fine, I guess. Shane is so baby girl. Let me guess, you can fix him, right? I can fix him. Harvey is not fine, y'all. You talking about like fine, like damn girl, you finer than a bowl of oatmeal. Or are you talking about like like he's just I right. like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You already fixed him? No, you didn't. He never gets fixed. His ass is not fixable. All the spanners in the world cannot fix his ass. Hmm. -mm. I like Elliot. Okay. Theater kid, probably. Clay. Clay. I know a guy called Clay. He sounded exactly like how you'd expect a Clay to sound. Elliot is so gender. Yeah, I don't want to admit this. Um... But, uh, I definitely, like, flirted with Elliot in, like, the first time I played this game because I thought his ass was a girl. I don't know, I just didn't, like, pay attention enough, I guess, and I obviously didn't do my research. I thought his ass was a girl, and so I was, like, trying to flirt with him. And I realized it's Elliot, and he's kind of like a shithead, and I'm like, eh. 
You know who can be fixed? Haley. I love her. I don't remember... I remember looking up a long time ago, like, all the cutscenes for all the characters, so I've never, definitely never romanced Haley. You'd never accuse me of such. But isn't there, like, a cutscene where her ass gets, like, tossed off of, like, a horse or something like that? And she's, like, rolling around in the mud? And she's like, ah, it's fun! I like it! Something like that? A cow? It's a cow. Oh, my apologies. Okay. Haley is a dime piece, brother. Are you talking... No. Yeah, you break into Marnie's pen. Well, that's kind of naughty, isn't it? It's kind of... Shouldn't really do that, right? All the lesbians love Haley? Is that right? Let me know if, uh, by the way, if I skip a worm... You are, if there's one thing you're allowed to yell at me about this stream is when I miss a worm. Alright. You can say that I missed a worm. Even though I'm Mr. Dagnall, technically. I'm a lesbian for Haley. Like, she's the exception. Lesbian here. She's my second favorite. Leah is my absolute favorite. Oh, okay. Well, we have, like, official confirmation, then. None of this, like, secondhand, like, oh, my lesbian friend's lesbian friend told me that. They all love Haley. Yeah, fucking first-hand, dude. Leah was my lesbian awakening. I wonder how many people, like, had their sexual awakening from Stardew Valley. Like, how many people were like, oh, gee whiz. That Haley lady. I don't know. I ain't seen shit. My name is Hey Lee. You can confirm lesbians do not love me. Okay, whenever I see someone's, and the, you know, you don't make your name, right? It's not, it's not your fault. But whenever I see someone's name as blank Lee, but the Lee is L E I G H, I do always enunciate the Lee way more than I should because that is. By principle, a much different name than Haley. You are Hey Lee. H A L E Y is Haley. You are Hey Lee. I don't know why. That's a bad habit I should probably get out of, right? I should probably stop doing that before I make like a K Lee really mad or something like that. My mom didn't know how to spell? Give me a break. Well, it's not my fault. My fucking name's Gertrude. It's not my fault. I got a fucking Gertrude made fun of my whole life. No, you, you can't, you don't deal with it. Or, well, you do deal with it, but you don't control it. It's not your fault. I asked is Gertrude. I heard it all. Oh, Gertrude Tertrude. Really hurt my feelers. Gertrude? Yeah, dude, Gertrude. All right, have at it, dude. Go for it. Have at it. Does anyone have anything to say about the name Gertrude? Just just change your name. It's not that simple, man. I'm named after a car? Shelby. Just my guess. Yeah, real funny, guys. Yeah, you're all hilarious. You know that? Gert Gertrude is a granny name. Okay, no, I've heard that one before. You be way more creative than that, dude, okay? Because I've heard that one 1,000 times in my life, okay? Yeah, it's a girl's name. Yeah, I've heard that one before, too. You guys gotta get more original. Ooh, Palm Fossil. Nice. 40. Almost halfway. Palm Fossils, I was actually saving for the desert because that's the most likely place to get them, but I'll definitely take it here. Yeah, fucking... Er, you ever hear Gertie? Yeah, I've heard Gertie before. You have a beautiful name, Gertrude. See, I can't even take it seriously anymore. I, I just interpret it all as an insult, man. I was being serious? Oh, okay, alright. No, I don't go by Gertie. Nobody calls me Gertie. T typically, I go by Dagnall. But that's, you know... Uh, like, whatever. My, my last name is not Gretchen, alright? 
is not Gretchen. It's something even worse. But that's also something that... Well, I can't reveal that, first of all. And second of all, I you're not entitled to know what my last name is, alright? It's, it's not good. My, honestly, my whole ass, like... You want to know... You guys want to know my initials? Do you guys want to know my initials? G A Y. I wish I was kidding. Oh, a deluxe fishing pole. Nice. My knee keeps happening. Oh, right. He wants peppers, right? I'm not kidding. My initials are G A Y. Bullshit? It's not bullshit, dude. It's just fact. I don't know what to tell you. It's just the way it is. Alright. And now we go to the next Saturday. It's gonna be fall. It's gonna be fall. Hey, I got 2100. Gertrude Alejandro was my middle name? No, my middle name is not Alejandro. I feel like that has a certain amount of non-whiteness to it that I definitely don't fit in. I thought you were Dagnal Streamer who lived in PA. Well, that's my, like, online name. It's, like, my online persona. Gerald Albert Yardsale. It's not Gilbert, alright? I already talked about it. It's Gertrude. Alright. Saturday. Oh no, the farm's a mess now, because every sea- I hate that it does this, dude. This is so fucking annoying. A rare and beautiful event. Well, I missed it. Uh, cows, uh, amaranth. Yeah, I'm not doing that. There's one for a cave carrot, which I think I've already done. Or I've already accepted, at least. I hate how we just litter shit around your farm in the first of the season. So fucking annoying. Wait, is it bullshit? Is your name Daniel? If you thought... Why would I reveal my first name as Gertrude if my first name was something so milquetoast as Daniel? That's like a very common name, wouldn't you think, that I wouldn't really make a big deal about it? I'm not making a big deal about my name being Daniel. I'm making a big deal about my name being Gertrude, because that's a weird fucking name. Daniel's like very, like, run-of-the-mill, normal. Gertrude is weird. I don't know, I wouldn't make a big deal about my name being Daniel. I haven't gotten a single, like, good artifact outside of that palm fossil, like, this entire day. Real life day. This would be great, actually. Wait, no, this isn't the first to fall, it's the sixth to fall. I was like, this is the first to fall and you got a rainy day? I feel like you can't get rainy days on the first of a month. Because that would be way too convenient. And I never remember that happening to me. I feel like this explains a lot. What does it explain exactly? Such a pole heavy stream? What's the pole? What's the pole say? It better be something good. His poles cost me five cents per pole to make. That's why I'm very selective about making them. Happy birthday. It took somebody one hour. This is ridiculous. It took somebody one hour and ten minutes to wish me a happy birthday on my birthday. I didn't want to say anything because I wanted to see how long it took you guys. And it took you guys an hour and ten minutes. Over an hour. I can't believe you guys. I'm very disappointed in all of you. Real ones never forget. Is it your birthday? I wouldn't really be making a fuss about it if it wasn't, right? Hey, I've already got that. Wait, Rusty's... Yeah, okay. 
I was like, is that the rusty cog? Which I think I might have also gotten. I don't remember. Yeah, September 11th. Yep. Yeah, it was real shitty uh, now that my birthday is associated with um, that whole you know, that tragedy. Really reminds you of that tragedy every time you hear my birthday now. Kind of sucks, right? Because every time I say someone my birthday and they're like, oh, that's that day. And I'm like, yeah. You know what I love doing? Like, genuine no bullshit? Is I love seeing... I love on the 9th of November, I love going on to Twitter and searching, like, 9-11 terms. And watching all these Europeans being like, oh my god, 9-11, never forget. Because they all think it happened on what would be to America, 11-9. But because of their date system, they think it happened on November. I love seeing that. You should do it. Next November 9th, put a reminder on your phone to do that. I promise you we don't. I have years of anecdotal proof of doing this every year that it comes around that you guys absolutely do do that. Alright? No, we don't. It's like you guys don't even listen to me. You may not do that, because you might know better, but this is very real, something that does happen every year, and I would highly encourage you to go do it, because it is always a good laugh. Always a good laugh. Alright. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you thought your ass was typing the comment already. Don't sell that! Chill out. Relax. I got a plum. Juicy. Eat it up. Americans using every opportunity to make fun of Europeans it usually goes the other way around. Real talk, 11-9 doesn't have the same ring as 9-11? No, it really doesn't, does it? It's kind of a mouthful, right? Really, they should have done it on, like, January 1st. Have it be 1-1. One, one. It'd be so much easier. Imagine how many breaths you'd save over the course of your life. I got a Nutella bar. I got a Nutty Buddy. You guys ever have a Nutty Buddy? Okay, if you... Uh, yeah, I'll put the question out there. I don't need to clarify. You ever have a nutty buddy? Please. Rat. What the fuck is that? It's... I don't want to explain it to you because I promise you, whatever it is, is not nearly as interesting as what you think a nutty buddy is. Alright? Treasure trove. Wait, how many is that? What's treasure trove? Collections, achievements, treasure trove. 40 different items to the museum. Hey, and there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Just a crazy friend? Like a nutty buddy. A buddy who's very nutty. Is no nutty buddy. Peanut butter and marshmallow? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you're saying buddy. B-U-D-D-Y? What the hell do you think I was saying? B-U-T-T-Y? What the hell could you possibly think a nutty buddy could be? Is it just nutty buddy or nutty buddy? It's with D's, dude. Like a buddy that you go nutty with. No, okay, here's the real answer. It's a little chocolate bar, okay? And it's called a Nutty Buddy. It's kind of good. It's got a little, like, chocolate peanut butter in there. Like a wafer filling. It's pretty good. I like, I like Nutty Buddies. A Buddy is a sandwich in the UK, so it could be a peanut sandwich. No, not really. I prefer oatmeal cream pies from Little Debbie. Now that, 
That might even be worse than Nutty Buddy out of context. That might even be worse than old Nutty Buddy. Old Debbie. Have you ever had a nougat? Yes, of course I've had a nougat. You know what's the worst? Oh shit, you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been checking my fucking mushroom cave. My ass has not been checking my mushroom cave. There's a lot of money that I haven't been getting. You know what's the worst? Like, cookie. Or biscuit, if you're in the UK. A Fig Newton. That is the worst shit of all time, is a Fig Newton. There is literally nothing worse than a Fig Newton. Hard agree. They are not good. Oh, a train is passing through. What could a tra is Can a train give me anything interesting? Shit, I might have to go catch that. Let's go see. I also haven't checked the train station, so it's a good opportunity to do so. Run? No, they drop stuff, and it stays there all day, so you don't have to be there to get the stuff off the train. And I also can't run any faster than I'm doing right now, so... What's up, Space Princess? How you doing? Anyone who likes them is getting permabanned. What, you talking about Fig Newtons? They are pretty bad. I think it should still be here, right? Yeah, there you go. What can these guys give me? I know certain kind of trains can give you certain kinds of items, but, um... This one, it's not really giving you anything. Oh wait, it just threw something out. What is that? Oh, gold? Oh, shit. I mean, I don't really need it, but like... You know, that's cool, I guess. Oh, and I think it threw out one piece of wood as well. Oh, but my inventory is full. Hmm. And vandalize the train? Not worth the 20 minutes spent running up here. You're right. I think I need to reset the entire speed run now. I think you're right. Big Newtons suck ass. Yeah, that's actually so true. You're right. That's actually really true. I'm just glad you said it, you know? I'm glad that you said it. Delete the game, start over. Oh, wait, it gave me some coal. Hey. It's not bad. I mean, you know, if this is a normal playthrough, I'd be quite happy to see 14 coal. That's not bad. I think that train redeemed itself, to be honest with you. I really do think it did. What's up, little Linus? This is not a safe space. What? What'd I do? Did you know figs have dead wasps in them? Oh, that. Yeah, that... It's not... It isn't really a safe space, is it? It's kind of gross. Wish you could marry Linus? Yeah. Me too. Big Newton slander is why. Big slander. Well, I'm sorry. But when they make a better cookie, then call me. Alright. I've had Jaffa cakes before. You, the British should be very... Pl proud of me. I've had Jaffa cakes before. Can I be honest with you? Um, they had like this orange jelly filling and um, not good. Not that good. I had one and while I didn't regret eating it, I was also like, hmm, that was really underwhelming. I've heard so many good things about Jaffa cakes before that when I had one, I was really excited for them and then I had one and then they were like, not that good. To you? Well, yeah, I'm the one streaming, okay? I'm the main character, motherfucker. My opinion is the one that matters. Your ass is listening to my stream, DAG Radio, alright?
You'd love Gary from Bully. Wait a minute, I've played Bully before. Who's Gary? As mean as Dag is on stream, I just know he's a teddy bear in real life. Now, how can you assume that? From what have I ever indicated that I'm your little scrunkly guy? Oh, I had a frozen geode. Now, how? What have I ever done to show to 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 make you think that? What? Don't laugh at it. Answer me. What? You think I'm not like a real like? Uh... Why does this fucking shit keep spawning down here? No, I mean, I'm a real, like, brute, really. Actually, you know, you, the camera really doesn't show it. I'm actually, like, a big, tall, muscular guy. I'm pushing, like, 6'6 six, six on a good day, man. I don't know. I don't think I can be, like, a teddy bear, you know? I don't think I could be, like, a teddy bear. The camera's really, like, misleading. Ew, Clint is at my door. I'm gonna cry, like, in real life. He's 6'5", 230, and it's all muscle, baby. Yeah, that's actually kind of true. Thanks for the hydrate. Yeah. Just looking at him, I'd say that you're at least 7'9". I mean, I don't know, man. I'm still growing every day. Maybe I'll be there a few years. You never know. I ain't got no shit. I ain't got no fucking dig spots, man. 5-6 with a sassy walk. What? What do you mean, sassy walk? Oh, hang on. I can go fishing. This is the most awkward spot I've ever seen for one of these spots here, but whatever. Can this even give you fish? I don't think this thing can even give you fish up here. You know what they mean? No, I don't know what they mean. Do you cl care to clarify for me? Booty poppin'. Oh, I got a sea cucumber. What, the barnacles? I have to focus, alright? Everyone shut the fuck up. Alright, you can talk now. The anchovy sardine. You tell me I got that badonkadonk? Well, how do you know? Alright, nothing should be this hard. Nothing in this part of the river should be this hard. Come on now. Thank you. Tilapia. Finally catching a Dagnal stream. <laughs> Why'd you laugh like that? Well, you can't laugh like... <laughs> Dude, you got some, like, evil shit going on, man. You don't laugh like that. And not have some, like, evil shit that you're about to do. What are you about to do? I can't laugh like a little guy, just a little dude. No, man, like, something's going on, man, if you're laughing like that. You're like, something silly's going on. Alright? Your ass is about to, like... I don't know. You're about to do something strange. If you're like... <laughs> no, nobody who's ever done that is not about... Is not up to some shit. But, I mean, you know, welcome all the same. I hope you have a good time. His ass be juggling when he walks for sure. Well, how do you know that? you never seen me walk. None of you have ever seen me, which really makes me quite happy. That none of you have ever laid eyes on me in real life. Like, not through a camera. That makes me really happy. I can't tell you how many days I wake up thankful for the fact that none of you guys have seen me. That'll change one day. One of you rapscallions will be walking around and you'll just see me. It kind of scares me. One of you little dust devils are gonna get my ass. Alright, I got treasure chest. Alright. Beautiful.
What the hell is that? An albacore? Oh, and Gus wants one of those at some point, right? Um, not that I care, like, at all. Because I don't have a crush on him or anything. Like, fucking shut the fuck up, weirdo. Alright. <laughs> no, I don't like Gus. I mean, he's, like, cool. Like, I like it, like, as a friend. Like, as a friend, guys. What are you ooing about, dude? What are you saying, ooh? What do you mean? Coal. Uh-huh. If I'm honest, all right, that's always a good start to a comment, is when someone says, yeah, if I can be honest, this is always a great start to a comment in a Twitch chat. All right, let's see here. This is the strangest Stardew run I've ever seen. I can't look away. Oh, that's not that bad. Oh, shit, my fishing skill leveled up. And I accidentally hit it when I really didn't mean to. You know how you can always tell the direction? Well, not always, but sometimes you can tell the direction of a comment before... Yeah, there's another one. No offense, but... I'm not a racist, but... If you want my opinion, you can always tell where a sentence is headed, sometimes, from just the very first word that's spoken. Not to be rude, but... Sometimes you can just tell. Full of fence dag, but this is definitely a stream. Yeah, what if you, like, started sentences with, like, I'm not racist, but... And then you said, like, the most banal minutia. What if you said, what if you, like, started doing this thing where you were like, I'm not a racist, but... What do you guys think of the fish and chips at this place? What if you started doing that? I'm not a racist, but do I assume most people with southern accents- But I do assume most people with southern accents are? There you go, turn in the tides. And someone starts their sentence with, The thing is, you know that they're about to lie? I feel like it's a big British thing to start a sentence with, The thing is... Wait, I do that. But I don't lie. I think I do that, though, actually. Yeah, but I'm not lying, though. I'm not a racist, but man, I can't get enough of this sandwich. You guys remember that vine where there was this girl and she was like, Not to be racist, but does anyone else think Asian people do that? And then she like... I can't remember what the noise is that she made. But I'm pretty sure it sounded like... She explodes. Yeah. You gotta look it up, dude. She coughs up like a ball of hair. Or at least that's what it sounds like. She throws up a lung, dude. Yeah, like a dinosaur screech or some shit like that. It's... Oh my god, I think about it sometimes. Hang on, I gotta listen to it now. Hang on. I gotta listen to it now. It just got posted in the chat. I gotta listen to it again. It's so funny. She literally honks, dude. It's hilarious. Oh my god. Hang on. Not to be racist or anything, but Asian people. <laughs> I don't know why that noise is just so fucking good. Oh my god. Shit. It's like a really harsh wheeze. That's like. That's how you cough when you're, like, in the middle of, like, the worst flu of your life. That's, like, that's that I got no more phlegm to cough up, but my ass still needs to cough, dude. That's that nasty shit, dude. You're, you're, you're dying if you're coughing like that. If you're making noises like that, you're probably dead. Tuberculosis ass wheeze. Yeah, that's right. 
God damn it, man. I can't get nothing good from these treasure chests. Man, whatever fool told me to do this is really foolish. Sounds like me with a trick-ass cold. Yeah. Coughing that way because I'm recovering from COVID. Yeah, it's like the only reason you should sound like that. But she wasn't coughing, she was laughing. You know, it's vindicating as well because she was totally about to say something racist. And she now has... Oh, I used my last piece. That's fine, because you can still get them pretty fast. It's vindicating because... Oh, well, there it goes. She was about to say something racist. And her punishment is being made fun of on the internet to probably what is millions and millions of people now. Which, you know, I don't know if that's a fair punishment for that, but... I don't know. If somebody said... If it was just, like, some guy going, like... Like, I don't know, maybe he was, like, doing a lecture at school or something. It was, like, a teacher, and they did that, and their ass was on the internet like that. I'd feel much worse for them than I do for that lady. You know what I mean? God gave her a second to choose her words. Yeah, I think that's exactly what happened. I think you're right. Why the hell do I have all these in my mail now? Have I always had those? Am I dying? I wonder how she's doing now. I hope she's doing better. Alright. Well, I got geodes and the thing isn't closed yet, so fuck it. Let's do it. No, I don't think it was her who posted it, because it's clearly filmed for the perspective of one of her friends that's at the table with her. So it could have been one of them that posted it. Without the expectation that it would blow up to the extent that it did. So I don't know. Can you change your hat, maybe? If you even care? Is it a big deal? It's a squire's helmet. I like it. I like my squire's helmet. Hats don't come around. You know, they're not, they're not coming around that often. I'm, if, I can, if I keep looking through these trash cans, you best, you best believe your bottom butt cheek that if I get a trash laid out of that, I'm going to put that on my head. But nothing's coming. It won't come out. It's a big deal. Change it right now. Oh, shit. He's going to close. God damn it. Oh, yeah. He's going to close. Oh, go. F oh, my God. I can't believe it. Wait, he didn't. It's four and he's not closed. Wait, did someone lie to me. Someone said he closes at four. Hmm. Well, I didn't get fucking shit anyway, except for that. But I've already donated that. I hate you, clunt. I hate him. Yeah, it's not a ponytail. It's a... It's it's like a feather coming out of the squire's cap. Alright. Clearly much different. I don't want a rare crow. Wait, I don't have anything to donate? Oh, I guess I don't. Oh, shit. He does? You just barely made it? Wow. I guess if you're in the store past the hour... Then he'll still service you, I guess. Interesting. Because I thought that even if I did make it into the store at 4, he's going to start walking away from the counter at 4. And I'm not going to be able to, like, crack some geodes. But I guess he does. Wow, what exemplary service from Clunt. It's almost... He's almost redeemed himself from the millions of other things that I don't like about him. Service you, huh? Yeah, like, you know, crack my things. Open. Really split my bananas, you know what I mean? Get out of here. I hate clay. I hate clay. I hate clay. I hate clay. Alright. Level four fishing. Got a recycling machine. Oh, it's another 2,500 to me. Rich. Crack my things, thing my cracks. <laughs> kind of gross. Uh, right, sleep until Saturday. Never played this game. Does he get upset if you marry his wife? Yes, he does. That's part of the reason why I hate him, is because his uh, wife, as you put it, in reality, is only his wife in his imagination, is Emily. And I all, I, Emily's, that's, that's my gal, dude. 
That's my maiden. So I kind of like extra hate Clint because of that. Have you ever played? Yeah, he gets like real mad in one cutscene where he's like, oh, congratulations, Dagnall. Like it's a competition when you are seen, uh, you don't even like kiss her or nothing. You're just like talking. Somebody help me jog my memory on this. Like, I think it's the Emily, like six heart cut scene or eight heart cut scene where you like talk with Emily alone in Lewis's house and he walks in and he's like, oh, congratulations, Dagnall. As if like I'm doing anything. Yeah, she's my dookie pookie bookie bear. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually right. Yeah, he walks in and you're just like chatting. And he's like, oh, fucking congratulations. I'm not even like kissing her. I'm not doing nothing. You talked. You had the audacity to talk to his waifu. I know. How dare I? I'm not doing the fair. Fuck the fair. I don't want a fucking stupid Spirit's Eve festival. Fuck the Spirit's Eve festival. I got a hoe. Quit yelling at me. Oh my god. I, this thing will never stop screaming at me. Pam is thirsty. Well, a little late for pale ale now. I don't want to cancel the quests, though. Yeah, woe is you, clunt. The drama in this game? I want to get it now? Oh, please get this game. It's got drama. It's got fish. It's got farming. How many more do you need? That's all you need. I had a guy like Clunt ask me out when I was in middle school and I said no. How devastating. But also he deserved it. Maybe. I don't know. He's got hats, dude. Yeah, he's got a hat mouse. Are all the characters you can marry, like, young adults? Clint looks like he's in his 40s. No, I don't know if their ages are ever confirmed, but, um... Oh, trilobite. Very good. And a lost book. No, I don't think their ages are ever confirmed, but, like... There's implications in the game that Shane, Harvey are older bachelors. Um... And then... You, I mean, just by, like, how they talk, how they dress, the looks of them, you can probably get an idea of the age of most of them. But, no, it's never confirmed. I think Emily might actually even be one of the older ones. Because she's not as, like, young and... I don't know, like, maybe bubbly, I'd say, as, like, Haley, for example. And Haley hangs out with Alex... And then Alex is kind of, like, the same age as Sebastian and Sam, who are both pretty young... And I don't know, dude. Like, you can imply a lot about their ages, but it's never confirmed, really. Shane has a dad bod, and he's defo... So he's defo 30 plus? I know a lot of younger than 30s with dad bods. I don't know. Yeah, and Elliot, that's another one of the older bachelors, yeah. Can't wait till I get all these lost books so I can stop fucking seeing them. They're sort of ageless beings. Well, I don't know, because, like, Evelyn and George are definitely not spring chickens, you know? So I don't know. There obviously is some age. The Alex and Sam, like, 29-ish? I've always interpreted Sam as way younger than 29. I've always interpreted Sam as, like, young 20s. Like, college kid. And then Alex? I don't know. I feel like he's, like, mid-20s. This is just my headcanon, but I feel like he's, like, mid-20s, if I had to guess. Probably trying to, like, reclaim that youth that he had in high school by, like, you know, football and shit. You know what I mean? That's always what I've interpreted. Yeah, it's also probably just, like, Sims aging. Exactly. You're either... You're not an age. You're either infant 
elder, adult, young adult, teen, child, exactly. Are you pissing? I'm happy by myself, you know. Oh, all right. If somebody tells you that, walk away. They're clearly trying to tell you to fuck off. Thanks for the hydrate. You can't tell me Abigail's that old? Probably not. Considering Pierre does not look that old, and that's her dad. I already get the mushrooms today. I think I did, right? Excuse me, boy. Yeah. Is this challenge going to YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I didn't really find, like... Well, I did find the trilobite, so I guess it was okay. But hoping for a little bit more. Have you seen the One Piece show on Netflix, or are you planning on watching it? No, I've, I've never seen a single animated episode of One Piece. I've never read a manga. I've not exposed myself in any way to One Piece fandom or culture. So I have zero incentive to watch One Piece on Netflix. To be honest with you, um, I don't even have a Netflix subscription anymore. Which is not a way to say that you can't, you know, still watch all your favorite Netflix series. Is I honk. You know what I mean? But... No, I, I don't really want to. Not, not my bag baby, you know what I mean? Hey, Sarah Bear, thanks for 21 months. Thanks for the great streams. I'm loving Stardew content. You're the reason I finally ended up buying the game last year. Best game ever. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Sorry to completely, like, undergo your message by uh, belching in the middle of it. But, you know, this I, I didn't mean anything by it. Thanks, and enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. You don't need to have read or watched One Piece to see it. It basically lays out the story. Yeah, but I still don't want to. Like, it's one thing that I haven't read or, like, watched the animated piece. Is I've shown no interest in doing either of those either. By exposing myself to the fandom or the culture. I've expressed no interest. Do you have any good show recommendations? Yeah, Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. That's all I got. That's the only two new shows that I've watched in the past three years. The only two new shows I've watched in the past three years. And I don't care. Because that's all I need. Do your best Jerry Seinfeld and- George! George! What? George! Three years? Yeah, I don't watch shit, dude. The Wire and The Sopranos. You know, I could probably fuck with The Sopranos, actually. I could probably really fuck with The Sopranos. To be honest with you, I don't like watching things by myself, you know? I mean, I really don't like watching things... New things that I haven't already, like, watched, either in my childhood, that I- Basically, I don't like watching movies and shows that I don't already know that I will like. You know what I mean? I know I love Spongebob, so you bet my ass is gonna watch the Spongebob Squarepants movie from 2004 for the 15th time in the past 10 years. Because it's great, and I know I love it. I'm not going to be so eager to try out a show that I'm not so sure I'll like. At least not by myself. Because if it came at the recommendation of someone else who can, like, watch it with me, then that's a different thing, you know? So if it's at the recommendation of someone else and I actually give a shit about that someone, then yeah, maybe I will. That's kind of the only way that I will watch something new. Unless I really feel like something will be good. Like, I know it will. Kind of like The Sopranos. Like, I really do feel like I'll like The Sopranos. I just haven't gotten around to it. Have you unlocked the Skull Caverns? Yeah, I just need to buy the bus to get to the desert. Which is kind of why I keep caring about these mushrooms and shit. My boyfriend just watches things, finds a show on Netflix, having never heard of it, and watch it. That's like insane behavior to me i'm not saying he's insane but that is re ridiculous behavior to me linus doesn't give you anything for returning that by the way does he like that's not worth my time unless i want to like 
I don't know, get with them. <laughs> but I don't really. That's ridiculous to me. That you can just look at Netflix and be like, oh, this looks good, and then fucking watch it. That's ridiculous. How do you do that? Why would you do that when you have so many movies and YouTube videos and TV shows that you already know you like? You don't have to risk the chance that you might watch something and then you're not going to like it. Ridiculous. On our second date, he gave me a TV and said, pick something. That's ridiculous. Dude, I would be like, no, man. I would pick something that I already know I like. I wouldn't watch something new. Kidding me? Rats. I don't think I've sat down to watch something in years. Yeah? Outside of like a live event, like a sports show or something like a sporting, you know, like a, a game or something like that. Yeah, it kind of me neither. You watch the news? Sometimes I, I do watch the news, yeah. I would count that under like live programming though. I do watch the news. Oh, fuck you. Yeah, I watch the news. Yeah, the big game, dude. You like scary movies? Um, I find most scary movies are kind of just like cheap and gimmicky, you know? Like, there's a, there's a new Saw movie coming out. Like, Saw 10, right? Jesus, Christmas, they don't know when to stop. It just feels like soulless and heartless at this point and cheap and gimmicky. I don't know. Well, if I can't go to the fucking thing, then, um... Well, I guess I go fuck myself, right? Uh, yuck. Alright. Well, it's gonna be winter time, and I think winter time we're gonna go hard on fishing to try to make up the last that we need to fund the desert bus. And then, once we get the desert bus going, we'll go to the desert, collect a bunch of omni-geodes at the Skull Caverns, survive the best we can through those, because it's gonna be kind of tough, 